Yeah. Good morning. I am Carol. I am with you for this morning's show. Five hours. How do you feel about that, everyone? Yeah? Top of the world? Brilliant? Yeah? So I'm with you for five hours, yeah? Yeah? Guys? <laughs> Good morning. Thank you very much, Claire McDonald. That is a... Really? 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 Claire McDonald. Uh, Claire McDonald is in the uh, gallery as we speak looking luscious today. Have you got a bit of a challenge show today, have you, Claire? She wants to know what people want to see. Aha, speaking of that, yes, we will. Hang on, let, 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 I just need to get a cable, hang on. I'm just doing this, Tom, just calm. That's gonna plug this in. Oh! There you go, there you go. Um, we have, got, what? The, the draw, yes, the draw of the Wall of Fame. Thank you, Neary. We have the Wall of Fame and the draw of the Wall of Fame today. Thank you. He does take the Wall of Fame very, very seriously, don't you, Neary? Don't forget it. Nice bit of knitwear today, uh, Tom Neary. Thanks, cold. Man. It is a bit chilly, isn't it? It is a bit chilly. Uh, we've, hang on, let me introduce the team. We've got Tom Neary on floor. There he is, everybody. We've got senior producer Tom Stewart in the producing chair today. Oh, look at the size of my hands. Ah. And we've got um, production manager. We couldn't, we couldn't cope without him. Ollie in that directing chair today. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There he is. There he is. Uh, we've also got... <gasps> The return of Claire, back by popular demand. Uh, returning, the return of Claire Perry. How are you? I'm very good, thank Shouldn't you. Shouldn't you be saying, I'm very good, eh? Hey. Hey, Canadian, eh? They do say, a boot, a boot. That's more on the East Coast. Is that more on the East Coast? That. You didn't yeah, hear that too much. Hey. Really, eh? Yeah, eh? Yeah, eh? Not like that. <laughs> that sounds Australian. Uh, anyway, so uh, welcome to Jewelry Maker. Now, can I show you today's amazing deal of the day? It's those pearls on the end. Ooh. Ooh. 56 available. Look at that lovely display Neary's created there. Sorry about the gap at the front. That's basically, he's draped the strand. He's draped the strand over. It's basically a strand of peacock freshwater cultured pearls. They are awesome. No, it's not a double strand. It's a single strand you're going to be getting. One of them has been knotted into a necklace by our in-house designers. The other one is just laid over the strand, uh, laid over the bus like that. Neary has, uh, oh, look, at they are, is it me, guys? I mean, I don't want to start getting, I don't want to start getting protractors and compasses out and things like that, but they look pretty round to me. <laughs> We've also got coming up in the 12 o'clock hour, a chain showcase. We've also got coming up in the 11 o'clock hour, or chain, sorry, chain bundle. 11.45, no, the chains, you told me the chains were coming up at 12 o'clock. 11.45. 11.45 for the chains. And then we've got a pearl showcasing coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. Lovely. We've also got Amatrine. We've also got Amethyst. We've also got Beryl. Uh, in fact, the Beryl is your incredible uh, alarm de clocal deal today. We've got loads. We've got loads. First kit today. Let me just, um, let me show you. Oh, go on, Claire. Yes, because it, it will go wrong. It will go horribly, horribly wrong. Your, oh gosh. This kit consists of silver plated copper wire. You're gonna be getting 10 meters of your 0.4, 10 meters of your one mil gauge. This is coming up in the next hour. You're also gonna be getting all of this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous labradorite. Look at the labradorites on that, it's absolutely gorgeous. You've also got a beautiful moonstone as well. This is your nine o'clock kit. What would you like to see guest designer Claire demo with this kit? Message in, let us know. Uh, so, so that's gonna be coming up in a little while. Shall we get going? Let's get going. Number 12. Number 12. 
Here we go. Oh, Jingle Bell Charms. Jingle Bell Batman Smells. There we go. No, Robin laid an egg, isn't it? I thought, is it? It is. Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, Robin laid an egg. And that, uh, the Batmobile lost its wheels and Robin flew away. There you go. That's, that's it, is it? That's it. It's a quid. It's a quid. Silver plated brass bell charms that you're going to be getting here. These are beautiful little jingle bell charms. I like the idea of maybe making something to go on a doorknob. Uh, so when the door um, opens and closes, you can hear that little jingle. I think that's really, really lovely. It's really gorgeous, isn't it? Um, you could even put them on your cat's collar if you wanted to, if you're feeling very jazzy and you want to put silver plated brass um, um, on, their, on, on their collar. One pound for all three of them today. Well done. Uh, Regina's got two of these. That's fantastic. Well done. That's pretty much sold out. Well done. Well, oh, that was quick. That was quick, wasn't it? Lilac pastel wire. What a, that is the absolute, that is the absolute perfect description for this wire. It's 0.4 millimeter in gauge. You're getting 100 meters of it. 100 meters. Now, 0.4 millimeter gauge is your ultimate weaving wire gauge. Um, so 100 meters of this, and uh, we've only got one, and this is your price. Should be 44.95. 9 95 <laughs> That's a bit better. Oh, I was thinking that first price a little bit, a little bit high, isn't it? Nine ninety five. There you go. One available. Absolutely fantastic. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? One chance available. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? A hundred meters of your 0.4 millimeter gauge uh, lilac pastel wire. Uh, how about a tree with the labradorite at the base, where the roots are moonstone? Moonstone for leaves. Uh, basically a tree of life. No, but I think she's saying like a three-dimensional tree of life, isn't she? I like that idea. I like that idea. Keep those ideas coming in. Angela says, uh, I would love, Claire, to make a clasp-style bracelet using both strands of gemstones, please. Well, I like your ideas this morning, everybody. Karen, good morning, Carol. Um, looking, looking, go oh, gorge, I thought I said gong. Happy Wednesday to Claire times two, Tom times two, and Ollie. Well, it is, it's true. It's true. We've got two Claire's, we've got two Tom's. It's just easier that way. It is, it is much easier, isn't it? And Ollie and Carol. There we go. Well done, Claire, on the channel liners. You're going to get that, my love. She's going to get it. Right, here we go. So, what have we got here? Oh, these are nice. Gold vein, black magnesite. Claire, I'm sure you've noticed from being away and then coming back, all these new incredible gemstones that we've got. Many. Absolutely, there are so many. Educate you. Educate you. Well, black, magnesite can be dyed pretty much any color of the rainbow. And here you've got it with this really, really gorgeous gold matrix, this gold veining going through it. Don't you think it looks like kind of like an old Venetian mirror? Do you think? Am I right in thinking? I heard on the news today that um, Venice is flooded. Not all of it, but a lot of it, like St. Mark's um, Square has flooded and tables and chairs are being swept away uh, by the water. It's, it's only, I think, the second or third time it's been flooded in something like 1,200 years. It flooded in Casino Royale. That's a film, Tom. It's not, it's not for real. 49.95. 49.95, let's get that price point down. How many of these have we got? Three, three chances available. It's limited availability, everybody. That's what the eight o'clock hour's about. By the way, the Breakfast Club hour is all about bringing you last in stock deals. They're only available for an hour after they've been played or until they sell out, basically. A lot of the items do sell out uh, before the end of the hour, just to let you know. Um, so we're kind of rewarding you for watching nice and early. Because to be fair, there are people doing the school run and all that kind of stuff at the minute. But, um, but if you're still in bed, you're going to miss out on these deals. You're going to miss out. So it's great if you're watching us this morning. Get those texts sent in. How are you doing? Very excited about something special that's happening on Friday. Friday. 
There's a funny old story. Um, Annette, morning, lovely Carol and team. Claire and Rachel. <gasps> Is Rachel Norris on the mid show? No. Seriously? You're spoiling us. We are the Ferrero Rocher of uh, tele shopping. You're absolutely right. Uh, Collector in Staffordshire, well done to you, my lovelies. Keep coming through for this. It is almost sold out. Well done. Um, yeah, so funny, funny story. Um, so I promoted the advent calendar being launched on Friday. Tom then texted me and said, uh, mate, it's not launching on Friday, it's launching on Monday. I then put another clip out there saying it was launching on Monday. I was then phoned by Mark Smith last night who said, by the way, Carol, it's launching on Friday. So it's happening on Friday. It's me and Claire on the show on Friday. Mark's coming in especially to launch the advent calendar with us um, at 11 o'clock on Friday. 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 Because it's a Christmas event over the weekend, isn't it? Isn't it? And it's the first day of the Christmas event. What was that? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm sure we'll be able to dig around, Tom. Well, what's the deal of the day meant to be on Friday? We can, we can put it on Monday, can't we? Give me a problem, I'll solve it. Yo, give me a problem, I'll solve it. Oh, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that vanilla rice? <laughs> You've got a problem, I'll solve it. Yo, I'll solve it. Da, 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 ice, ice, baby. Vanilla ice, ice, baby. Yo, collaborate and listen. <laughs> what available with your multicolour spinel? I know. Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, it could be tourmaline, couldn't it? It is au naturel as well. I quite like doing that vanilla rice. I think we should wrap every day. Uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence. Oh, Dear me. Yes, I can imagine. Lots of Christmas parties around the country. Um, vanilla ice being uh, broken out. Um, is this only one month and two days until Tom's birthday? Are you being serious? Mate, you've got to stop mentioning it. You don't even know Angela. She's a viewer and she knows when your birthday is. So Tom's birthday is on December the 15th. He loves a bit of seed beading. So if you want to send him some seed beads, he can have a go. He also loves Doctor Who. He's paying money. Can I just say this? He'll hate me for saying this. He's paying money to have a photograph taken of him and David Tennant and to get an autograph. He's paying money. And is it, what's his name? Matt Smith as well. Whoever he is. You booked it last night. What are you doing? Okay, you are, that's too much. Um, so uh, Tom is, Tom has now paid more money uh, to go and sit in an audience during a Q&A session with David Tennant and Matt Smith. Why don't you just watch it back on YouTube or something? You just want to be there, don't you? You know those programs, you know those programs like Jerry Springer and Ricky Lake and all that kind of stuff, and you swear that the audience members have been drugged to kind of, uh, to kind of just be over, over kind of um, enthusiastic. Are you going to be like that? Are you going to stand up and be like, woo, 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 woo? Are you going to be, you've got, you're wearing a costume. Oh, mate, that's too much. That's too much, Tom. Have you got a scarf? Have you got one of those really long scarves? Oh, Tom. This is black colour frosted hematite double drilled bars. Look at that. Has he sold out? Look at that. I like those a lot. Double drilled. Morganite, it's all right. We're gonna have a party. Here we go, let's do some Morganite now. We've only got a couple of these. Here we go. <gasps> Someone's had their breakfast on this desk. I don't know what's been going on. Here we go. Uh, beautiful peachy pinks here. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. 
Beautiful warming tones there. Don't you love these peachy tones? Oh, they're just gorgeous, aren't they? They're absolutely beautiful. Genuine Morganite here, 100 carats, which is a really big carat weight for Morganite of this kind of quality, which I wouldn't say is necessarily gem quality, but it's definitely not bead quality. You've got lovely moments of clarity going through there. Um, Kat, not going to lie, Carol. I'd also pay money uh, to have a picture with them. They're my two favorite doctors. I think David Tennant was amazing. He's pretty amazing anyway, isn't he? Oh, yes, actually, Ollie, yes. Ollie's favorite doctor is Dr. Range. My least favorite doctor is Dr. Christian, who just seems, during embarrassing bodies, just makes people take their clothes off. So they're like, I've got a really terrible, embarrassing issue with my thumb. Just pop your clothes on the chair over there. I've got, I've got, I've got, um, I've got alopecia. Just, just take your clothes off and just pop them uh, on the chair. It's bad, isn't it? So why, why would you do that? You've got these terrible ailments, which you're too embarrassed to go to a doctor about. You're too embarrassed to tell your nearest and dearest about, but you're willing to go on national television and bear all. We're at 79, I know, answer, answer me, riddle me that. 79.95, it's, fa it's a fascinating program though. <laughs> Dr. Christian's amazing though, isn't he? He is brilliant. He looks like he's carved out of plasticine, doesn't he? He's amazing. He's like an Adonis, isn't he? Uh, we're under 20 pounds, there you go. And Dr. Range, very good, very, very good. Um, do you remember Dr. Gillian McKeith, the food doctor? Was she the food doctor? Uh, yeah, there we go. So we're under 20 pounds. Well done, everybody. Absolutely fantastic. These are great, aren't they? Beautiful quality. Apparently she passed out on I'm a Celebrity. Did she? I, I, can't, say I've ever, I can't say I've ever watched I'm a Celebrity, really. What, who, who was it who won last year? The, the, footballer, the, the football manager man, didn't he? Did he win? Harry Redknapp. He's ever so sweet, isn't he? He was just universally loved, wasn't he? Uh, we're under 20 pounds. Well done, everybody. What a fantastic price point view today for these gorgeous, delicate, uh, floral, pinky peaches. They're beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous quality. I've got a few of you there. We've only got five of these available. Well done. Text in, what would you like to see made with the nine o'clock kit, which is this? We've got Labradorite, we've got Moonstone, and we've got Waya. What would you like to see guest designer Claire McDonald do with these? Jewelry making related, obviously. Uh, gorgeous. Uh, so that's coming up at nine o'clock. Okay, alarm clock deal time for the gorgeous multicolor barrel. I didn't get involved. I'm sorry with the. Uh, should we put, we can play it again if you want. I mean, no? Okay. Oh. Here we go. Do you know what, Claire? Do you know what? I'd come through and get this strand for that one right there. That one there. That one right there. Because that is a beautiful aquamarine. That is an absolutely sensational aquamarine. That is one of the most that is one of the strongest, most saturated blue aquamarines ever. And then you've got other types of beryl, your morganite, your emerald, your morganite, your emerald, your morganite, your emerald. Your... There's another aquamarine. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're absolutely beautiful. You've got moments of the main three beryls there. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? They're all identical in size. They're all eight mil rounds you're going to be getting, which gives you the opportunity, should you want to take it, to graduate the colours. That would be so nice from light to dark or um, from dark in the middle out to light on the, um, on, 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 you know, going um, uh, towards the edges, making the uh, colours lighter. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? They've all been drilled perfectly in the centre. It's a really beautifully produced strand, isn't it? Absolutely stunning, stunning quality. Now, price point for this today, we're at 59.95, absolutely fantastic. Bear in mind, 
Morganite, emerald, and and aquamarine don't tend to grow together. They they can grow, um, you know, miles and miles and miles apart from each other in different peg types, in different kind of voids, if you like. What you've got here is a wonderful collection, and to and and to collaborate all these gemstones to get them all together at the same time is no mean feat. It's a really really difficult thing to do. Twenty nine ninety five for the lot. I can imagine a beautiful stretchy. I can imagine a gorgeous pearl knotted necklace. I can imagine all sorts of beautiful designs being made with a gorgeous strand like this. That's really, really lovely. Wakey, wakey, everybody. We're under 30 pounds. Fantastic. It's your alarm clock deal today. Well done. I've got people coming through. You need to check your baskets out. That's great to see. Well done. Don't forget that 30 day money back guarantee that you're all going to be getting. Uh, we've got Claire joining us in about uh, 25 minutes time. This to go with all that beautiful sterling silver that you bought over the weekend. Ooh. You know those gorgeous star things? Do you know what I'm talking about? Were they star necklaces or pendants that you had over the weekend? How much were they? You are kidding me. What? What were they? Were they pendants or necklaces? I'll have them. I'll have them. I can't believe those stars went to 12 95 That's amazing. Package it. Is it all of it? All of it? Tell you what, this is Christmas all wrapped up. I hate sellotape. I hate sellotape. I hate sellotape. I hate it. I hate, I hate the noise of it. I hate the way it looks. I hate the way it moves. I hate how sticky it is. I hate how you can never find the end. I hate how... I just hate it. I absolutely hate sellotape. <laughs> so, 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 what you're going to be getting here is a, is a bunch of really useful, really beautiful, really, really um, well-made gift boxes. You've got your little black satin ribbon on the outside. It's all been beautifully lined. On the inside, you'll get one of these, but you can throw that away. Um, it, it's, it's basically to stop the box from getting, uh, fr from getting damp. Um, you've got your, <laughs> yes, it's not a salt sachet, uh, Ollie. Salt and pepper. Um, you've also got this little um, kind of velvet foam uh, insert, which goes inside the box. The reason why it's got the corners taken off there is if, in case you want to put maybe a watch or maybe a bangle, something like that. Put that in there, put that in there, perfect. So you've got f f uh, five of these. You've also got two of these, which are your gorgeous um, necklace, bracelet uh, boxes. I've only got two left. Here we go, here's your price. 14.95, that's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant, well done. They are pretty much gone. Diane's taken three loads, you little tinker. But maybe Diane's got a, a hatred of um, uh, sellotape just like me. I just don't like it, I hate them. I hate sellotape. <laughs> I don't trust it. I don't trust the way it moves. No, I don't trust the way it moves. I don't like the fact that it gets static and then it whips around. I don't like it. I don't like the noise it makes when you take it off the reel. My, my aid memoir about sellotape. I reckon though, if I, if I put it out there, I reckon there'd be a lot of people who'd agree with me. Sellotape is evil. Do you, okay, any, any irrational hates out there? Let's keep it off politics. <laughs> any, 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 any irrational uh, hates? Like, I hate sellotape. It's a weird thing not to like, but I just don't like it. You don't like balloons? What, for, because you're scared of them popping? Is it the smell of the latex? Hmm? The feel, the texture, the sound. I saw a child and it made me, it made me, it put my teeth on edge um, over the weekend. A child at a children's birthday party biting a balloon. Oh, and I was just going, no, do it. Seed beads, here we go. Miyuki yellow lined aqua AB seed beads. Beautiful. They've got a touch of spring about them, these, I think, with that gorgeous kind of um, yellow lined quality coming through from them. They're gorgeous. 2 95 here we go. They're all 11 O's, which are a really, really lovely... Um, Really, really lovely size. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Well done. Um, irrational hates do let us know. Ollie's, Ollie's come up with a good one. People, 
Uh, so he doesn't like people. Um, I, I am more against socialising, for sure. Uh, I do like my own company quite a lot. I'm becoming more cantankerous and grumpy and belligerent <laughs> the closer to 40 I'm getting. Well done to Jackie. Well done to Regina. Well done to Jenny. Jenny. I've got Carol in Bedfordshire as well. Well done. 2 95 for you beautiful sea beads. I'd be saving these up for spring. I'd be saving these up for springtime. Um, under three pounds today. Well done, everybody. More people coming through. That's great to see. Well done. These will sell out on the live show today. Can I just say as well, we've had a lot of items which have already gone and already sold out. Goodness me. Pretty much everything's gone. Um, I've got a couple left of the barrel and the magnesite and the wire. But apart from that, everything's pretty much gone. Where did that come from? Oh, that went. That was there. There we go. More sea beads. More sea beads. Oh, these are nice. These are a amethyst gold luster. Ooh, they sound nice, don't they? Again, 11 O's. Susan and Greater Manchester. Cling film is evil. Yes. Cling film is evil. It's got a mind of its own. It's a bit like sellotape. One thing, though, that I reckon trumps them all, and it's an irrational fear, the fear of having something wrapped in foil, unwrapping it, eating whatever it is, let's say a sandwich, and a bit of foil has stayed on there, and it, and it hits your filling. Ugh. Awful. Um, polystyrene, absolutely despise it. Uh, the feel, the noise when it snaps uh, makes me want to scream. Uh, makes my absolute skin crawl. Not, not just your skin, but your absolute skin. Where's that? Uh, but uh, fantastic. So your Mayuki Amethyst Goldless to see beads 11 O's, 4 95 There you go. Prawns. Yes, uh, Tom doesn't like prawns. He doesn't like the look of them. He, he's scared of them. If I, was, if I was eating a prawn cocktail, if I was eating a prawn sandwich, would you, would you have to leave the room? <laughs> would you have to smack me around the boat? <gasps> would you take a swing at me? They do look odd. Prawns and crustaceans in general look odd. They look like they're from another planet, but they're, but they're delicious. Well, I'll tell you what I had the other day. Um, when I was in Cornwall over half term, I had uh, cockles. That was very nice in a little cup, in a polystyrene cup, actually. Cockles with some vinegar on. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Right. Um, 10 metres of copper wire in point 0.8. Oh, this is nice. This is, uh, even though she doesn't know it yet, it's a Claire McDonald special. Hashtag just saying. You look very, very beautiful today, Claire. Three ninety-five. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. One pound forty-five. One forty-five. One forty-five. That's a busy time of day, isn't it? Have you had your lunch by then? One pound and forty-five pence for your ten meters of 0.8 millimeter gauge copper wire. You can use it as a structural wire. You can use it to make um, the base for something. It doesn't need to be. Um, you know, you don't have to have a one mil gauge for that. Also, though, you can also twist with it. You can weave with it as well. You can do your trees of lives with it, trees of our lives uh, with this as well. Um, one pound and 45 pence for 10 meters. Use it as a practice reel. It's only one pound 45. If you wanted to practice with this, um, then you absolutely can do. Well done. Text in now with your irrational hatred of uh, little weird things that you don't like. I don't like sellotape. Cling film we've had. Prawns we've had. People, uh, Ollie says, which is... Not good. Um, Regina, well done to you in New York. You bought three loads of this. Jackie, well done to you. Jenny, well done to you. Anita, fantastic. Gorgeous. Next. Other people's kids. Yes. 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 I do look at other people's children and go, not for me, thank you. It's bad, isn't it? Your kids as well. Yes, my kids, my kids, it's only certain windows of the day and I know that I'm going to dislike them. It's normally the last 10 minutes of the car journey home from school. I don't know, they just start to get annoying. And then we get home and they want to race out the car and race into the house. And I'm like, take your stuff and take your book bag, take your coat in, take, you know, this and the other. And they just ignore me. That, that window I hate. And also, um, when it's time for bed and I have to break the news to them that it's time to go upstairs to bed. That is 
terrible. And they start doing everything at a glacial pace. Uh, 195 for four meters of one mil gauge copper round wire. Absolutely gorgeous, well done. It's beautiful. Beautiful quality. <laughs> For £1.95, pence, absolutely gorgeous. Regina's on it today. Well done to you, Jackie! Well done to you as well. More people coming through. <laughs> well done. Under £2, absolutely fantastic. Do come through and get these. Um, Ollie does a song and a dance when it's time for bed. Go on, what's the song and the dance? Okay, so let's say it's time for bed now. What would you do? I like that, okay. Okay, so you kind of sing a song. To the left, to the right, it's time for bed, that's right. Okay, I reckon we could do that. I reckon we could do that. I never, by that time of day, I'm normally so tired, I'm like, get him in, get him asleep. Um, but um, anyway, I'll tell you what I've been reading though with my, uh, my six-year-old, uh, we've been reading The World's Worst Children. Have you, have you read any of those? Or The World's Worst Teachers? D David Williams, there's some hilarious stories. <laughs> oh, and um, yeah, just read them. I mean, even if you're a grown-up, just read them. They're brilliant stories. Um, what is this? Tarnish resistant brass wire. It's flat patterned wire. It's flat. It's got a pattern. It's flat patterned wire. Wire, you are Now you can twist this. <laughs> uh, you could um, you could punch holes in there. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Look here. You can drill holes in it. You can you can maybe make it into a beautiful bracelet. You can twist it there to make it into some lovely earrings. Oh, she's got a nice uh, a nice hand and wrist, isn't she? Very delicate. Very, very delicate. Well, no, she does, doesn't she? It's kind of like a, a hand model, isn't it? You can tell she's a hand model, whoever that person is. Um, anyway, so 3 95 you get three loads of it. That is enough to make a, a beautiful bangle with. I mean, it's really, really lovely because it's brass as well. It's got a lovely rigidity to it. You will be able to bend it into bangle shapes. You will be able to twist it. But the great thing about that is the fact that you've got that rigidity, which means that once you do bend it, once you do twist it, it, it the chance of it kind of untwisting, um, you know, it, won't, it, 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 it shouldn't be compromised. Well done to Hamida, well done to Rio. Her name is Rio, and she, well done to you, 395. Fantastic, sorry, that was a bit shrill this time in the morning, wasn't it? Goodness gracious me. Um, fantastic, well done everybody. Um, so irrational, irrational hatred. Do you think I would? Yes, I think, I, I th I think I'm going to do that tonight. Do you have certain nights of the week which are kind of certain days or nights or, or just, just times of the week which are super stressful, apart from working with me? <laughs> Mondays aren't great for Ollie. Okay. Ah, Shay has rainbows. Finishes at seven. Oh, that is bedtime. That is bedtime. That is bedtime, isn't it? I'm trying to get Hattie into rainbows, but all the local patrols are full. She'd love rainbows. I, I love rainbows and brownies and guys. She got a first aid patch, did she? Good girl, that's awesome. First aid badge. What did he say, name badge? First aid. First aid badge. Now, with the seed beads that we just bought to you, you could put the seed beads down the side of these and kind of um, encase these. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Soft grey shell pearl drops. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I do love this soft, gentle grey. It's really, really beautiful. Um, and you've got the um, you've got the most beautiful, soft, gentle uh, luster with these because, of course, they're shell pearl as well. You're going to be getting that consistent size, that consistent shape right the way through the strand, which is always brilliant, especially if you're going to be using it in necklaces where you need to have that consistency, which I'll show you in a second. Actually, nine ninety five gets you these today, Claire. Sorry, Ollie, Claire, someone, would, could we just have a quick look at that necklace there, made with shell pearls? We do quite often throw to it whenever we do shell pearls. So on the bottom of that, imagine on those gorgeous lilac pearls. Oh, it's not sitting straight. That's really annoying. Um, sorry, that is annoying, isn't it? L let, me, let me just straighten it. But you could put these... There we go. 
but you could put <laughs> but you could put the uh, the drops on the bottom, couldn't you? So to speak, uh, you could put the drops on the bottom. That would be really nice. And of course, because they're all the same size, they're all the same shape, you're going to have that beautiful consistency going right the way through. Nine ninety five gets you these today. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Yes. Number nine. Is that Chloe in there? Chloe Jones, our fearless leader, the founder of Jewelry Maker. There she is. Um, yes, I'm good. Thank you, lovely. Now, I won't tell people at home what your irrational fear is, your irrational hatred and fear is. Oh, I'm thinking of... One in particular. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? Beautiful Mozambique rubies. Gorgeous. Sleeping naked. Oh, sorry. Why? Why? Why are you? Why are you? Why? In case there's a fire. What if there's an emergency or someone breaks in or there's a fire? That's why Ollie sleeps naked. Hello! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> uh, if somebody breaks in, more fool them. Hey, Ollie? <laughs> You'll give them the surprise of their life. <laughs> Mozambique Ruby. These are really beautiful. So intense, this red, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, give us a call when you can. $79.95. A fantastic price point. Look at that recording, gang. Claire, that is a recording. That is a beauty. Eh? That is a beauty. It is an absolute beauty. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful and bright, luxurious red. $49.95. Goodness me. For that luster, for that level of, of kind of saturation as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Well done, everybody. Call us now, everyone. Get involved. Under £50. Claire McDonald's going to be joining us in about whoo, 10 minutes time. We're going to be drawing the wall of fame. Don't forget that, Neary. He'll never oh, forget that. He, he's not going to forget that. He's the one who reminded us all this morning. Um, the nine o'clock kit today. Let me show you the nine o'clock kit because it is beautiful. You've got Labradorite. Love, 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 love. This strand of Labradorite. Look at the strength of colour from that. Moonstone. Oh, beautiful. And you've got um, 10 metres of 0.4, 10 metres of one millimetre gauge, silver plated copper wire. Now, text us. What would you like to see Claire make with this? Any ideas? Text in. We've had a tree of life. We've had a clasp style bracelet. There's our text number. Normal network charges apply. We'd love to hear from you. Also, text in with your irrational, uh, your hatred of irrational things. So I hate sellotape. We've had someone who hates cling film. Ollie hates people. Um, Tom hates prawns. Have you got anything, Claire? I can't think of anything, but my mum can't stand... Um... Wooden lollipops. Oh, I'm totally with her. Or like the wooden forks in a chip shop. Yes, um, absolutely. Wooden forks in a chip shop, wooden lollipops. It's when you bite them. It's when you bite them. It, it, oh, it sends a shiver down my spine. I know exactly where she's coming from. However, however, I, it's never stopped me eating a, uh, a Magnum. Nothing will ever stop me eating a Magnum. You're not a fan of a Magnum. Why? Tom, I'll tell you what I've got, um, which I know that you have told me about lots and lots and lots, and I've never told you, I've actually got some now, the Magnum ice cream in a tub, and you have to crack it. It is, it's the best thing ever. It is very sweet though. It is delicious. My husband has ice cream every single night after dinner because he says it aids digestion. Um, I don't know whether it does. Um, white or Gandhi? <laughs> white or Gandhi ribbon? Please tell me that's a spelling mistake. <laughs> organdy? It's meant to say organza, isn't it? White organza ribbon. Maybe it's not. I don't know that. If it's actually called organdy ribbon, oh, that's the funniest name. <laughs> what? 
White or Gandhi, sheer ribbon. <laughs> for wrapping your prezzies up with, instead of sellotape. Um, for, I tell you what, if I was ever prime minister, I would, I would put, I would make, I would make, I would make sellotape illegal. Um, and this is, uh, this is absolutely beautiful stuff. To tie around the top of a, a chair for the bride and groom at a wedding, to tie around, um, uh, you know, um, uh, to tie around your Christmas tree, you know, to kind of do lovely little bows, to put on a seasonal wreath, to tie around a beautiful bunch of flowers. 2 95 for this. It's absolutely amazing. And you're going to be getting... Uh, five meters of it. Absolutely fantastic. Gorgeous quality. Good morning. I hate thunderstorms and lightning. Um, I love a good thunderstorm. I love thunderstorms. Um, mashed potato, Brussels sprouts and the underground. <laughs> that is a lot of stuff. So you don't like mashed potato, you don't like Brussels sprouts, you don't like the underground. Going underground, going underground. Um, okay. I'm not too keen on the underground. Just because it smells. And it's just air that's, that's been breathed in by a million people. Um, two pounds and 95 pence. Well done for your five meters of organdy ribbon. I really hope that's a thing. What is it, sorry, love? Here we go. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Yes. So um, the underground is one of the reasons why you don't like people, says, uh, says Ollie. Yes, people, I don't know what happens, but on the underground, people tend to smell more. <laughs> uh, blue colour copper wire, 0.6 millimetre engaged. Let me turn that the right way around for you. There you go. So it's 0.6 millimetre engaged, um, 100 metres in total. It's a lovely, lovely colour, isn't it? Now, your 0.6, great for making things like your earring wires, your jump rings. Beginnings of making clasps, things like that. Really, really useful gauge of wire to be able to use. Great for weaving as well if you want to use it for weaving. Um, it's a fantastic all-round gauge of wire. It's a really, really useful gauge to have in your stash. £17.95, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely incredible. But what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Here we go. Let's go even lower. Why? Because we can. Because we love you. Eight o'clock hour. Everything is last in stock. We've only got a few chances available. Nine ninety-five for this. Tom's walking on with the, with the Tom Bowler. It's Tom's bowler. It is my bowler. It is your bowler, isn't it? And don't you forget it. Neary, do you have any irrational uh, ha hatred of kind of irrational kind of weird objects or things? The red button on your remote? No, on, when it's on the TV in the bottom corner. When you're watching sports, yeah. the red yeah. dot in the corner of the screen? When they're watching TV interactive. Why don't you like that? It's just annoying. You find it annoying? You can get it, you can get rid of it. You have to press back up. But if it's there, and it's like... That's a weird thing not to like. Hmm? No, but... Uh, 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 yeah, I know that's the point. It's just, it's just a funny thing, isn't it? I don't like the thing that they have in the, in, in, in the corner of the screen of the television when they're about to go to a break and you get the black and white that's things. Thing. It is the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's just annoying. Oh. Yeah. Funny, isn't it? Uh, 9.95, uh, Denise, Denise, well done to Karen, collector, well done to you. Lots and lots of people coming through this morning. It's great to have you with us. Text in now. Um, weird things or just things that annoy you. Let, let's have a venting show. Let us know. Get it all out. Let it all, well, not everything. Um, no, thank you, uh, Tom Stewart. Right, what are we doing now? Number six. Number, oh, there's nothing in there, mate. Oh dear, there we go. Right, what are we doing then? No. Well, there's nothing in there, love. Hello, Claire. Oh, hi. <laughs> love her. Um, Lone Star Trio, pink amethyst, amethyst, and green amethyst. Oh, shall I show you a photograph of them? I know there's only one, Tom, but the person who comes through to get the one is probably going to want to get it. They're reduced from 98 quid down to 47. 
Ooh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. There we go. I best not ask Claire kind of weird things that annoy her because um, we'll be here all day. We'll ask her in a bit. Come on. Tom, thank you. Gee, Willikers. <gasps> what are these? Bits of unicorn horn. Yes. Somebody told me these were chips from the horn of a unicorn. <gasps> They're freaking me out today, Claire. They're, uh, well, Claire's, they're uh, singing, they're saying everything in the, uh, in the theme of um, Yellow Polka Dot Bikini by uh, Timmy Mallet. I'm sure it wasn't Timmy Mallet who did it recently, but I'm sure it was someone else. I love Timmy Mallet. Wow, look at that. Timmy Mallet is now a very established artist. I didn't know that. With the name Timmy Mallet. I love him. Is he a I didn't know that. <laughs> he goes under the name Timothy Miller. Um, I love these. They're absolutely gorgeous. Mystic purple color coated quartz. I prefer unicorn horn, to be fair. You could say, you could go on a you could literally have a craft store and just sell these. And you could sell them as unicorn palm stones or something. And people would buy them. 630 for all of them. I'd definitely be giving these to my children. Um, they are mad. They, they, they look magical. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? They've got this gorgeous mystic coating on, which just gives them this life, this energy. Energy! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. They're beautiful, aren't they? Six pounds and 30 pence for all of these. Here, I've got five. You'll be getting um, roughly the same amount, maybe four, maybe five, maybe six, depending on the size of the um, cabochons. But yeah, I mean, claw setting these, wrapping with these, um, um, using gallery wire with these, perhaps. There's a whole host of different ways in which you can use these. They're beautiful, aren't they, Claire? It'd be nice with that blue wire that you had. <gasps> what, with the 100 meters of 0.6 yeah. millimeter gauge blue do, wire? Like, a nice sort of, um, like a rougher wrap at the, at the top. A rough a rap. A rough a rap. I thought rap starts with W, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Glenda, why don't you? You've got two of those. Regina, why don't you, my lovely in New York? I tell you what, Regina, is it, it, you are going to be getting a big old delivery, my love. You are going to be getting a big old delivery. Why don't you, Andrea in uh, Kent? Andrea, that's all. Well done to you, my lovely. Fantastic. Amethyst slabs. Oh, no. Do you know what? I'm a bit worried. My husband has got a uh, cold sore. And I'm a bit worried I am catching Ooh, his cold sore. You've got tingly lips. His, his cold sore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no cold sore. Um, it's just that. Maybe I, th I think it might just be like a mental thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is it tingly? A little bit. We've been very careful this week of, uh, you know, staying staying clear of the coleslaw. Uh, but anyway, uh, light amethyst. <laughs> Sorry, you don't need to know any of this, do you? Hey? I'm not giving him a kiss. He's my husband. On the, on the cheek, <laughs> on the cheek. Just the cheek. Um, <laughs> right, light amethyst twisted, what are these? Rectangles, slabs. They're, they're slabs. They're nice. I like these. I like that kind of twisted quality. It looks like they've been cut into rectangles and then they've been twisted. That's not the case at all, though. It's a stone. You can't twist a stone. Um, they've been carved with this beautiful twisted shape, which is so clever. When you consider this has been done to something which is solid and flat, you know, it's a stone. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Well done. Call us now. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Should be 49 95 Well, I'll tell you what, you can forget that. You can forget that price. Let's get that price point down. Text in with any kind of weird hatred for things that you have. Hatred for kind of things that, yeah. 19.95, well done. Dare I say it, that looks a little bit amatrini. Oh, hashtag just saying. There you go. 19 pounds and 95 pence. Well, Jan Dwyer doesn't like whistling, does she? What is it? No, yes, no. Actually. Yeah, no, you said that. Yeah. She absolutely hates whistling. Lowest price ever. Let's get it down, down, deeper and down. 
Oh no, last time I said that I burped on air, didn't I? That was... <laughs> down, down, <laughs> deeper than down. <laughs> bah! <laughs> That was awful. And it was with Claire. That was the funniest Ooh. ever. That was, uh, that was one of the funniest things that's ever happened in my Wasn't life. Wasn't it 39.90? 39. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well done, everyone. 13 pounds. Oh, dear. And 95 pence. Well done, everybody. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go to the Wall of Fame. Let's go and see what, see, 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 see what you've been making. Do you know what? I was going to wear my um, <laughs> leopard print top today, but I thought, no, I won't wear it because Claire's probably going to be wearing something leopard printy. I'll wear my crossover top. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> Great minds think alike, eh? We usually do, don't we? <laughs> we something, usually do. Normally something similar, yes, isn't there? Yeah. Do you want to go first? Yes. Yes, I will do. Go yeah. on then, lovely. I've got four, eight, four. Wow, look at all of these. This is Rose Fellows. Hi all, it's been a while since I sent anything in. Apologies for the uninspiring photography. Oh. Uh, I've not made anything in a while due to being kept busy with family stuff this year. Here are 18 stretchy bracelets in a blue theme. Special requests as table gifts for my friends, daughters uh, and baby shower. Gemstones, elastic and seed beads used from JM. Diamante and enamel teddy uh, charms from elsewhere. No two are the same. Good luck to all in the draw. Got my fingers crossed. Kind regards and that's from Rose. Good luck, Rose. That's Thank brilliant. you, lovely. 485, I've got, uh, this is from Pauline, Pauline. Hello, everybody. This is, this make is a bit of a rush job. I finally made a seed bead candy cane. It's a prototype. The next one will be better. What? I think they're amazing. Um, I used 8 O's, 11 O's um, as tree decorations. Uh, best regards, Pauline. Everything is from Joymaker, of course. That's lovely. Thanks, love. Cheers, dude. Oh, I love these stars. Uh, 486, and this is Kate Oliver. Hi there, here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Uh, I use lovely lapis stars uh, and eight mil rounds. Rosary oh. linked onto some chain to make this long necklace. Best wishes to all, and that's from Kate. It's lovely, Beautiful. Kate, good luck. 487 from Debbie in Somerset. Please accept my entry for the Wall of Fame. I wanted to make um, this style of bracelet, but wasn't sure how. Then lovely Mark Smith uh, went and made one. Good luck to all that enter the Wall of Fame. That's from Debbie. Thank that's you, my gorgeous. darling. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I love that. Wow, look at these. Oh, Four, eight, that's a eight. labour of love. This is uh, Lynn Body in Oxfordshire. Morning all. Please find attached my entry Wowzers. for this week. I've made some 3D seed bead stars using different size seed beads. They are time consuming, but I enjoyed making them. I hope you like them. I'll be selling them and my first craft <gasps> fair soon thank you for the great shows and that's from lynn best of luck lynn uh four eight four eight nine this is from jillian here's my first entry to the wall of fame i use wow. champagne gold pearls lavender textured shell pearls duracoat seed beads please stop having such wonderful product as my bank <laughs> uh, as my bank manager is getting nervous best of luck jillian thank you darling Lovely welcome jillian. to the wall of fame look at this wire work 490, this is Malcolm Parker. Hi all, this is my second ever entry to the Wall of oh, Fame, showing wow. my new favorite technique. Uh, keep up the good work, but not sure my bank account can stand it. Good luck to everyone, and that's from Malcolm. It's gorgeous, Malcolm. Thank good you, luck. lovely Malcolm. 491, this is beautiful, it looks like coral. From Josephine, my entry is a waterfall seed bead and Swarovski necklace I made after watching Susie make one on a recent show. Isn't she amazing? I love Susie. Best wishes, Josephine, that's beautiful. That's well gorgeous, done to you, lovely. Look at this. Four, four, nine, two. I knew it was Zoe Vargas. Beautiful work. Hi, all. I made this little Labradorite pendant oh, in silver plated wow. wire and accented with aquamarine. I hope you like it. I would love to see it make the wall. Good luck to everyone, it's Zoe. It's beautiful Zoe, you're work. So Zoe. talented. Gorgeous. Four, Good luck. nine, three. This is beautiful wire work. Oh, with square Lovely. wire. This is from Na uh, Betty Nash. I made this pendant from the free gift cabochon that came with my first order. Wow! Thanks, JM. I love it. Betty. Thank you, Betty. That's like a, 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 like a beautiful treble mm. clef almost. That's gorgeous. gorgeous. Let's draw the wall of fame. Neary is ready. Good luck, everyone. Oh, using the beading board as a clipboard. I like that. It's all wrong. Let's give it a spin. Claire, you can pick the winner of the wall of fame this week, winning £100 credited to their jewelry maker account. Who is it this week? Better, better, better. Five zero three. Uh, Bridget Carson. Bridget Carson. Yeah. Well done, Bridget. Congratulations. Well, well done. One hundred pounds, and this week's runner-up of the Wall of Fame, winning fifty pounds credited to their Dreammaker account, is number. 
487. I think we might have that one. Uh, Debbie Brown, you do it Hang on, hang on. I've got it here. Debbie Brown from West Yay. Somerset. Well done, well darling. Well done, darling. Well done, darling. £50 credited to your jewellery maker account. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well done. Right, coming up in the next hour, we've got a gorgeous kit. You've made a beautiful... How have you done that? Well, I had a little play with it. I did have a little play with it before. So This is meant uh, to be a challenge yes, show. Yes, I, I had a little play. So, um, yeah, because the Labrador are amazing. When did you make that? Uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah. Well, that, well today's theme's gone so out the like window, isn't it? It's like half a challenge. Right. Text in with what you'd like to see Claire make with our kit. Uh, that's coming up after the break. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, here's, 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 here's something <laughs> funny. Our first kit is called Hidden Depth. Not Hidden Depths. <laughs> hidden Depth. Um, which just shows how one-dimensional we actually are here. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> see you in a second for Claire's first kit. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We are delighted to announce that Rachel Norris will be here with us on a Wednesday of all days. Rachel is going to be launching her wire work booklets that include a fantastic icicle necklace and a wonderful reindeer pendant. So make sure you join us on a Wednesday with Rachel Norris on a Wednesday. She's never here on a Wednesday for a wonderfully wicked wire work Wednesday. Join us here on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi Jewelry Makers, Simon here. I'd like to come and join me on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks. So I'll be on for most of the morning show and most of the mid show. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, this is where I bring some of the lowest ever prices we've had on the product. Uh, it's not clearance, it's perfectly good stock. Uh, so it really is just an opportunity to get a fantastic deal, even more than usual. And with Christmas coming up, why not come and make the most of the opportunity? So come and join me, Simon, on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, 
Just to those kind of moves. Wow. What is <laughs> that? That's Claire's back. Can we, can we do that again? Oh. Maybe, can we, can we do that again? Right, let's go up to the thing. There we go. Oh, go right. on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> Oh my god, it's locked. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> it locked itself. Okay, I'm not doing that. Wow. Anymore, that, was it. that was amazing. Thank you, lovely yeah. Claire. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey, what are all these things? <laughs> Look at all these DVDs. Oh. Hang on, that, that's Alison's, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and that one's Looks Alison's. Looks like it's mine and Alison's. Oh, oh, some of my favourites in there. <laughs> oh, gosh. How are you? I'm really good. Have you, have you, uh, yeah. Have you recovered from our last show together? When I burped. Was that the, was that, yeah, that was the funniest. That was the funniest ever. That might be the last time we've worked together. Oh, we that might, no, 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 we've done another show Once in between then. then. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Lovely. But how are you? How are you? Text us now. Things that annoy you. Things that annoy you. So I, do, I, I have a hatred for sellotape. We've had someone saying they have a hatred for cling film. Tom doesn't like prawns. Ollie doesn't like people. Neary doesn't like the, uh, the red dot that's on the bottom of your screen when, you, when, they want, when someone wants you to go interactive. What do you not like, Claire? I'm not keen on staples. Okay. Yeah, staples on bags and things like that. Bags? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's, it's actually here. Yeah. <gasps> oh, damn. Yeah, so we have like, the, you know, the, the plastic bags that have the, the, have the thing on them anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they, then they get stapled as well. And I always, oh, I always forget, annoying. even though it's like being catch years. catch your finger on yes. them. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. You don't want that, do you? Yeah, and it's almost like, like double. Yes, yeah, so it's sealed, but then it's stapled. So... It's not yeah. nuclear waste, is it? It's, um, oh, uh, is that upsetting <gasps> you there? Look at what Tom's just put on the desk. It's quite harsh, Tom, isn't That's it? That's very harsh. They're looking at you. But what I do like, I do like, you know, when you, when you do the, that. Oh, no. Oh, yes, that's quite satisfying, yeah. isn't it? With that breaking them up. Yeah. There we go. Labradorite Moonstone and Wire Kit. Now, Claire, did just, just, this is meant to be a challenge show, but you've actually yeah. had this kit. Well, so I, I had it uh, a few days early. Right. Uh, but I'm, I'm not really supposed to work with it. But I did have a little, because the Labradorite's beautiful. Just couldn't I haven't help had yourself. any Labradorite in a kit for ages. Ages and ages, yeah. So, yeah, I just had like a little, a little play. Morning all, I'd like to see Claire make a ring or a brooch, please. So okay. we've had people saying a ring or a brooch. Yeah. A tree of life, but like a three-dimensional tree of life. Okay. Uh, we've also had a clasp style bracelet kind of bangly one. Okay. What are you thinking yeah. of? Yeah. Well, I could do, um, I could definitely do a clasp. That'd be mm. good. So I can have a, have a go with that. Yeah. Um, yeah hang on, so hang on, hang on. The Taj Mahal someone's uh, texting. Absolutely, They'd like to see you make yes. The Taj yeah, Mahal. Yeah, we could do that, yeah. We are quite limited on time here. We don't have uh, the remainder of the, yeah. Um, so this kit, beautiful. Let's talk about the wire first of all. You've got your two kind of main gauges of wire here, which are your 0.4 and your one mil gauge. So you've got a lovely weaving wire and you've got a lovely structural wire as well. 10 meters yes, on both. perfect. Normally with the one mil gauge, can I just say, we normally don't do 10 meters of that. Normally it's kind of your sh um, shorter length. So kind of three, four meters of your, of your one millimeter gauge wire, but you've got a full 10 meters on this reel. So that's brilliant. And then a 10 meters on your 0.4. The gemstones you're getting, you've got the beautiful moonstone, which is, be I mean, it is definitely white moonstone. It, I, I wouldn't say it's rainbow moonstone. It's definitely a white moonstone you're going to be getting here. And you've got a lovely white shiller going across here. As you can see, it's not really rainbowy, but you can definitely see the white shiller, mm. yeah? Okay. Beautiful quality. Sometimes it's nice to have that kind of, rather than it being rainbowy, it's nice to have just a gentle white kind of ethereal shiller, isn't it? 
your moon, uh, sorry, your uh, labradorite you're going to be getting here. Oh, wow. I love the way these have been cut, don't you? It's a, it's a bit like the uh, the amethyst that you had before, isn't it? Yes. With those faceting, that faceting going across, and it really, it really helps the, the labradorescence. It does. It really aids mm. that phenomena coming, um, you know, um, uh, to leave the gemstone. It's beautiful quality. So they've been faceted across the top, but on an angle, and it's a lovely twisted shape that you get. And in turn, what that does, of course, is it just oh, gives you the most amazing, Amazing. Wow, look at that. I love the fact that they're blunt cut as well. They're all flat on the sides, aren't they? Which is nice. Which must make this an absolute dream if you're going to be doing something like claw setting with it. Because yeah, it's got those lovely great. flat yeah, edges. Yeah, really good. Really Beautiful really good. quality. Mm. The Labradorite on its own, I, I would, I mean, I personally would pay... $24.95 for that. I think it's a really expertly cut strand you're going to be getting here. Yeah, and you've got, like, haven't you got the full rainbows in there? You've got yes, yes. All the colours in that. that yes, you absolutely yeah. have. But your price point today for the full kit, so for the uh, for the Labradorite, for the Moonstone and the Wire, $25.95 for the lot. That's for the Moonstone, the Wire, and that really exceptional strand of Labradorite. It's beautiful quality, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone coming through to get this. It's a really, really lovely kit. Um, also, the fact that you've got really um, um, uh, beautiful gemstones with phenomena in means that the designs can be really, really simple because, of course, the gemstones will do that kind of talking and almost the designing for Definitely. you, won't they? Yeah, when they're, because, yeah, the Labradorite particularly are, are very statement, aren't they? I mean, I've mm. just almost used the Moonstone as, as little spaces, you know, accents in between. But, yeah, it's all about that that Labradorite. And I love the necklace that you've made, Claire. <clears throat> I think it's really, really pretty the way that you've used it. And you say you haven't had Labradorite in a kit for ages. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't seen it for, um, seen oh, it for wow, a long time. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's really, really lovely. And I think, you know, something like that, don't forget, you're seeing it static there as well. Mm -hmm. So with that faceting, that Labradorescence with a little bit of movement, so earrings would be really lovely. Yes, of course, because they'll have the chance yeah. to move, won't yeah. they? Or even a bangle, because, of course, your hand, your wrist is yeah. going to be moving all the time. Now, what do you want to make for us, Claire? What do you want well, to demo? Well, shall I show you, um, sh if I show you a clasp, because you've got that nice uh, structural wire, mm. and then I could show you... Um, depending on time, um, how you would attach, you could attach your gemstones. Okay, lovely. Yeah, should we yeah. do that? Mm. Right, okay. So I'm going to show you, so it's quite a fancy class that we'll do. Fancy, fancy. Um, because you want something that is going to balance out, because if you're going to have these as, um, maybe as a bracelet, then you want, maybe have like a chunkier, chunkier class. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do, we'll do the, almost like a hook and eye. Okay, so I've got my, I'm going to take off, so I've got a length, this is going to be more than enough now. I'm going to take a length of my one mil. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on there. Okay. Lovely. So I've got my um, I've got my chain nose pliers, my cutters, and my bail makers that I'm going to work with. So I'm going to find the midpoint. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a, like a hair pin. So I'm going to go back on itself. So I'm crimping that wire back like that. Okay. So I'm going to have that. So that's let's just squeeze it together. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm just going to swap my pliers now. So if I sort of show you what it's going to look like, this will give you a... i pop that one there, yeah. So that's what we're going to... we're aiming for. So we're going to do this in two parts, and we're starting at this point here. Okay, so if I pop that there. So what I need to think about now is I've got... I'm going to have like a, a front and a, a front and a back there. So all I need to think when I'm doing this design is if it start, if the wire starts at the front, it's going to terminate. When I finish that move of the wire, it's yeah. going to finish at the back. Okay. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to start with the heart shape. So I'm going to go take the, the one at the back. So I'm going to go all the way around. Gosh, look how malleable that is. Isn't it's that lovely, wonderful? Isn't it? it is malleable, but it really will hold its yes, uh, of shape because that's what we wanted to do with the, with the clasp. So I'm going to turn it round. So this one, it started at the back. So if I just open that one up, and I go around. Mm. So this one's starting at the front, so it needs to go at the back. So Lovely. I'm just going to open that up, and I'll show you what I mean. So it started <gasps> at the front there. It's going to go at the back here. Oh, okay. how lovely. So the bow makers are really useful, because obviously it just you can use that. Oh, my gorgeous. And it gives you a very neat finish. Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to start on the next bit. So we've made the heart. So this, this wire is starting mm -hmm. at the front. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to drop down a size. So it starts at the front. So I'm going to take it round. So this time it must go at the back. I'm going to come round there. Okay. So we've got like that. 
Mm -hmm. So this one is starting at the back, you can see there. So I'm going to come in and this one then will finish at the front. So I'm going to bring that round. Lovely. Okay, let's so have a look now. So you can see how that's oh, starting that to look. It's stunning, Claire. It's just, it's very, very simple. It's as long as you remember, if it starts at the front, finish at the, the back. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what we're going to do, we're going to make, we'll do the, uh, we'll do the, the hook first. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one here. So mm -hmm. the one that's coming at the front. Yeah. I'm going to bend out at a right angle, this one here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go, probably take it to about a centimetre and a half. And I'm going to go back on, so I'm just going to turn it around like that and come all the way back like that. Okay. And just pinch that together. Hold that there. Okay, so now I need to get rid of this, this section of the wire. So I'm going to just snip off there. Okay, so I've got, so I'm going to hold that there. And what I want to do now is I'm going to wrap this around. So I'm going to hold here. I'm just going to try and get that, the little bit that we've snipped off, you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, we're just going to get that so that that Gorgeous. is hooked in, yeah. in there. Okay, so I'm going to take that and wrap all the way around. So I'm going to wrap a few times there. And bring that in. Okay, so we've got the one side. So now I'm just going to get that in so this becomes a hook. And bend that in. So Look at that. Give that a little bit of a twist up. So I'm just gonna... Beautiful. So we've got that side. Okay, so to do the next one, I'm just going to speed up a little bit on this bit because we've seen. Beautiful components. I'll tell you something, those those clasps that you're making, those components that you're making look so high quality and it's obviously down to your level of expertise, but also the quality of the wire is yeah. so, is, is so high, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what's lovely of having, um, I mean, the other thing, I can't think when I last had um, silver plated as well. Yeah. Because that's, yeah. you don't see that. Um, Not really, no, the they don't, yeah. Kids, so, right, so I'm going to get to this point again. So I'm going to bring that round. So Look we'll get to that. this Gorgeous. bit again. So I'm just going to speed up. So you've seen me do this section. Lovely. Gorgeous. Just bring that round there. Lovely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now what we want to do is yep. this time, so we're going to take this one that's going at the front, because it started at the front there. Yes. I'm just going to take that at the back and snip that off. Could you do this with a point eight? do you think? Uh, I'd give it a little hammer if you were going to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could just, so not, not hammer over where you've crossed uh, mm -hmm. the wires, but you could give that a hammer there. Yes. Okay, so then I'm going to take the next one. Gosh, this is a speedy uh, wire work, Claire. There we go. So this one, I'm just going to get Very good. Going at the back. Lovely. Oh, and there's your little eye. Yeah. Really tuck that in. Oi, oi. So then that's going to go in. Look at like that. that. That's awesome. So it gives you a really nice, nice little detail. So shall I hold it up? And, and, there we go. And the reason why that works so well, A, because of the Y, B, because of Claire's kind of vision, but also because, and I don't know if we've got any of these in stock, Tom. I, I, I probably shouldn't have kind of said this live on the show, but if we've got any bell making plies, it's the fact that you're able to use the bell yes, making plies the, so you get yeah. that regular size, yeah. that that kind of cookie cutter size. So you don't have to worry how far down the mandrel on my round nose pliers am I? <gasps> oh, Tom! As Brilliant. if by magic. Yeah. Brilliant. And it's because of tools like this, that a tool like this will allow you to do that kind of design and you'll get professional results every single time. Now here you've got two, two different size mandrels. These are slightly larger than the ones you've used there, I assume. You've got a six and an eight and a half mil mandrel. Exactly the same, if I just hold that up though. So you'd use the eight mil one for that um, kind of area there and then the six and a half one 
Um, sorry, the um, six one for this area here, and then the eight and a half for that one there. It will be larger. Um, it might it might be a little bit too large, but you kind of get the idea, don't you? Um, but and don't forget as well. Once you've um, once you've got that nice curve and pulled it really tight against the against the uh, the mandrel, you can then just sort of like pull it in so it just, make it a little bit smaller. It. Yeah, definitely. Because also sometimes making a mirror image, making a symmetrical shape, can be really quite um, can be really quite kind of stressful and quite intimidating. This this kind of tool takes away all of that, um, all of that hard work. And you've seen how easy it was for Claire to do that and how beautiful the wire was. Six ninety five for this. I would absolutely. You're right there, Neary. Yeah. <laughs> well done, everyone. Six pounds and ninety five pence. A really, really fantastic tool. I don't know. Neary kind of walked off, kind of shrugging his hand. I don't know. I don't know what I was meant to have done. Or thank you for my Thank water. you. He's got one on him. Uh, anyway, so uh, six ninety five. There you go. Beautiful, well done. Um, more people coming through to get these. Oh, someone's taken the coasters. Oh dear. You had coasters and some. You <gasps> made coasters. I've what never did you seen make the them coasters. out of? Not these CDs, these DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> you cut up macrame boards. Oh, what a great idea. No, there's none here, love. Sorry. Wire eaters. I love Brilliant. these. Yeah, yeah, these are great. Absolutely great. The nom noms. Oh, yeah. hello. Um, why are these so fantastic, Claire? So these these will form. Um, these will form all oh, of your. Um, oh, 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 so if you're going to do any woven work, all the, the woven uh, bangles that I do use these because it gives you a lovely. It really neatens up your wire work and <clears throat> your weaving, and then it gives you that lovely shape. So you form. You can form, you know, bracelets, bangles with it. <laughs> <laughs> <They're brilliant>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they are brilliant. <laughs> You're allowed. Uh, <coughs> you, you can make uh, everything from your bangles to your rings. And the great thing is, because it's a nylon jaw um, uh, that you've got here, it's not going to scratch any of the wire. If you've got plated wire or you know some of the colour coated wires, it's not going to. It's not going to scratch them at all. But if you just nibble your uh, one mil gauge wire, um, then then it will create. Eventually, it will create a circle. Again. Something which, you know, if you're making bangles, if you're making uh, bracelets, things like that, that can sometimes be quite a stressful point, you know, getting that curve yeah, you want to just get it the same, right. Don't you? Um, yeah. And to overcome that, we've got these nylon jaw pliers. They are absolutely brilliant. You will use them a lot. Um, you can make your kind of flat, uh, you can, oh, hello. Demo Central. So I was going to show you. So all the all the bangles that I, I um, make, I tend to because I have. If you have like a focal, say maybe a stone or some wire work, yeah. it's going to be in the middle. It's really nice to get so you can frame it. So if I've got my I've got my uh, my uh, wires like that, okay. So yeah. I've gone in like that in the, in the middle, and then if you just give Ooh. that, Ooh. yeah. So you've gone out. So I've gone straight. I've got the the little curve there, which yeah. you know is going to be the same. So Ooh. then you can then, and if you do several of these at the same time, if you then turn it sort of back in on itself, I'll just get them so that they're open like that. It becomes almost like a little, a little eye. So if you if that then becomes a, a nice frame in the middle. It does, doesn't it? How lovely, Marion, Carol, Claire, Regina, Paula. Well done to you, my lovelies. Fantastic. They're gorgeous, aren't they? You got, you got, you, you having problems with that, love? I have a few problems. Yeah, a bit rusty today, I think. There we go. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thank you. And then when you've got your wire, here we go. So if we, hang on, hang on. Carol's having a go now. Oh, Carol's having a go. So there we go. So we've got, <laughs> what I was going to say. Good job we got Rachel today, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Rachel's on the mess, isn't she? Oh, that's going to be amazing. Yeah. yeah, well, this is gorgeous, isn't it? And and uh, if you do this all the way around your wire, you will eventually make a circle. You'll eventually make a bangle. Can you see? 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 Super neat. See? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so um, there you go. Oh, thank uh, you. So uh, uh, things which you hate, um, <laughs> things that kind of weird, thi weird things that you hate. What is this? Oh, can I 
I see it, please? I yes, haven't seen this before. before. This is a tiny weeny <gasps> for a little borrower. Oh my goodness! This is adorable. Oh this my is... goodness! Oh, what? <laughs> here we go. So, um, this is amazing. Pearl coloured. What? Pearl coloured copper wire. Pearl coloured copper wire. Beautiful. You've got one mil. Hang on. No, 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 <laughs> Ollie. That's a surprise. I one mil. It. Ten meters of one mil. Ten meters. Of... <laughs> oh, mate. Come on. Yeah, but you can't see. You can't get the idea then. Ten meters of one mil. Ten meters of point six. <clears throat> get ready. And ten meters of point one. Oh. <laughs> what would you do with the point one millimeter I've gauge wire? I've never seen this <gasps> do point one, and I've it's never seen a teeny like adorable. that. Adorable. Well, that'd be lovely, wonderful, wonderful, fine, um, fine weaving, wouldn't it? Be incredible. When was this launched, Tom? I've never seen this before. I don't know either. Maybe a wire work weekend or a wedding oh. weekend or something else with alliteration. I don't know. Um, that is. That is the most adorable bobbin of... Is that a bobbin or a spool? I suppose it's a spool, isn't it? A spool of... I don't know, who cares? But the tiny... It's like oh. Everything about it is miniature. Look at the printing, everything. I know, it's really little. It's like it's from a doll's house. Should be £46.85. and pence. Um, We're going to take the price point down. The fact that it's pearl wire means it's got like almost like a satin finish on mm, it doesn't it i haven't it? seen the pearl wire for ages beautiful yeah, stuff gorgeous. it's got like a lovely satin finish on there we're under 20 pounds that is amazing now seriously in all seriousness your 0.1 millimeter gauge wire perfect for your finer gemstones for your uh for your um uh strands maybe of diamonds for your strands of pearls yes yeah um yes claire is back peel colored copper wire <laughs> yeah it's pearl not peel Peel. Yeah, it's pearl. Neil, Neil, orange peel. Uh, so, yeah, um, so you've got your point, uh, sorry, you've got your one mil, your point six, and then you've got your point one. What are you doing? I was just having a look at it. The finest wire that I've known us do is a point two. We do point two five quite a lot, but point two for me was the finest wire that we've done. This is point one. <gasps> oh, that's absolutely that. gorgeous. You could definitely use that with the diamonds that we've yes, got. That's absolutely yeah. beautiful. I love that. That's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Um, uh, it's uh, 10 metres you're going to be getting in total. That's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And everything is miniature about that. It is like, um, so Lola collected all the, um, you know you know how I like miniature things anyway? Mm, um, I do. There was a supermarket, wasn't there, that did all the miniature Oh, bits. yes, of course. Did she yeah. collect them? Yeah, she did. Did you literally have to do all your shopping <clears throat> there? Yeah, well, luckily my mum and dad did. They Brilliant. They took it on, yes. Yes, of course, because you like watching miniature things on... YouTube, don't you? Yes, and I like sending them to you. Miniature cakes. Yes. Miniature baking. Very odd. Yes. <laughs> you like receiving them, though, don't you? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you've got your beautiful... <laughs> Claire watches miniature baking demonstrations on YouTube. Yeah. Where they have, like, a mixing bowl that's this big. And they're mixing... Yeah, and they make it... And, and they make tiny, whatever... Uh, really rainbow cakes. cakes and things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I follow, uh, there's a, a miniature thing on uh, Facebook. Yeah, I love it. Well done, everyone. Number nine, copper wire. Uh, you have got here 10 metres of 0.8, 10 metres of 0.4. Very, very nice. Really, really striking colour, this. It's got that really lovely coppery copper uh <laughs> oh i was gonna say something a bit rude then oh, you've got this lovely um uh copper uh coloring uh to it looks absolutely gorgeous it's great for autumn it's absolutely <clears throat> fantastic isn't it do you know what i was raking up leaves the other day i was raking up leaves and um it was it was disheartening i was raking up leaves in my back garden and i moved the trampoline i moved the tramp I don't think that's what? allowed, is it? Anyway, I was raking up leaves in my back garden and I moved the trampoline uh, to kind of so, to get the sun, what little sun there is on, on, on that area of the grass. And I raked up the leaves and I kind of turned around to look at my handiwork and then uh, there were about a million more leaves more, there. Yeah, it's, it's really, yeah. it's, the, it's like painting the, the, the fourth bridge. It's the never ending task of raking up leaves, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, 
anyway, two ninety-five. Ollie, Ollie, considering he's <laughs> yeah. feeling ill, Ollie is actually on form. He's using yeah. all his energy clearly to uh, <laughs> just take the Mickey out of me. Ian, Sean, Jackie. Well done to Regina. Well done to Sharon, Patricia, Sylvia, Leanne, Aisha. Well done to Christine, Leanne. Well done to you as well. Loads of people. Come. I'm not surprised, Sylvia. Well done to you as well, my darling. Fantastic. Oh, look. So at you, that. Just, did you just whip this up? Yes. What is all that good pulling off there? I don't know. I think it's, it's, been, I think it's been dusted, maybe. Ah, oh, it's cobwebs. cobwebs from the Halloween. Yeah, so you could um, maybe have a go with something like that, couldn't you? Because someone had messaged in about um, a tree of life. Tree, yeah. Looks nice. Isn't did it? Alice and Terry make that? She's, She's good. Isn't she, she made that on a show. Did she? Yeah, live on a show. Oh. Might have been a challenge. She's though. good. What have you made? Um, Clasp. There we go. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, point four. Oh no, hang on, hang on, let's start off. Start off, sorry. 100 metres of point two five. 10 metres of point four. 10 metres of one. Oh my word. Yeah. Three metres of one and a quarter. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. There it is. That is amazing. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that brilliant? 123 metres of silver plated wire. That is mm. amazing. That's brilliant to have all that. Absolutely I brilliant. I absolutely love that. That is absolutely brilliant. You've got everything from your 0.25 right the way up to one of our biggest gauges of wire, which is your one and a quarter. Your one and a quarter mil gauge wire is beautiful stuff, isn't it, for making yes. bangles yeah. with yeah. and Bangles, rings. if you're going to do your... So you could do, oh, if, wow. again, like Tree of Life, so maybe you want to do your frame or a talk necklace and, mm. and use that. You've got everything that you need there. Oh my gosh, absolutely brilliant stuff. There's so much wire here. We were just talking actually about how we haven't had a lot of silver plated wire recently. You've got 123 meters of it here, ranging from, like I say, some of the finest to some of the heaviest gauge as well. How many of these have we got, Tom? Oh, we've got a decent quantity of this. Let's get this, let's get this price point down. 20 pounds and 30 pence, that's brilliant. It's not your deal. It's not your deal today. Text us now. Let us know what what hatreds do you have for weird things? Seven ninety five. What? <gasps> Six pence a meter. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen a price point that low for silver plated wire. That's incredible. Loads of people coming through. Goodness gracious me! You've got to get this. Six pence a meter for silver plated wire, ranging in size from uh, sorry, ranging in gauge from point two five. Right the way up to one and a quarter yeah. mil gauge wires. That is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Deborah's got the right idea. She's just bought two. So Sylvia, well done. Elaine, well done to Jackie. Well done to Christine and Lynn and Sharon. And Michaela's got two. Well done to you as well in Warwickshire. And Carol, well done to you as well. Loads of collectors. Collector and County Down coming through. Another Carol, this time in East Sussex. Well done to you as well. Samina, Wendy, Leanne, Sue, another collector. Well done to Lynn in Manchester. Jacqueline in Warwickshire. Well done. Deborah in Lincolnshire. This is absolutely brilliant. Christine in Essex. Well done to you as well. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. I've got over 100 chances available. You're going to be getting 100 metres of 0.25. You've got 10 metres of your um, 0.4. 10 metres of your one mil gauge and, ten, and uh, three metres of your one and a quarter mil gauges. You've got everything here. Which ones are your favourite gauges in this, um, little, in this little bundle? Oh, that's very difficult because I, I, I really like working with one mil and a 0.4, mm. but that 1.25, I yeah. just don't see it very often. And no. that allows you to do, you know, the lovely, um, <clears throat> yeah, the little bangles. Shall I show you very oh, quickly? Oh, yes, please. That'd be lovely. Um, so I'm going to do a mini one. So I'll just do a little bit with my... Um, uh, my one mil here so yeah. when you've got your so you'd have a bigger either the bracelet mandrel or you want something so there's a larger mandrel there mm. so you want to go full all the way around so i've done like one one and a half times that i've gone round. yeah okay so if i snip off snip off there there you go and snip off there okay okay so this is going to be a teeny weeny one oh, okay really so I'm gonna, then. i've got my um i've got my chain nose pliers so I'm going to bend that and I'm going to go into the circle yeah, yeah lovely okay so I'm going to turn it over and do the same on this side so I've got again so I'm going in and turning into the circle yeah which gives me something that looks like that yeah lovely okay then I'm going to take so I'll get my again my bail makers 
I'm going to bend this out. So I've started to, so I'm just going to hold that there. Lovely. And bring that in. So you just need to make sure that that, that loop there is going to be larger than, uh, you know, so that your 1.25 can go through. So I've done that side. So again, yeah. we'll start from the inside and work our way out. So, so I'm going right from the end. Yeah, lovely. Bring that in. <gasps> This is a perfect kind of design to do with this kind of wire, it's, it's isn't just it? So, it's so versatile because then you could add on any gemstone, Swarovski, anything that you wanted. Uh, Definitely. You know, make your own charm. So I've got a teeny one there. So you can see that then is an adjustable bangle. That's absolutely good. Isn't that beautiful? Good, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, that's, that wire is brilliant. And also the one and a quarter mil gauge wire as well. A lot of people think that, oh, you can only use it for weaving. In actual fact, you can do things like rosary linking with it. Even though it's a really, really fine gauge wire, it is still a very, very strong wire. So you can do things like rosary linking with it as well. And loads of those have gone well done. I, I've still got quantity left. I've got lots and lots of people coming through. Now, I was hoping we were going to have some of this, Tom, because I have not seen this for such a long time. I've had shows with Alison Tarry. I've had shows with Gemma Crow. I've had shows with you, Claire. And we've never, we have not had this, I think, for the last kind of three, four months. I'm so pleased to say... I've got bare copper wire. Brilliant. Oh, this is We've amazing. We've waited for, it for a long time, haven't we? For yeah. ages. Yeah. You've got 50 metres of 0.25. So remember what we were saying, you can use it for weaving, but you can also use it for something a little bit more kind of load bearing, like your rosary linking. You've got 10 metres of 0.4. Um, and then this is, this is like hen's teeth. 10 metres of one mil gauge bare copper wow. wire. Now, because it's bare copper, a lot of people wear copper bracelets, copper bangles for their supposed medicinal properties. Um, a lot of people wear them to alleviate the pain of um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I, I, I obviously can't condone that. I obviously can't say that, but there are people who make a lot of money and there are people who sell bangles and, and you know, um, um, uh, rings. Uh, which people wear to alleviate the symptoms of of um, arthritis. Bare copper is the only wire you can do that with. You can't do it with um, the pearl wire that we bought you earlier on, for instance, because it's coated. And once you have a coated or a plated wire, the copper isn't touching your skin. This is amazing stuff. So if you did want to make something for somebody to wear, um, uh, which which could possibly, you know, you know, uh, myth and legends does suggest that it can alleviate the pain associated with arthritis and other and other um, 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 ailments. This is fantastic stuff. This is the only wire that um, that I would say, you know, give it a go uh, with something like this it's bare copper also the fact that it's bare copper it means that you can patina you can yeah, patina you can it, yeah. use Get it with a really liver of sulfur high shine or, yeah, it's beautiful yeah. stuff Colour it in different with ways. all the bare copper stuff and the fold forming that we had the other day with lovely fleur this is the kind of wire that you'd want to use it with. The price on our bare copper wire, I think, is absolutely amazing. The price is incredible. Have a look at this. For the whole lot, for the whole lot, that's 70 meters in total of 0 0.25, 0 0.4, and one more gauge. Sorry, Tom, the price is four pounds 95 pence i don't know what's going on with the graphics something's happening with the graphics at the minute but it's four pounds 95 pence that's do make sure you come it? through and get that as soon as you can for all of your kind of christmas projects also things which are going to be hanging outside maybe as well your bare copper wire is absolutely fantastic so mm. 4.95 for that today well done and um, sorry there's something up with our graphics which means we can't bring the price on screen but it's four pounds 95 pence these are incredible wire deals absolutely incredible they really are aren't they Really good. Are we back? Are you able to put the price on? Here you go. Very, very popular. Lots of people coming through. Well done, everyone. And Nita and Indiana's coming through to get that. Ooh. Oh, wow. What about this Indiana in, uh, in, in the States? What about this Indiana in the States? Yes, I know where it is. I know it's in America. Whereabouts in America? I wonder what time it is as well. I reckon Indiana is central, kind of cent east central, oh, east central, yeah. possibly. I don't know. Is it? Are you looking, Tom? Does it border like Pennsylvania? Oh, it's near Chicago. Oh, so it's north, further north. Okay. Middle North. 
More east than anything. Is it north? Is it middle? <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Let's have a look. Indiana. I'm having a look. Oh, no. What have I just done oh. then? Oh, hello. Cherokee, Houston, Leon, Trinity. Hang on. What am I no, I'm looking at Texas. I don't want to look at Texas. Washington, Pittsburgh, Columbus, Indianapolis, Raleigh. Oh, so that's kind of North Carolina, isn't it? It's kind of Chicago. Is it? Oh, there we go. It's, it, it, it's in, um, in uh, so it's next door to Illinois. There we go. North of Kentucky and near Ohio. There we go. Anyway, well done. <laughs> Lovely Anita. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of east, east, northeast, central. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean now, Tom. <laughs> oh, double do. Oh my gosh! I just, I just, I can't look at that DVD without just, without just thinking, what an absolute beauty. <laughs> I love this DVD. I love my little chihuahua. It's adorable. <laughs> is this modelled on your own chihuahua? Yeah, it's the original no. little Bobo. <laughs> Beautiful. Wild work and Swarovski chihuahua. Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> it's the ears, I think, that get me. Mm. They do have big ears. I know they do. He's <laughs> lovely. Outline, woven detail, face and body detail, and safety catch and lead. It's beautiful. It is project based. You've also got wire work findings. Oh, is that one of yours? No. Who's that? Oh, is that maybe Laura Bindings? Possibly. Earrings, findings, decorative head pins, wire work clasps, and connectors. Brilliant. You've then got your wire work B. This is one of yours, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I love this. What wire did you use for this? What kind of... I used sterling silver for that one. Did you? Um, yeah, but you could absolutely do it in, um, you know, in plated wire. Bare copper would be nice Bare copper well. would yeah. be nice. I was just thinking yeah. that. Setting the cabbage on the body, finer details and brooch fastening. Um, wire work penguin. Oh my gosh, this is an adorable DVD. The body structure. Hang on. There you are. Um, the seed bead detail, weaving the feet and beak. Sorry, I don't know what that said then. Uh, and um, back structure and construction. Isn't he lovely? Uh, wire work bird. Is this one of yours? Yeah, that was a really Claire. early one. Yeah, really the structure, early one. weaving, embellishing the body, embellishing the wings and assembling the bird. Isn't that gorgeous? Is it a hummingbird? Yes. It's beautiful. Yes. And then we've got a couple of Alison Tarry's DVDs. Wire Dolphin Sculpture. This is beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, which uh, goes through creating the frame, the fin, the tail, the beak, the body scroll work, constructing the dolphin and creating the stand as well because there's a little stand that goes with it as well. And last but not least, the Wire Work Gingerbread House. This is amazing. Ooh. Wow. Wow, it's a two-disc special. Wow, where you've got learn to create a festive gingerbread house using the wire and beautiful adornments with guest designer Alison Tarry. There you go. That's a two-disc special edition That's lovely inside, Christmas isn't it? DVD. See, all that I know. Would be beautiful jewelry as well. Be That's, yes. Yeah. Oh, you're absolutely mm. right. Yeah, the techniques that you mm. will learn on these projects, although they are project-based DVDs, you'll be able to. Um, apply to um, uh, jewellery that you'll make over the years as well. £45.96. Sorry, £45.65. Absolutely fantastic. Look at all those DVDs. That's a lot, that One, is, two, three, isn't it? four, five, six, seven, eight DVDs you're going to be getting there because, of course, this is a double disc edition. Uh, all the way down, everyone. £19.95. <gasps> Well, that's amazing, isn't it? That's very good for all that work. That's amazing. Mm. We're under... And all the techniques. 20 pounds. Projects that you're doing that. Of course, everything from weaving mm. to, to um, um, uh, uh, netting a cabochon, yeah. to making your own findings, obviously, to doing your lovely scroll work, to using your seed beads with your wire, to making um, your... It says seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what I said. I said eight. Don't know. It's eight. 
Eight DVDs. I've already said that. <laughs> I've already said that. Um, yeah, so the equivalent of eight DVDs. I think, yes, I think the dolphin comes with like a, a pattern. Is it a booklet or a pattern or something? To, should we have a look? This is another thing I can't stand, wrapping. Oh yes, yeah. Or well, you know on biscuits as well, with that, the, the tear off. When you, just want to, when you just want to get, get in. Yes, yeah. Oh, oh, this lovely Alison. Aww. Tells you what you're going to need. You've got, you've got the tools. There you go. You've got your um, descriptions in here. Um, oh, look, you've got really, really Brilliant. close to photography. The beak. Look how close we are to the beak there. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, gosh. Oh, who's there? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Do you remember what you were saying? Um, I'm not sure who was. <laughs> Someone said something funny. Look at Mark. Little, look at his beard there. That was a long time ago. Gosh, all those years ago makes you realise how long we've actually been here. I don't know. Anyway, so it's £19.95. Well done to Marion. Well done to Jan Elizabeth on the Isle of Wight. Anita in Indiana. Um, Pat, Doris, Linda. Uh, Pat, Doris, Linda. Jenny, Elaine, Regina, Collector, Zoe. Loads of people. That's amazing. Isn't that awesome, gang? Well done, everybody. Text in. Universal hatreds. What do you, what do you, what do you hate? I hate cellophane and... Sellotape and cling film mm. and wooden lollipop sticks. Oh, uh, and I don't like um, cotton wool. Don't like touching cotton wool. Don't like mm. the way it squeaks. Um, yeah. Felt tip pens. You know when they start to run out and they. Oh, yeah. felt tip pens if when you they run out. Too, if you go too hard with them, yeah, it's like a yeah. not good. Mm. I don't like opening, uh, tearing cardboard, and it goes all fluffy. Yes. Oh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. Anyway, uh, let us know. What do you hate? <laughs> you, Harold. Harold? <laughs> Carol. I, just called my, Harold? I called myself Carol? Harold then. <laughs> anyway. Well, I don't normally I don't normally say my name. Okay, here we go. So these are beautiful halo beads. They are gorgeous. You've got gold, rose gold. Gold, rose gold, and silver plated base metal. They are gorgeous. <coughs> um, these are beautiful. What they are is they've got these beautiful little, I mean, look how substantial they are, first off. Beautiful, substantial little rings to, uh, for you to use in your jewelry. They've got here a, a drill hole, which is kind of central to the bead. You've got one here, you've got one on the other side as well. You can kind of see it just through there, can't you? Oh, I've seen some beautiful designs uh, with people using these. To be able to put a head pin kind of through mm. um, into the, yeah, there you go, perfect. And popping a bead on the middle there, yeah. popping a through draw bead. It, it? it really, really does. It gives you the most beautiful kind of almost like a bezel uh, look to it. It's absolutely gorgeous quality, isn't it? Really, really lovely. And, um, you know, whatever bead it's going to be, it will give it the most beautiful frame, the most gorgeous kind of almost like faux bezel setting. Um, you've got rose gold plated, silver plated and yellow gold plated base metal um, 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 halo beads here. You're getting um, 10 in each colour. They're beautiful. I just like the idea... Claire, of making a really lovely necklace just with, you know, just popping pearls in these and just kind of having them going all the way around my neckline yeah, or, 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 yeah. or at least around the front part. And um, you could, you could go through because the whole, you could get, I think, two lots of your um, your thread through. So quite you could possibly, sort of, yeah. yeah. Come off so that that, so it's just a space, like a, you know, like negative space Avoid. in between. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that might be quite nice as yes, well. Yes, absolutely, because yeah. they're really beautiful beads just on their own. Yeah. You don't have to have anything coming through them. Or better still, get a head pin. Yes. Have we got yeah. any head pins? I don't think we do, do we? Uh, 
No, get a head pin and pop a head pin through there and all you'll see, especially yeah. if it's a flat top head pin, is that lovely open space. If you use a round, uh, you know, a ball top head pin, then of course you'll see the little the little ball um, in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the hoop. It's really, really gorgeous. £14.85 and a really great way of making your jewellery. Um, giving more statement to your jewellery, giving more of that um, uh, kind of uh, centre stage feel to your to your central gemstones. And the movement as well, isn't it, around Absolutely. it? Absolutely. something quite nice as well. Gorgeous. And and, and it's framing your beads. Mm. It's framing your your designs and giving them the giving them the the quality that they deserve. Very, very popular. Irene, Shirley, Susan, Christine, Mary, Karen, Jackie, another Jackie, Ingrid, Angela, Collector, Jacqueline, well done to you, um, anonymous bid as well done. Star by Amatrine um, Assortment coming up right now. There you go. Um, <laughs> Amatrine. Amatrine cabochons. Just ignore Claire. I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> these are absolutely stunning. I love these. Look at the size of these. Now, I'm so glad, believe it or not, Believe it or not, I'm so glad we've got Claire on the show today. Um, believe it or not, yeah. Um, <laughs> Are you sure? If there was ever, if there was ever a professional, if there was ever these are a professional yeah. jewellery maker yeah. who could make something with these, i.e., claw <laughs> claw set. Then it would be you, Claire. Shall I get my portfolio? I think they're being very, very cruel. Yeah. Ollie said, yeah, give them to Fleur. Give them to someone else. <laughs> give them to Rachel Norris. She's on the mid-show. No, I would give them to Claire. Because you have done prong-setting DVDs. I have. You have done yes. gen-setting DVDs. Yes. So something like that, it would work very well. Well, look at this. A simple um, version. But in all the pendants, it would... Um, look at that. Yeah. For goodness sake. I kid you not. Claire MacDonald made that. Unbelievable, I know. So yeah, on the on the prongs. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's wonderful. Could I have a look at? Can I have a look at some of them? Of course, them? you can. These are, I haven't seen these. Yeah, before. now that <gasps> one there, that huge, big rectangular one, that for me would be a pen. Ah, oh, now you know, um, um, you know, Alison well. Terry's new gallery. Um, <gasps> yes. The gallery ring yes, DVD. Perfect. Surely you could adapt the gallery ring to making a gallery underneath a gemstone independent maybe because that for me that that gemstone That's there incredible isn't in it a, in a pendant yeah. i would adore that on a chain <gasps> these are oh, amazing they, i know they're absolutely gorgeous aren't they beautiful so prong setting claw setting gallery wire i've got a little mm. bit of gallery wire today just to let you know um, and you'd probably use something with the one that claire's got there you probably use something a little bit like this gallery wire is this something you've seen before claire it's it's beautiful, Absolutely, isn't it? Yes. Um, so you've got your lovely gallery wire here, which allows you to set the gemstone and you tease those prongs, those sticks, as it were, over the top of the gemstone and it allows you to set the gemstone. It can take you hours and hours and hours to do that, but, uh, to do that with wire. Um, with the greatest of respect to Claire, you know, it takes, it, it takes a lot of time. It takes a bit of... Um, you know, a lot of a lot of kind of practicing and getting things right, getting things wrong to be able to achieve these kind of looks. Whereas with your gallery wire, it's much much simpler. Um, these are stunning. In this pack, I've got a rectangular one. I've got a couple of ovals. They won't all be the same size and shape. You might be lucky and get a pair of gemstones, but it's highly unlikely they're going to be the same size and shape. That's not what this is about. This is about giving you wow. carat weight and beautifully faceted individual gemstones. Twenty nine ninety five for the lot. Now That's on here amazing. I've got three, six gemstones. That means each one of these is 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 about what five pounds each. That's amazing. Mm. That's incredible. Look at that. It's not your price. I'd pay a tenner for each one of these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Plus the fact it's amatrine as well. Today, <gasps> fifteen pounds and ninety five pence. Which oh makes each word. one of these, what, that is uh, 16, that is 15, that is um, 6, oh gosh, how much is that? 266 for these. Oh. 266 per, look at I that, that one there, down. that is £2.66. 
What's this? I'm going to just write it down. Write that code down. It's a list book. She's actually got a list book. It says on the front, list book. Yeah. Look at that with that beautiful... If I do that, look look at that stripe of amethyst going through... Sorry, of citrine going through the centre of that. Can you see that? If that was independent, that would be... I mean, I would not be surprised to see that for kind of 80, 90 pounds. With sterling silver wine, maybe even more. Such a beautiful piece. Gorgeous, isn't it? This really large one here, where... Where, where, where in the world would you expect to pay less than £2.70 for that? Yeah. Look at the size of it. It's enormous. It's like a world inside there. See that beautiful swoop of citrine coming through. And what I like about this as well is it's not trying to be gem quality. It's not like a Nahi Amatrine. We're not saying this is exceptional, you know, clarity you're going to be getting. It's got zones of colour. And the beautiful thing about that, of course, is it gives the gemstone more character, more interest. That gemstone there is two pounds what, what was it sorry darling Good 270 266 i'd pay 20 30 pounds for definitely. that definitely at a gem fair you know maybe even more the rarity of what you're getting here completely natural amatrine from bolivia what was that accent you just did then uh, tom here's deborah from S S I, i'm not even going to attempt the accent that tom just did summer is that so it's, well, it's a bit like that isn't it it's kind of west country like that Although I'm sure Deborah, well, I don't know, Deborah, you might sound like that, you might not. Thank you so much for my 50 pounds win on the wall of fame. Congratulations. You made my day. Loving the show. Debbie Brown from West Somerset. Aww. Well, Debbie, I loved your beautiful bracelet that you made mm. with the beads in the middle and with the kind of, it would look, it look like leather cord around the outside. Really well done to you, sweetie. Um, 15 pounds and 95 pence. That is a proper can I bargain. Hold them all, yes, please. you can, darling. Thank you. <gasps> We've got cold hands. Yeah. Cold hands, Actually, warm heart. These are amazing, aren't they? Are you a cold person? Um, n n no. You don't tend to be a very cold person. No. Uh, both Quite of my children warm. are very different. I've got a cold child and a hot child. Pippa is constantly hot and her hands are always warm. Yeah. Whereas Hattie's hands are constantly freezing. She's like a little, I don't know what she's like, it's like a little ice cube. 20 woodland jasper now claire this might be a gemstone you haven't seen before whilst you've been away selfishly on your travels enjoying yourself i've loved all of her lovely f photos on instagram oh, and beautiful Facebook. photos yeah haven't been jealous at all <laughs> hope you're having fun <laughs> there were I, I know it is the land of lakes where you've been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is amazing. What was that place? What was that place that you went to? Was it like an emerald lake or something? Lake Louise, maybe? Oh, or my gosh. Moraine Lake. That's the best. That was my favourite one. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. Yeah. Woodland Jasper, eight mils. Oh, my word. I love this gem. And now you're back here in Redditch. Oh, well, you've got it. Go. Come on, back to reality. Uh, so uh, eight mil rounds. These are beautiful, aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? Um, I love the greens, the mustard colours, and I love the texture within the gemstone, don't you, with the woodland jasper? Yeah, it's a lovely palette, isn't it? Really, really lovely. They are lovely. It looks like there's texture within the gem, not just on the surface, but it goes right the way through the gemstone here, which is really impressive. Should be £11.95. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love all those. It, it's like the changing of the seasons, isn't it? Those gorgeous colours. And it's all natural. Beautiful stuff. £7.95. pence. There you go, everybody. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at these peaches. They're so different to these mm. blues, aren't they? Blue! And some of the, um, the so beautiful. types. I mean, you could not, couldn't you? You could not and then add in one of your... <gasps> One of your amatrine like that. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. It brings out, isn't it? Sort of like the, the, the lavender tones. Yeah, because you've got the... these ones here with lovely kind of heather tones yeah. in them, haven't you? So yeah. of course it will go. Mother Nature's palette. There's very, very little as beautiful as Mother Nature. Mother Nature mm. is the most amazing force, isn't she? Isn't she? You know, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's beautiful colours, whether it's terrifying, um, you know, uh, thunderstorms, whatever it may be. She is pretty amazing. I saw a photograph yesterday of a thunderstorm happening whilst a volcano was erupting. Wow. And because the volcanic ash 
was kind of almost, it's got quite a lot of metal in there. It became electrically kind of charged, charged. so that so wow. it, 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 the, the lightning looked amazing. It's alive. But there we go. Amazing. It wasn't a Marvel movie, no. <laughs> or the what? The tumble dryer, what are you talking about? No, I lost you then, mate. I, I, I don't know what you're going on about. Right, are you new to jewellery making? Okay, pretend you are. Yes. Oh, oh, you, you're sorry. new to jewellery, okay. <clears throat> Let's start again. Hello there, are you new to jewellery making? Hi, yes I am. Have you ever made a piece of jewellery in your life? No, I haven't. Would you like to learn how to make pieces of jewellery? I would really like to. Would you like to know what, you're, what you absolutely have to get if you are brand new to jewellery making? Yes, please. It's the Jewellery Making 8-Piece Toolkit. Ooh. Yes. Now, in this toolkit, you have got round nose pliers, flat nose pliers. Are they cutters? No, they're cutters. No, they're pliers. Cut side cutters, snips, your scoop. You've got your tweezers. You've got your bee dreamer and you've got your pillbox as well to put your medica. Oh no. <laughs> to put your to put your findings in and to put your gemstones in. This is basically all you need to become a, a uh, starter beginner jewellery maker. It is, yeah. Absolutely. And, and guess what? What? It's only five pounds and ninety-five pence. That is such a good price. I, I remember when they were um, the ten, ten pounds. That yep. is so, so good. Do I. Really, really good. We used to do the small toolkit tools. and the larger toolkit. The larger toolkit was, I think, about fifteen quid, and the yep. smaller toolkit was nine ninety-five. It's now five ninety-five. It's amazing. All of our guest designers use these tools. They're absolutely brilliant. They will stand the test of time. And if you're going to be making jewelry, you will need this toolkit. Fact. You can make it um, a stretch bracelets, stretchy pieces of jewellery for a short period of time, but then when you start to do your beaded jewellery um, and maybe even your basic wire work, you will need this toolkit. It is absolutely essential. I just love the fact that jewellery making might be something that you only do during the winter months, or it might be something that you only do when you go away on holiday. You're only investing five ninety five, which is brilliant, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. For, for all those specialist tools, you know that it's not that they're electrical pliers or, and you know they are specialist jewellery making um, tools. So you're going to get really, really neat results with them. Absolutely. And in the, and in the case it, it itself. Exactly, in this lovely, lovely case, but a lovely idea for a Christmas prezi. Uh, we are not that far away from Christmas. I've started doing my Christmas shopping, um, and and I tell you something, it is it is absolutely terrifying the kind of prices which you will pay out there for you know to start a hobby, to start a hobby be such as oh gosh I don't know everything from learning to play the piano to starting even something as basic like jogging you've got to invest in the trainers the high vis stuff all that kind of stuff whereas this 5.95 if you are brand new to jewelry maker by the way you will also get just for being a new customer two free strands of genuine gemstones and a free get started with jewelry maker DVD featuring none other than our own Claire McDonald. And we go through on the uh, on the DVD we go through everything that's um you know in your toolkit and what it does. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, they're really, really useful tools. They've all got to use. And I think it stands to reason that this toolkit has not changed since the day we started. Yeah. It has got everything in yeah. it. We've thought of absolutely everything. The only other thing I'd probably say to add to your order is probably a threading pack, maybe some of your wire as well, um, and, a, and maybe some gemstones. But of course, if you're brand new to jewelry maker, you'll get two free strands of gemstones anyway. See, see what happens. See what happens. Um, you never know. So many people start making pieces of jewelry uh, but, but by way of uh, relaxation or a form of therapy or to kind of occupy their mind, you know, to exercise mindfulness. Um, and then they end up being, um, you know, sending stuff into the Wall of Fame and selling their pieces of jewellery mm. as well. So, you know, you never know what might happen. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, give it a go. Now, I've got this coming up after the break. Dog tooth amethyst. This is proper, proper dog tooth amethyst. It's absolutely beautiful stuff. I can't wait to bring it to you. It's coming up in just a couple of seconds. Don't go anywhere. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone. I was just sat here thinking, you know, the big build up towards Christmas, December. Personally, I don't think December is December without our good friend, the advent calendar getting up every morning and opening those little doors and getting your little chocolate or your little Christmas surprise. So, for the first time ever, Jewellery Maker have produced their very own Christmas advent calendar. 
So every morning you're going to get up, you're going to open your little doors, and inside will be some beads. 24 different beads. And on the 25th, the special day, you'll be receiving a DVD with five make-along projects to use up all of these little surprises that you've been building up over the month. So join us for Jewelry Maker's very first Christmas Advent Calendar. Cheers. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced Jewelry Maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. We are delighted to announce that Rachel Norris will be here with us on a Wednesday of all days. Rachel is going to be launching her wirework booklets that include a fantastic icicle necklace and a wonderful reindeer pendant. So make sure you join us on a Wednesday with Rachel Norris on a Wednesday. She's never here on a Wednesday for a wonderfully wicked wirework Wednesday. Join us here on Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, Simon here. I'd like you to come and join me on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks. So I'll be on for most of the morning show and most of the mid show. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, this is where I bring some of the lowest ever prices we've had on the product. Uh, it's not clearance, it's perfectly good stock. Uh, so it really is just an opportunity to get a fantastic deal, even more than usual. And with Christmas coming up, why not come and make the most of the opportunity? So come and join me, Simon, on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks. Jewelry Maker but don't have an account, you can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. about cocktails. Oh, Pina Colada's your favourite, is it, um, Claire? Yeah. <gasps> 
Do you have to have umbrellas in it and stuff like that? Oh, the fancier the better. The fancier, yeah. the more flamboyant yeah. the better. The more Liberace the better. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Claire? What's your fave? I like, you know the ones, the, um, is it a Caipirinha? Kai... Oh, With like, um, uh, is it cachaça or something like that, isn't it? And, and crushed ice, and you can get lime mm. ones with sugar. Mm. Oh. They're strong. I like Cosmopolitan, but they are mm -hmm. lethal. You could probably run your car on a Cosmopolitan, but they're very nice. Anyway, um, back to jewellery making. Um, oh, sorry, Ollie, what's yours? <laughs> well, I know. Oh, was it Long Island? Do you like a Long Island? Yeah, like a Long Island. It's Long Island. lethal, is Long Island. With, with, um, Long Island's got everything in it. Yeah. Strong. I thought you liked um, espresso martinis anyway, Ollie. Oh, they're nice. Mm. If you had to live on one coat, it would be, it would be uh, yeah. Long Island. What about you, Tom? Oh, I like Ooh, a oh, yes. mojito yeah. with the Angostura cool. bitters on top. And... <clears throat> Neri, what about you? Huh? Favourite cocktail? Uh, blue Pure Cara Lemonade. Blue what? Pure Cara. That? Something blue. WKD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it sounds amazing though. Oh, it's a liqueur. It's a liqueur. Right. Dog tooth amethyst. <laughs> Text us now. What do you hate? <laughs> <laughs> I love dog tooth amethyst. It, for me, it looks like, you know the scenes out of um, Lord of the Rings where you see um, Frudu and, um, and, all, and, his, and, his, and his mates and um, Frodo and who's the other bloke? Who? Sam Wise and Bilbo and whoever it is. Anyway, they're all going on their journeys and they're walking over these kind of mountain ranges and, and, it's, and it's all very dramatic and it's beautiful and there's a stirring kind of soundtrack. These, for me, look like those jaggedy mountain uh, ranges. I love the striations in Dogtooth Amethyst. Don't you, Claire? Yeah, it's very like, atmospheric, isn't it? Really, it's really atmospheric. Yeah. They're beautiful. The chevrons that you get, it's basically when amethyst and white quartz grow together. And amethyst is a member of the quartz family, so it stands to reason that, you know, you've got a couple of different types of quartz growing together. And they, what happens is, is the inclusions, um, the white quartz pushes against the amethyst. So you get these really beautiful chevrons. You get these beautiful, sharp, triangular um, um, uh, shapes. It's actually named after the dog tooth um, iris, which is a flower, um, not the dog tooth design, um, kind of the, um, the stitch um, uh, formation. It's named after the dog tooth iris. It's a really, really beautiful, quite contemporary um, variety of amethyst. Just a little bit different to other amethysts in the fact that it's all about the inclusions. It's all about those those um, chevrons that you get inside the gemstone. I really, really love They're it. They're so different, aren't they, as well? Although yes, you know they're they the are. same, but so that's you know a lot more subtle in that one. But mm. I love with this one, it's the it's the shape as well. It's completely 3D, so you can see. So like on that one there from the side, yeah, let's you know, you'd almost like want that on a... Oh. Can you see? So you've got, you've got haven't you, from, from all angles. Definitely. Um, Gemma Crow had some of the gallery wire the other day and what she did, oh, it's gone. Uh, what she did was she got like a centimetre of it and just made it into a little ring and just sat it on top of a shard of, um, I think it was Jasper, I think it was. Um, and it just gave the gem that little kind of coronet, that little mm, kind nice. of crown. Sometimes you want to do that with a gem, which is, which is as beautiful but rustic as, as your dog tooth amethyst. You want to give it that little bit more of a, an elevated look, and that's a lovely, a, a lovely option for you. I think it would go particularly well with today's amazing deal of the day with the beautiful peacock mm. near round pearls. I think they look amazing together. Let's get that price point down for you today. 150 carats of your dog tooth amethyst um, in these beautiful irregular slices, 9.95. That's a brilliant, brilliant price. And can I just say as well, if you can multi-buy this, please do, because each one of these, as Claire has, has quite rightly pointed out, each one is so different. Each one of these gems is so different. So each one of the strands is going to be you know, have its own kind of feel, have its own story to tell. On the strand, there are approximately three, six, nine, ten of them on the strand, which is um, which is fantastic. It's a great, great amount to work with. Suitable for different styles of jewelry, different types of jewelry as well. I mean, you could use these long ones here as beautiful pendants. You could maybe use the shorter ones as lovely earrings. All of them in one piece of jewelry would be a nice way of using them, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, definitely. Or rings as well would be great. Oh, yes. Why rings work be, rings? Yeah, lovely. Why are wrapped rings? Of course, again, because they've got these lovely straight kind of blunt sides to them, they'd work beautifully well with the gallery wire should you want to set them with gallery wire. Um, you can use that drill hole. Choose not to use that drill hole. It's entirely up to you. Great, great price point today. I'd be, I'd be inclined to use this as individuals because they've all got impact. And sometimes when you use a whole load of gemstones together that have all got impact, you lose that a little bit. Whereas if you use them just one at a time, you, if, especially if you sell your jewelry, you could sell these for more individually than you might be able to sell them for all um, together. Well done, beautiful deal today, well done. Gorgeous, 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 beautiful. Next, right. We are not very long away from our deal of the day. That's very exciting. Tiger's eye. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That would go nicely with the, um, the second kit. Mm. Yeah, it really would, wouldn't it? Inner strength, that mm. second uh, mm. kit. What was that movie called? No. Don Murray goes uh, in, in the, into his body in a little space. Inner space. Yeah. That was it with Martin Short. Yes. And um, Den was it Dennis Quaid? No. Yes. That, that, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that yeah. was it. Yeah. It was great, wasn't it, that movie? It's so <laughs> funny. Martin Short, so funny. Um, £4.95 for your gorgeous tiger's eye. Three mil faceted rounds of tiger's eye. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. When you facet tiger's eye, um, you'd think that you actually lose a bit of that um, chatoyancy. In actual fact, you don't. It's still very much there. And it's... Um, Makes those golden colours leap off the strand, doesn't it? Leap! Gorgeous, well done, 4 95 I love all that fasting. It's a really small gemstone to facet as well. These are only three mil in size. They're tiny, tiny, tiny gemstones. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Well done, everyone coming through to get these. Text in now with um, things that you hate. Weird things you hate. Hi, everyone. I hate cling film. It sticks to everything but what I want it to. Exactly. I hate it. The staticness of cling film is really annoying, isn't it? Hi, all. I hate pink and white coconut ice. <gasps> it oh, turns Jane, my stomach it. just to see it. Really? It's What's a funny. That, it's a funny um, texture. Yeah, but it, oh, it's lovely. But is it? Nice and sweet. Oh, I don't yeah. know what it is. I'm not sure yeah. what it is. Lovely. Well done, everyone. Um, I'm not sure what coconut ice is actually. I remember oh. going on a Hindu uh, years ago, and, and one of the girls oh. had wrapped her middle in cling film. You know, like off um, Full Monty. She lifted up her top, and she'd like wrapped the whole of her middle. Why? In, I think it's like I th it was years ago, but like I don't know. I think it's like it have a slimming effect. Cling film. Cling film. Yeah. Please don't do that. Mm -hmm. I've only ever seen it. I've seen it once and then on full Monty. I dated a guy once. Um, he was an idiot, by the way. But I dated a guy once who um, used to go running and he used to wear a bin bag mm -hmm. and then put his jogging kit over the top of it. To sweat more. Yeah. Just to sweat more. It's to really, really, really sweat. Mm. Uh, and he came out in a rash because of it. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, but it was, yeah, I think it was heat rash. Uh, black agate bicodes, these are precision. They are, aren't cut. they? Oh, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Eight mil bicones. You could, you could somehow do oh. them, um, couldn't you? And then with the, the strand that you previously had going in, in the gap in between, that would be what, nice. The, um, these? No, the, um, the tiger's eye ones. Oh, the tiger, oh yeah, yes, that's a lovely idea. I think they'd sit in. Oh, here we go. Gorgeous. Uh, morning, I hate when you walk along and walk straight into a cobweb. It's horrible. Yes, it's kind of that, ah, ah, and you feel like you haven't got it all off. I know exactly that <laughs> feeling. Uh, well done. Uh, 9.95 for this black agate. They are precision cut. I love the fasting on this. It's so sharp. It's so mm. edgy, and it gives you that wonderful flicker of luster, doesn't it? Oh, they are really, really lovely. Let's give them a bit of a twist, shall we? Ah! Oh, they are really, really nice, aren't they? They're gorgeous. They're full of um, luster, aren't they? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know why. I feel like I've got... I feel like I've got indigestion. I don't know why. Oh, goodness. 
That doesn't bode well. Well, I've had my breakfast, but that was... Like, Don't a bit of banana. Three, four hours ago. You've offered me that banana a couple it's, of it's times It's the only thing now. I've got. I haven't got anything else. Oh, it's just sitting there, isn't it? Yeah. Multicolour mixed jasper plain eight millimetre rounds. These are lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Gorgeous colours. Um, all of the colours on here. <laughs> all of the colours on here. Blues, greens, reds. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Eight pounds and 95 pence for your multicolour mixed jasper. <gasps> they are beautiful, aren't they? So you had lots of lovely um, stone silver charms uh, over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. The weekend. So he could do your stretchy bracelets, couldn't you? Put, um, you know, have these as the base for your charms. That's a really nice idea any. because a lot of people, uh, you know, a, a lot of us don't tend to wear colour. We tend to wear kind of the more neutral tones, and this can be the colour. This can be, you know, this is lovely kind of um, um, uh, jewellery that you can wear all year round. Um, Ollie's just pointed out the size of the drill holes. He's absolutely right. They've got really, really generous drill holes as well. So if you wanted to use some of the um, uh, thicker cords as well to go through here, then you absolutely can do. Do a lovely bit of rosary linking or some of the thicker elastic even to do your elasticated mm. braces. A great strand to start off with. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Number nine, sky blue appetite. Goodness me, this is blue. Blue! Look at this colour of these. Oh, that's like a swimming pool. Oh. Swimming pool, lagoon, a lagoon blue. Oh gosh. I might put those with the, um, you know, the, the bicones that you had. The black yeah. agate bicones. Yeah. Again, in, if you, you know, did that sort of that almost that um, <gasps> tessellation and then mm -hmm. and then pop that in there. Definitely, that'd be a lovely, lovely contrast of um, of uh, definitely of colours and shapes and sizes. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go. So sixty carats in total should be twenty four pounds ninety five pence all the way from Madagascar. Coming at ya. Um, beautiful. Did I just do that? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nine pounds, 95 pence. Absolutely gorgeous. If you're going to be getting a bit of winter, winter sunshine. Be nice, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, that'd be amazing. You know those people who say, oh yes, we're not here for Christmas. We're going to go to uh, <laughs> Barbados. Really? Have a great time. <laughs> no, I really mean it. Great. Have fun. Nine ninety five. <laughs> well done, everybody. Oh, there you go. Oh, sky blue appetite graduated faceted rondelles. Oh, do you know? I have a one. Have a wonderful time. I hope you don't get sunstroke. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. Um, under ten pounds. Isn't that gorgeous? We are forty five minutes away from today's amazing deal of the day. I do. I can't imagine anything worse than having you know being away for Christmas in a hot country. It'd be very different, wouldn't it? First of all, how does Father Christmas cope? What, in the heat? Yeah, in the heat. How it's does he magical. cope? It's magical though, isn't it? So it's like, well, yeah. yes. I was talking about... If like, time stands still, then maybe temperature is not affected by it. Possibly, yeah. He's clever though, isn't he? Very. Where do you think he goes on holiday? I was talking to my six-year-old about this yesterday. Where do you think Father Christmas goes on holiday? Ooh. The South Pole. Do you not think he goes somewhere really warm? South Pole isn't warm. Yeah, but it's not warm. It, it's still got penguins. Maybe he goes to, um, maybe he goes to, I don't know. Maybe he goes to Madagascar. I can imagine him going to Madagascar, maybe. Golden obsidian. Oh, wow. Oh, this is lovely. Ollie thinks Father Christmas prefers a city break. Maybe he does. Vegas. I don't know. Answer on a postcard. If you're watching um, F Christmas, let us know. Golden Obsidian Fasted Rondelles. Now, these will look amazing with um, your black agate rondelles that we've yeah, just had. Or, oh, indeed, the tiger's eye. Beautiful. It's almost like a velvet, isn't it? Do you know what? It's absolutely, you're absolutely right. It's exactly what it's like. Yeah, so, you know, velvet looks... And it is kind of furry. Mm. It looks kind of furry, mm. doesn't it? It's, it's like a pelt almost. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, 
it's black, but it's got this lovely, lovely golden uh, kind of um, golden quality to it. This is a beautiful strand. Oh, aren't they beautiful? They're so beautiful. Mm. It, it just looks luxurious, yes, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does, yeah. It looks really maybe luxurious. With, um, maybe with the, uh, yeah, so the gold, um, you know, the little uh, halo, halo beads. Halo beads. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a lovely works. idea. With those. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, alongside the halo beads, they look really, really nice, don't they? Yeah. It's just a really lovely, it looks like it, 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 it's, it's got a furry kind mm. of velvet kind of quality to it. And all that is, it's just the obsidian and the way that the kind of the golden shiller is released from the gemstone. It just looks fibrous. It just looks really soft and inviting. It looks beautiful. Very, very tactile. Absolutely gorgeous. Like a short haired cat. Yeah. With that lovely dense, yeah. dense kind of yeah. fur. Because, I mean, hundreds of years ago, um, uh, beavers were, were, were hunted, weren't they, for their pelts uh, to make things like hats and things like right, that. Yes, and I yeah. can imagine their pelt being, being you know, like, similar yeah. to this, lovely kind of uh, with a sheen through it. Beautiful. Have you seen, did you see many wild animals when you were in, um, when you were in Canada, Canada? I saw a few Claire? bears. I saw a few bears. Yeah. Billy yeah. bears. What, from afar, obviously? Oh, a few metres away. <gasps> There was one on, we did a hike and we came around the corner and he was just chilling. We had to get the rangers to come and get rid of him. Oh my goodness. You're meant to say hello bear, aren't you, as you're walking? No, you meant to say... like, okay, Mr. Bear, on you go. And the, if you talk loud and like a child, they seem to respond to it. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All I can think of is the great outdoors with John Candy. Big Bear! Big Bear, chase me! <laughs> oh, this is the funniest movie ever with Dan Aykroyd. If you haven't watched The Great Outdoors, you have to watch it. It's one of the funniest movies. Wow, man. It's the funniest movie ever. Oh, I love it. Have you seen it? I haven't. No, oh, you've I got to watch it. I've got it on yeah. DVD. I'll lend it to you. The Great Outdoors. And here we go. Ethiopian opal faceted tumbles. These are amazing, aren't they gorgeous? It's stunning. It really is stunning, isn't it? It's got a very Australian look to it in the fact that, it, oh, look at that recording. In, in, in the fact that the background looks quite white to this gemstone. However, the, um, the opal essence is really, really, really prominent. Um, it's a lovely backdrop to have for that beautiful opalescence to, to, to kind of leap off the gem. This one here in particular, I don't know whether you can see it, it really is. I mean, you've got some lovely pin fire on there, some lovely red and green pin fire on there. What you're looking at here is basically fossilized calcified water, uh, you know, mixed with other elements. That's basically what you're looking at. And the light hitting those water silicon uh, molecules, which are round, and the light bends over the top of it, which is why opalescence looks different to any other form of optical property that um, any other gemstone has because the molecules themselves are round and light bends around them. It's really, really interesting. Uh, beautiful quality. Any one of these would look amazing in a, in a ring, you know, three mm -hmm. in a beautiful trilogy ring. 160 pounds and 95 pence should be your price, but we can do so much better than that, uh, producer Tom is saying. <gasps> look at that. Absolutely. I'd be so happy if I got this mm. strand. Gorgeous. Well done. Here we go. That is a brilliant wow. price. Do you know what? That is almost £100 off that price point. That's absolutely brilliant. That is a £90 saving you're making today with this incredible strand. Um, absolutely gorgeous. £69.95. That's just beautiful. What would you do with a strand like this, I Claire? think I would, I would have a couple uh, as earrings, I think, because mm. to have that movement again, so you're seeing all those, all those colours. But, I mean, if you look at, you know, you've got a lovely pear shape there. That would be a fabulous pendant on its own. Wouldn't it just? I'd maybe have, do a solitaire ring with some of these, yeah. the, the larger ones. Yes, definitely. They're beautiful shapes. Yeah, they really, really are, aren't they? I have to say, Alison Tarry made a uh, beautiful um, opal ring uh, on the show, which I which I uh, claimed as my own, and uh, and I've got it. It's a beautiful rose cut um, um, Ooh, nice. um, opal, and it looks absolutely sensational in a ring. Don't don't, don't feel too don't feel um, nervous about setting opal in a ring. Maybe not a ring that you'd wear every day of the week, um, but definitely you know setting it into a ring is 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 the most the most effective way of setting it, and and you know because you can look at it all the time. Beautiful quality. Just look after it. As with anything, just look after it. Beautiful. So if you know you're gonna be rock climbing, don't wear it. Uh, just, uh, 
<laughs> oh, there you go. Coated peach moonstone. You're being extraordinarily um, condescending today, Ollie. I know you hate people. Do you know what? Sometimes you arrange to go out and the person texts you and says, I can't make it. And sometimes you're absolutely delighted. Aren't oh, you? yeah. It's lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, brilliant. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I get yeah. to say it. You know, what don't is worry that? about it. That's fine. What no is problem. that? What is that? Why, why are we glad? Because it's Cause the it... effort of going out. We don't want to socialise. We like our own company. What is it? Are we miserable? I don't know. Maybe it's a combination of all. And, and it's just nice to be at home, isn't it? And... So my dad's having a hip replacement on the 5th of December. And I think he's genuinely delighted about it because it means he gets to have a really quiet Christmas watching movies. And yeah, just brilliant. Like, he's delighted. <laughs> he's absolutely delighted. <laughs> oh, look at this. Coated peach moonstone uh Maybe with the um the agate or the um the golden obsidian <laughs> the golden obsidian absolutely with that they've both got that really soft luxurious feel oh look See, at that, that yeah that, that would be oh um, wow yeah and so you could you you know maybe just spaces mm. um in between. Oh, uh -huh. I really like that. That's that's very sparkly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Well done. 19 pounds and 95 pence. Beautiful quality. <laughs> I love these two together. And it's like a silvery coating. So it's not hiding the gem so you can still see the gem. Um, it's not like you're icing a cake and you're covering up the sponge, as it were. Um, you can still see the gemstone underneath. You can still get um well no, but that's <laughs> I know what I mean. You can still see the the gemstone and the character underneath it. I thought that was quite a good. Hmm. Yeah. What what do you call it? Analogy. I thought that was quite good. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just just leave me alone. Anyway, uh, well done, everyone. So I've got some friends coming over for dinner on um, Friday. Oh, what are you doing? No, I'm not hoping they cancel because <laughs> I'm going to be working very hard, slaving away in the kitchen, making. Yeah, uh, so the... for starters, this is what I think I'm going to do, but it, it's subject to change. Deep fried halloumi with homemade tomato chutney. Yes, yes. Ooh, yes. Is that going to be good? Yes, that's going to be and really good. And then for Maine, I'm doing um, spiced lamb casserole with thyme and chive cobbler on top. So like little biscuity things on top. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm going to do some... I'm, I'm going to do some mashed root vegetables. I want to do mashed potato, but then I'll, I'm in danger of eating all of it. So I'm going to do mashed root, like Swede and stuff like that. Mm. And then sweet potato mash. Yeah, that's a good call, actually. And then for pud, I'm doing chocolate and pear pavlova with salted caramel sauce. <gasps> Boom! <laughs> do you Let's want to come out? Up. Let's turn Friday up. Friday night. <gasps> France, Scotland, and Las Vegas are Father Christmas's yes. chosen um, oh, destinations. Really? Yes. According to a book by Raymond Briggs. I googled it. Oh, other search engines are available. France, Scotland, and mm. Vegas. This is my favourite. There's a film of it as well. It's my favourite Christmas film. Oh, what's it called? Just Raymond Briggs' Father Christmas. That's it. Is that what it's, it's got? It's about 25 minutes long. It's amazing. Okay, well, we're going to have to watch Aww. that then. I'm going to have to watch it. You bought Shay the Night Before Christmas. It's an amazing oh. book. Because you know it off by heart, don't you? Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Just love it. <laughs> uh, Rainbow Fluorite Pumpkin Cut. <gasps> so, uh, beautiful pumpkins. These are, these are um, not perfectly round. Um, they're more, um, they're more kind of pumpkin shaped. Yeah. Um... They are gorgeous, aren't they? Really, really beautiful, faceted, um, faceted. Uh, they're kind of square faceted, aren't they? You can see how they are, how they are kind of more of a pumpkin shape. It's like the earth is not completely round. It's, um, um, it's kind of, you know, they're slightly kind of flattened at both ends. Do you see what I mean? 9.95 gets you this today. Well done, everybody. 9.95, gorgeous quality. They're beautiful, aren't they? Well done. Gorgeous colours going through there. Purples, greens, 
Some of them are kind of bi-coloured as well, which is really nice, isn't it? Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 Six double five. I'll get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. It's absolutely brilliant to have um, to have your input today. Text in, what do you hate? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but, I feel, I, you know, it's just good to get things like that off your chest, isn't it? Um, have a look at this with today's amazing deal of the day. Deal of the yeah, day. Yeah, all the purples, yeah. Yeah, it's 56 to see the greens in here. Greens, purples, mm. blues. Blue! Oh, that's lovely. Ollie says as he's getting older, he's increasingly hating himself. I think oh. you're a, I think you're a top bloke. Usually. <laughs> I think you're a, you, he's lovely, he's yeah. our Ollie. Usually. Right, what number? 14, 14. <laughs> this would deal of the day as well. <laughs> oh, Ollie, I wouldn't think about it too much, love. You'll give yourself bad dreams again. Ollie's not very well at the minute. Um, you know, when you're running a bit of a temperature and you have terrible dreams. Mm. I remember having a terrible dream once when I had full-on flu when I was about eight or nine that I could never see my family again if I didn't finish a jigsaw and it was the most difficult jigsaw in the world to do oh, and no. I woke up screaming and crying. I'm going to see my and daddy again. Um, yeah. Oh, no, that's awful. Those kind of dreams are yeah. horrible when you're ill. Ill dreams. Yeah. Here we go. Blue sheen labradorite graduated centre drilled pairs. Now, blue sheen labradorite, I, I mean... The descriptions, you know, the description is absolutely right. It is not multicolored Labrador essence you're getting there. It is full on blue. And it's a it's a sheen of blue. So it takes over the entire face of the gemstone. It's not kind of sporadic like other Labrador essence that you get. It's it's it, it's a full, it's a full on kind of a face full of blue. <laughs> you, 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 you know what I mean, don't you? Um, or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but again, it's really, really beautiful. I'd be putting this with a beautiful golden obsidian uh, that we had earlier yeah. on, that lovely kind of velvety textured um, 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 obsidian that we had earlier on. It's a much more demure version of Labradorite, isn't it? But I, and I think I'd put it with a deal of the day. I mean, <gasps> that'd be beautiful earrings, yes. wouldn't it? So your pearl yes. and, then, and then your Labradorite pair. I know these pearls are absolutely gorgeous. They're coming up in about half an hour's time. We've only got 56 chances though. And I tell you something, I'm wearing one of them. Yeah. Gorgeous. I'm walking out with this today. Looks right. beautiful with your Should top. be 34.95. Thanks. Very nice. Should be 34.95. Let's get that price point down. Yeah, it's really, really great, isn't it? 23.95 wow. for Blue Sheen Labrador. That's amazing. Can I just say as well, this is one step away from Spectralite. And Spectralite, as you know, is unbelievably beautiful, but it does command extraordinarily high price points you know it can absolutely do very very considered gemstone and and blue sheen labradorite should be a lot more considered than 23.95 shouldn't it gorgeous gorgeous quality well done don't forget that a 30 day money back guarantee that you all get um we want we want to be that one stop shop for everything jewelry maker related don't we gang yeah you're right there tom what's going on in there you're right can't wait for the pearls pearly 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 Right, what are we doing now? Number three. I love tourmaline. Oh, this is a beautiful strand. Wow, <gasps> look at that. I know, <gasps> this, is, this is where it's That's at. That's exquisite, isn't mm -hmm. it? Here and, and here. Yes. So here, oh, hello, hello. Here, you've got your chromes. You've got some really interesting beautiful. kind of peachy, kind of cognac -y ones there. And then up here, that is your Paraba-esque tourmaline, your chrome tourmaline. Even further down here, you've got a deeper, darker blue, which is even more like, um, it, it, it's more like a, um, an indicolite blue as well. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful quality. Let's pick this up. Here's Gemma in Somerset. Hi, ladies. I hate tomato ketchup. I've got a real phobia. Oh, ah, okay. Okay. Mm. I don't get that, but okay. That's all right. Everybody... Have you ever had it? Hmm? If you had it and had a bad experience with it? Yeah, maybe. Just, like, you've just... Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Multi-tourmaline faceted rondelles. Oh, dear me. Um, I like ketchup. I don't like, you know, with ketchup, I don't like, you know, if you haven't shaken the bottle and then... The that, water comes that water, out. Dribbly water. I don't like that. <laughs> 
Oh. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, that's pretty rank, isn't it? Give it a good shake before you open it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. The most amazing quality tourmaline. It's got gorgeous clarity on there, hasn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It's proper gem quality. We've got Bruce directing for the next hey. 15 minutes. We've got Adam on camera it's looking at hey. He's had another haircut. Adam's had another haircut. I don't know, he just has. Looks lovely. Looking very funky. Funky monkey. And uh, Bruce, how are you today? Are you feeling sunny? <coughs> no. Oh. Okay, that's how Bruce is doing today. It's awkward, isn't it? <laughs> uh, beautiful clarity. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't believe that's under £20. That's pounds. a brilliant price. I would it? leave it as is, I think. I mean, it's not graduated in size. I'd leave it as is. I'd restrand it. And that would be a beautiful necklace or a beautiful stacker bracelet, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it would. But I mean, at, at that sort of price, I mean, maybe, you know, mm. if you could, if you could multi-buy earrings that. as well, with just, you know, some of those, the banding. That's four seasons in one day, everyone. Don't you think? Four seasons in one day. Gorgeous, hey? <laughs> no, just me. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. Well done. Sunstone. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if I've seen this drum before. I wow. have not seen this multicolor sunstone. There's some greys in there. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen sunstone that's not just orange. You've got some beautiful oh. greys and these gorgeous kind of almost colourless varieties here as well. And they tell you what, they've got a bit of sparkle to them as yeah, well. This have. is really different. Very nice. It's a bit like the multicolor moonstone strands that we do, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes. I could. No, I think it would probably go very well with. Um, oh, definitely. With that. Are, do you know what I put this with they? as well? If you have some at home, what's it called, Tom? Is it called gold? Is it goldstone? That's not a gemstone. It is goldstone, isn't it? I put it with goldstone because I think it would be a beautiful backdrop for a gemstone like this, and it would really highlight the the sparkle that you get here. What you're seeing a lot of copper platelets reflecting the light, particularly in these lovely orange ones, and it gives you a really lovely glitteriness. Um, I've never seen this strand. Um, I, I, I've no idea how much it's going to be. This kind of grey. Palette's really interesting, isn't it? And it's making the um, the the orangey, the copper ones really pop, isn't it? Yes, Maybe it work is it definitely. With it. If you've got the bare copper, um, the wire bundle as well, you could you could work beautifully. Oh with yes, that. with the bare copper, yeah. that would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, Multicolor sunstone from Tanzania. I don't think I've ever bought you sunstone from Tanzania. Um, a lot of the time, it's from India. Sometimes it's from Norway. This is actually from Tanzania. Really, really gorgeous. We're under one hundred pounds for this. That's really lovely, isn't it? Oh, it looks lovely against the skin as well. Oh, it's my hairband. Hello. I see my grotty hairband. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? It's a real glow, isn't it? Yes, there is definitely a glow. It's because of all the inclusions. The light just loves it. Loves you, baby. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Really, really nice. And, and, and the greys, you can really see them, can't you? Really, really lovely. Gorgeous kind of silvery tones in there. Oh, this would look nice with Mocha Moonstone as well, if you've got any of that. That would work really, really beautifully. Great for this time of year, though, for autumn. And they're definitely like bubbles, aren't they? Mm. Rondels, they're, you know, nice, chunky ones. They're not sort of very, very skinny. They're from the lights from the side. Yeah, they've it's got really... a lovely chunkiness to yes. them, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's wonderful, there. isn't it? Yeah, really gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Beautiful. Thirty-four ninety-five. That's your price point today. <whistles> different, different, different. Lovely. Moonstone. Fancy shapes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, these are lovely. Wow. <gasps> I love, oh. These are stunning, aren't they? It's like a, I don't know, it's like a, an oil painting almost. Mm. These are. <gasps> oh, wow. I'd put that with the, um, the, the golden uh, obsidian. The as golden well. obsidian. Yeah, yeah these for sure. are amazing. These. It's interesting, actually. You've got some beautiful oranges here and some lovely greys, but then here you've got almost this kind of golden khaki, kind of green variety as well. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This silvery kind of uh, this silvery um, graphitey color is really, really beautiful and so effective. But you get these wonderful tortoise shell tones, lovely kind of burnt sugar colors, and then this is almost like a khaki mm. color, isn't it? 
Oh, that's really, really beautiful. I'd love a ring made out of one of these, Claire. Yeah, definitely. And it'd probably be um, easy to do as well. You could use a drill hole if you wanted or just... Because mm. you're not... It's so discreet anyway. Mm. It's like a, like a storm has been trapped in... You know, like the grey ones. Definitely. Like storm at sea. It's like a skies. tortoise shell, isn't it? They're mm. so beautiful. Oh. You know, there's really rich... Um, kind of oil paintings, which use very, very dark colours, and you can mm. barely make out the figures in the um, in, in in the in the paintings. But you know, it, it's, it's just it's it, it, it's all about light and shade. This is completely about light and shade. It's such a wonderful palette. That's going to suit anyone as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think you could make it um, quite masculine. Mm, definitely. Or very, very feminine, depending on what you. Yeah, for with. sure. Oh, that's a great price. Twenty nine ninety five. That's amazing. <gasps> Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'll show you actually my, one of my favourite paintings. It's a very, very odd painting. Uh, bear with. It's called An Experiment with an Air Pump. I know it sounds like a really weird painting. Uh, sorry, really weird name. But, but this, but it just reminds me of it. And it's very difficult to show you actually. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be a better picture of it. Oh, kind of. Yeah, there. And it's all about light and shade and darkness and all these different kind of tones. Can you see that Ooh. there? It's a beautiful painting. It's in the National Gallery. Um, and it's, it's really, really beautiful. It's all about the kind of the darkness of the room and the kind of the figs in the room. It must be an unbelievably difficult thing to paint. But don't, but don't think that strand's got the same kind of... Yeah. It's got the same kind of colours in there. Absolutely bo uh, 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 beautiful. It's by Joseph Wright Darby. There you go, everyone. Anyway, um, beautiful, lovely strand. Number 12. Which is multi... Oh, now this strand's amazing. Look at Ooh. this. Oh, I haven't seen this one. Jazzy, jazzy. It's a bit of all right, isn't it? Yeah. See, I don't think I'd do very much more than that. I might work with some um, spacers. Mm. Pop them in the very, very definite colour blocks there. Yeah. But yeah, that's incredible, isn't You've it? You've got your neon, your yellow, your sky blue, and then this green... These two colours here, this kind of yellow and the green, are so unusual. The neon you're getting is unbelievably striking, isn't it? The range of colours. It really helps to appreciate what a diverse gemstone mm. this is. You could, if you wanted to, just alternate the colours and just go green, neon, yellow, sky. Green, neon, yellow, sky. And you could, you could just alternate and see how far you get. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. They're all um, appetite. They're all... Um, um, are they natural? No, no, they can't be natural. The, the, the neon's got to be heated. Even the neon. The neon's natural. All natural. Goodness me, that's amazing. They're very, very big neon appetites. Mm. Very good quality as well. You know, proper, kind of pretty much gem quality these are. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? That's amazing. Yeah, it really is amazing, isn't it? And I and and, and they're kind of graduated ever so slightly in size, um, but not so much that if you wanted to, um, you know, alternate those colours, you you would necessarily notice they were different sizes. Um, beautiful. Twenty nine ninety five should be not your price today. Winter sunshine again. If you're going to be going mm. away on a cruise, getting some lovely sunshine. Oh, have a wonderful time. Uh, Jill, I don't like smoked salmon. Weird texture. Yaki yak. Okay. Bruce and um, uh, Adam, just to keep you in the loop, we're talking about things that you hate, kind of weird things that you hate. So I hate sellotape, and we've had people who hate cling film. Tom hates prawns and balloons. What do you hate, uh, Claire? What was the... Well, was it, I don't like staples. I wouldn't say I hate them. But you don't like staples? I'm not keen on them. Bruce, can you think of anything? Oh, Ollie doesn't like people. <laughs> Bruce, is there anything you don't like? Low prices. Mm. Being nice. Um, anything, Bruce? Anything, Adam? Is there anything weird that you don't like? Horses. Horses? Mm. Why? Just don't like them. You don't trust like them? them? Too big. And too, they are very big. Too what are they up to, exactly? They just hang around in fields. Do you reckon that they're spies, maybe? They might be feeding information back. I, I, I like Mr. Red, slugs. he could talk, couldn't he? Slugs are... Oh. Slugs are around, can't they? Yeah. Snails are quite cool. Apart from yeah. the big African snails, I hate those. But um, snails on the whole are quite cool. Slugs are disgusting. Mm. I touched one by mistake the other day. It was on the milk bottle. I went outside to get the milk and it was on the milk bottle. Mm. I was almost sick. 
There we go. Um, 19 pounds, 95 pence. Do let us know. Text in. Um, they, they're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful colours there. Such a striking variety of appetite. <whistles> Opal nuggets. Nuggety, nuggety, nuggets. Let's do it. These are Beautiful. rather nice. Oh, I love strands like this, Claire, don't you? I haven't seen you? strands like this for ages. Go on, you, go on, you really have a hold. Go on, you hold it. There you go. Thank you. Dying to. It's so pretty, isn't it? Mm. This is such a pretty strand. Really, really gorgeous. It gives you Mother Nature's facets, doesn't it? It really, really does. Yeah, and a lot of the uh, opalescence with the... And I'm going back to thinking about, um, I think, after the, the message about the tree of life. I mean, that would be... You know, you'd only oh. need a few, wouldn't you? Yes. Because yes. you have got some of the, the, you know, more autumnal, like the golder, you know, the gold colours. Yes, absolutely. In there, but yes. Yeah, Nuggets are used a lot in tree of life designs, aren't yeah, they? I think because they've got texture. that lovely texture. Yes, yeah. exactly. You know, we did the point one millimetre gauge wire earlier on. You well, could yes. possibly use yes. that with a point one. Definitely. And make something quite sculptural with it. I've seen these kind of gemstones as well, made into lovely kind of netted cuff style elasticated bracelets. Yeah. With thin elastic, you could potentially do that. That'd be really nice. Or with the 0.1 um, uh, millimetre gauge uh, 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 wire that we did earlier on in that lovely pearl colour. You can make, you could crochet with it and, and add these mm. gorgeous nuggets on. It'd be a really effective way of using them. Yeah, I like, I like the crochet effect. Mm. No, that's really, really nice. Or, you know, just like a, one of the multi-strand connectors that we do and just have it, yes. you know, your bracelets that like that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Because really, you've still really got pretty. all that, that expanse, haven't you? That mm -hmm. big surface area of the... Of the nuggets, with it that definitely color. is safety in numbers with a with a strand like this, isn't it? The more you have together, the bigger the effect is. We're already under twenty for this. We're at seventeen pounds and ninety five pence. We don't have many strands like this in stock at the minute. Uh, whenever we bring you chips and nuggets, they always sell mm. out. So you know, just make the most of them. They're so, so you get the carrot weight's always very big. You always get so many on a strand, and the prices are always unbelievably affordable. We're at seventeen pounds and ninety five pence. Best price ever. Coming up right now, here we go. 15 minutes until today's amazing deal of the day. 11 pounds and 95 pence. There you go, everyone. That is brilliant, isn't it? We've got pearls coming up in the next hour. We've also got um, a little chain extravaganza coming up at 11.45 as well. Ooh. 12 o'clock hour, we've got a beautiful Tiger's Eye kit with Claire. Um, and loads and loads and loads coming up in between now and then, obviously. Uh, but yeah, fantastic at 11 pounds, 95 pence. A lovely twisted style piece. Um, will be something nice as well to do with these because of course you've got all these different facets and different um, shaped gemstones all kind of sticking out at different angles and, and it's just going to allow you to appreciate that opalescence even more. And in resin as well, it looks beautiful in, in resin, doesn't it? It's yes, sort of like it magnifies does. And it yes, of the, course. The opalescence. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Well done, everyone. £11.95. £95. Well done, everyone, coming through to get these. Gorgeous. If you wanted to go for something a little bit different on your wedding day as well, you don't necessarily want to go for pure white or, or, or um, you know, uh, cream, you know, just, just using a section of this, you know, which is, which is fairly neutral, but it's got those little moments of opalescence coming out of it. That's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Maybe really, the, really um, nice. The barrel as well. So you've got some of yeah. um, the colours in there, haven't you? Yes. Do you know what? You absolutely do, don't you? That's a really good point, actually. You've got some really lovely, soft kind of um, floral tones in mm. the uh, in the barrel, as you have in the Ethiopian opal. That's really gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Not long now. Numero uno. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. That's really, really nice. That's a very rich colour, isn't it? It is, It'd be isn't nice it? Nice with your top. Everyone's going to know what it is mm. as well, aren't they? You might know nothing about gemstones at all. You know, my husband doesn't know a huge amount about gemstones, but I'm sure if I said to him, "John, what is this?" He'd say, it's amethyst. He'd know. He'd know. The cardinal gemstone. A gemstone historically worn by members of nobility, members of aristocracy. Not just to do with the, the gemstone itself, but the richness of colour. The physical richness of this incredible gemstone. It's one of the most difficult colours to achieve um, 
when you're dyeing fabrics, when you're dyeing anything, when you're pigmenting paint, purple is one of the most difficult colors to achieve. Um, Cause it tends to be made up of red and blue, which in themselves are quite difficult colors to mix. Um, but you've got here this really rich regal tone and, and, and it, it's just, it is, got a naturally elevated look, a naturally opulent look to it, hasn't it? Beautiful quality. Oh, they're gorgeous. And they're six mil rounds, which I think is a perfect size for everything from earrings to necklaces and bracelets, don't you think? Would they go in the halo? That's a really good idea, actually. Have you got that beading thread from earlier on? Yeah. Do you want gold, rose gold or silver? Or one of... Oh, either, any of them. I mean, I, I probably tend to think gold, but I mean, it, it would go with all You'd of them, wouldn't it? would go for it, Let me see if we put one in. Yeah, go on. Yeah, that would fit in really nicely, would it? wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, let me have a... Have a go. Without cutting the strand, see if I can... Shoehorn it in. See, because sometimes adding, you know, one gemstone onto maybe a sliding class bracelet, the gemstone itself, beautiful. If you put it inside a halo bead, it's just going to give it that wow factor. Don't forget as well, Amethyst is the birthstone of February as well. So if you're going to be making pieces for, if you're going to be making jewelry for people who are born in Feb. Yeah, it's sitting. I mean, I haven't, because I didn't want to cut the strand, but yeah, you can see that, that, that sits, sits in. Beautifully. It's going to turn. Yeah. Oh, that works beautifully, doesn't it, guys? That's if you do really find nice. the gemstones a little bit small, just put a space to be either side of yeah. it and it will, and it will kind of, um, and it will stop it from rattling around inside the bezel. That works so really well. Really nice, Claire. yeah. Gives it that lovely kind of faux bezel setting, mm. doesn't it? It just makes it look special. It makes it look special. And you would, you'd sort of... I yeah, really like it. that. Oh, that looks super, super good. It, it, makes, uh, it makes an event of each one of these um, uh, as, you know, as it, it, it makes each one of these a beautiful individual, doesn't it? Mm. 9 95 Very nice, yeah. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so deal of the day coming up in just um, just a few minutes. Very exciting time. Don't forget Friday, we've got the launch of our advent calendar as well. You're, I'm back with you on Friday. Yeah, yeah. We've That's very robins. exciting. Hmm? We've got robins. Where's this kit? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get the robin uh, in the break. Perfect, okay. Yeah, so we can see him. Because I want to see him. Yeah, he's It'll sweet. It'll be lovely he's for us to see him. Yeah. And give him, uh, give him a little introduction. Yeah. Um, right, uh, Labradorites. I don't know where that came from. I'm just going to put that there. Here we go. Oh, <gasps> oh, mama, mama, mama. Look at these spaces. Wow. I don't know what the spaces are. I mean, they're going to be crystal of some description, but not Swarovski. <gasps> mm. Oh, baby, baby. Look at these beauties. That's a lot of Labradorite, isn't it? Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, I like, really like the cool, cool blues. Oh, you've got full rainbows in there as well. Yeah. <gasps> oh my, oh wow. Get out of that way. They're oh, huge. Look. <gasps> what on earth? Oh wow, oh wow. What would you do with these, Claire? <gasps> well, I no, think no, you, no, you've got enough. Try and eat them. You've got enough, haven't you? You could do a statement um, necklace, <gasps> but you, you could still have, take a few out and have, oh. um, you know, like individual, almost like cabochons. <gasps> That's incredible. Look at those. It's almost like um, oh. it's like a pale rainbow. Like wow. Crystal tones. Beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I, they are stunning. <gasps> You're getting 17 on the strand. Can I show you the spaces as well? Because the spaces are definitely worth a mention. I don't know what they are. They feel like glass. But... They're, they've got like, this lovely mystic coating on them. Definitely worth saving and using in your jewellery. They won't be Swarovski, but they're, but they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Um, that is an absolutely ridiculous strand. This one here is full of surprises. You've got this lovely green tone. Can you see that there? It's got the most beautiful greeny colours. It's absolutely... It is like the Northern Lights. Like the Aurora Borealis. That's one thing I've never seen. I'd love to see the Northern yeah, Lights, wouldn't you? I should imagine you could probably see it in Northern Canada. You can definitely see it in certain parts of Scotland as well at certain times of the year. You, see, you tend to see the reds in Scotland, apparently, rather than the full. Oh, look at that. It's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. You can never see enough of it. No. It's always... 
completely transfixing. It's mm. bewitching, this gem, yeah, isn't it? Is. <gasps> I wonder when it was first discovered whether people thought there was a relationship between this gemson and the Northern Lights, you know. As in, you know, it was, it, I suppose it was discovered not thousands of years ago, so... so you know, people have more of an idea about how gems were made maybe just a few hundred years ago. But it is, it is magical undeniably yeah. one of the most magical gemstones on planet Earth, isn't it? I mean, it's undeniable. Look at that. It's absolutely off the scale. <gasps> I will always be glad to see Labrador. And do you know what? People who are not into gemstones will look at this and go, wow, that is amazing. What's, what's that had done to it? Well, nothing. That is Mother Nature. That is it. It look, almost looks like a thermal imagery kind of picture, yeah. doesn't it? It's got little kind of areas of heat and cooler areas. It's got those kind of hot spots going through. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's how the predator sees the world. Oh, my gosh. Get to the chopper. Look at this one here, because this one here's got like a pail. Oh, wow. Oh, Claire, I, I, I could look it? at these all yeah. day. Yeah. <gasps> this one's got this beautiful kind of black swoosh going through it. Oh, they're absolutely stunning, aren't they? And they're yours today for under £30. That is brilliant. That's like a peacock feather in there. After the break, we've got the deal of the day coming up. I can't wait to bring... Oh, look at that. Um, I can't wait to bring you today's amazing deal of the day. It is gorgeous. I've only got 56 available. Following that, we've got loads more pearls and we've got some gorgeous um, precious metal chains as well. See you in a sec. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone. I was just sat here thinking, you know, the big build up towards Christmas, December. Personally, I don't think December is December without our good friend, the advent calendar. Getting up every morning and opening those little doors and getting your little chocolate or your little Christmas surprise. So, for the first time ever, Jewelry Maker have produced their very own Christmas advent calendar. So every morning you're gonna get up, you're gonna open your little doors and inside will be some beads, 24 different beads. And on the 25th, the special day, you'll be receiving a DVD with five make-along projects to use up all of these little surprises that you've been building up over the month. So join us for Jewellery Maker's very first Christmas Advent Calendar. Cheers. We are delighted to announce that Rachel Norris will be here with us on a Wednesday of all days. Rachel is going to be launching her wire work booklets that include a fantastic icicle necklace and a wonderful reindeer pendant. So make sure you join us on a Wednesday with Rachel Norris on a Wednesday. She's never here on a Wednesday for a wonderfully wicked wire work Wednesday. Join us here on Jewelry Maker. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Hi, Jewelry Makers, Simon here. I'd like to come and join me on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks. So I'll be on for most of the morning show and most of the mid show. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, this is where I bring some of the lowest ever prices we've had on the product. Uh, it's not clearance, it's perfectly good stock. Uh, so it really is just an opportunity to get a fantastic deal, even more than usual. And with Christmas coming up, why not come and make the most of the opportunity? So come and join me, Simon, on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields, and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. This is the most amazing deal of the day. Mm, it really is. And it's gone with loads, hasn't it, that we've totally. looked at all the beautiful colours in there. It's gone with lots and lots and lots that we bought you over the last hour. Um, these are near rounds. They are peacock pearls. They're exquisite. I love them. I want them. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> oh, they are beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. That's stunning, isn't it? <gasps> Colour. I know that they're dyed, but uh, the pearl has got to be exceptional quality underneath for you to get that level of pearl essence and that smoothness and that silkiness out the pearl. Look at this one here. Look at the greens coming out of there. It's the greens that are really um, jumping out. Yeah, they, it, it is, isn't it? Mm. Oh, gosh. And I tell you something, I mean, there's a couple of little anomalies, but they are pretty much perfect rounds. Aren't they? They're big. I wish we had more of these. Surely these are part of the hand-selected pearl selections that we've, that we've um, been sourcing recently. They're gorgeous quality, aren't they? They're absolutely beautiful. I love these kind of dewberry colours. I love mm. these petrol blues that all the colors go together so well on, on, on face value it, it, it's a lovely strand of pearls but then when you really start to look at it you notice all these different colors oh they're just exquisite aren't they yeah it is nice for this time of year ollie i totally agree with you um our, our budding beaders have made this beautiful necklace i should imagine it's probably anne who's made this because she loves her pearls doesn't yeah, she, she does, doesn't um she? i'll just take it off for you and she's made the most beautiful necklace and i have to say to have something like this in your wardrobe on your jewelry box look at that isn't that stunning mm. is it is 
an absolute, it is, it is going to become a staple for you. It's going to become a go-to necklace. It's been beautifully pearl knotted. Look at that with gorgeous silk. So the way it falls in your hand, the way it drapes, the swag of it is just, it's just exquisite. It's got a lovely toggle clasp on the back with your wire guardians. I mean, it, it's got the lot. It's got all of the main components that you would put with a really high end, top quality pearl necklace. Um, I love the idea of pearl knotting with it. You, I mean, um, 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 Anne or, or, or Sue, whoever's made this, has gone for a really lovely complementing, like a nude colour knot. You can see that, a lovely nude coloured silk, which is really, really beautiful. If you wanted to go for something different, you could go for black, grey. A really vibrant green. Or a vibrant colour, yes, to yeah. really contrast. Yeah. A vibrant green, mm. yes, a vibrant... Um, green, I think, would work beautifully, or a vibrant red, maybe, mm, would be a lovely yes, contrast. Yeah. And pearl knotting is as much about the technique and the way that the jewellery looks and feels afterwards as it is about separating those pearls out so they don't rub on each other. Um, would I use these separately? Yes, but I think part of the, the main feature for me, the main feature for the beauty of this strand is the fact that they're all pretty much identical. So I would be tempted to use them all together. Yeah. Um, we are going to give you a 60 second clock. And the reason for that is I've got 57 available. That is it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Okay. So once they're sold out, they're sold out. They are going to completely and utterly sell out these. They're beautiful. The price is amazing on these. So let's get our 60 second clock going, Ollie. Come on, Ollie. Yeah. So, but you'd have enough, wouldn't you, if you knotted as well? You could, you could do yourself some uh, earrings and a maybe a beautiful solitaire as well. I imagine so. Yeah, I think you'd have enough. I'm not sure I'd wear these as a bracelet. I mean, I, I think a lot of people would. I personally would want these around the neck and in a ring, and maybe in a lovely pair of earrings. I, I, I love the idea of wearing these um, as a necklace predominantly um 30 seconds and the graphics are going to be live and they can go to anyone don't forget 56 chances that is it it's it, 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 it's a ridiculously small quantity that we've got i wish we had more um but but we don't we don't you know with strands like this we can't always guarantee that we're going to be able to get any more than kind of 10 or 20 the fact that we've got 57 is 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 brilliant okay graphics are going to be live in just a couple of seconds do make sure you are there uh, because they will go and I'll have lots of people buying more than one strand of this as well just to let you know to make a lovely maybe a lovely you know if you've got three or four of this you can make a really lovely very very long neckline piece mm, couldn't you over yeah, wear it like over your winter yeah, multi your winter kind of woolies yeah. couldn't you okay graphics alive go for it just get them they're nine to ten mil in size they're near rounds they're uh, they're this beautiful peacock color which is absolutely stunning they're flying out the door just to let you know um, we after this, by the way, we've got a little selection of pearls, which uh, which I'm really excited about. I haven't bought you pearls for a long, long time, so I'm really, really excited about that. Beautiful quality. Um, they are flying out the door. We are going to get the price point on in just a couple of seconds. But today, on this strand, approximately 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46. Approximately 46 on the strand. Dawn Weldon, 2, Collector in London's got 2, Collector in Greater London, uh, Beverly, Tina, Collector in Bristol. Remember, we've only got 57 strands of this. Um, the price for this incredible strand today, you will not be able to believe. It is incredible, isn't it, Tom, what we can do with a strand like this. At the minute, we're at $79.95. I've already got multi buyers coming through to get this. Well done. More collectors coming through. Well done. In Northamptonshire, well done. Um, but $79.95 is brilliant. I do have 57. I want them all to go. They're not going to go to 57 people. Be Beverly's just multi-bought two of these as well. So is a collector and has just bought three. Well done. Another collector coming through. Well done. Um, this time in Hertfordshire. Well done. Okay. Right. So 79.95. Absolutely brilliant. Amazing quality. Use it with your precious metal findings. With a strand like this, please, please, please use it. And use it in your best, best jewellery. And please, if you can, if you are selling pieces on, remember and recognize the quality you are getting here is unbelievable. Yes, they are dyed pearls, but peacock pearls are. Unless you get Tahitian pearls, they're gonna be dyed. Um, you know, peacock pearls are gonna be all dyed. Uh, Michaela, well done to you as well. More people coming through. 79.95, brilliant. They're big, they're beautiful, they're near rounds. They're as close to round as you're gonna be getting um, on Jewelry Maker, they're absolutely beautiful. Here's your price point today, enjoy.
49.95. That is brilliant. Under 50 pounds, uh, amazing, fantastic. Loads more people coming through now. Um, I'm, I'm popping these in the baskets. Please check out when you can. That is just stunning. And that necklace there, you know, let, let's pop it on a bus because let's be honest, if that was for sale in a jeweler's, it's pearl knotted, it's got sterling silver, you know, sterling silver clasp. It's been beautifully pearl knotted onto silk. That for me, that, I mean, that's a triple figure necklace, 100%. Yeah. You know, close to kind of two, maybe 250 pounds. Absolutely beautiful. And all you've done is got the pearls, knotted them, added a clasp, done. You know, that is it. It's cost you a minimal amount to make. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, everybody. 49.95. What an amazing deal. It's just superb, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Look at those gorgeous qualities. And, and yeah, when we talk about pearl magic numbers, anything which is seven mil or over or nine or 10 mil or over, you, it goes up dramatically in the kind of price points that people will pay for it. And also the rarity. Each one of these pearls could have taken two to three years to form. That is amazing. You know, you're getting something here which has taken years and years and years collectively to form. Uh, and today you're gonna to be getting it for under 50 pounds. Absolutely amazing. What an incredible deal. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? And all not all hand knotted. I would definitely say, you know, if you haven't done pearl knotting before, learn how to do it and then apply it to this incredible necklace. Um, you know, make something really incredible. Make an heirloom piece, because what you're looking at here are heirloom pearls, aren't you, yeah. Claire? And it is strands like this that make you, uh, you know, if you've not pearl knotted before, when you see strands like this, it makes you want to learn. Totally, because, 100%. You know, that looks incredible, doesn't it? It really does. Anna's. It's absolutely gorgeous. Even a pair of earrings. I mean, I think, I think 40, 50 pounds for a pair of earrings, just using two of these beautiful yeah, pearls yeah. would be amazing You've got 46 on here so that's 23 pairs of earrings if you just did earrings mm. you know that is amazing one pound nine per pearl that is superb marion well done to you i've got more people coming through this is brilliant to see well done fantastic check out tina's just taken two that's great well done what a christmas gift yeah you're absolutely right just pearl earrings lovely you know, you've got enough to make, um, you know, a couple of pearl bracelets and a couple of pairs of earrings. Give them to your nearest and dearest, your mum maybe, or your grandma or someone who's helped you over the last 12 months and you really want to treat them well done to you. Sarah, fantastic. More bidders coming through. That's great. Well done. Isn't that fantastic? Got more people coming through. Don't forget that 30 day money back guarantee. I mean, you're looking at each one of these, Claire. You're really closely inspecting yeah, each one. I think They're also different, they aren't are, they? They are different, but I think, you know, when we talked before about like just single gents, see, I would be, you oh. know, a solitary. Look, look at, at it, like that. It's like a bronzy color, that one. I mean, one. that is, but that is, <gasps> it's a big pearl, isn't it? Mm. And, you know, the, the metallic um, sheen to it. Yes, they you know, do have so, that metallic you know, look a solitaire to them, don't they? Ring. Yeah. That's incredible. Well done. Yeah, they are absolutely beautiful. Some of them will look more bronzy. Some of them will look more kind of um, greeny. This one here at the back has got this lovely purple tone to it. Look at this one here. It's a proper, proper purple one, that is. I'd actually put that at the front, I think. I love that mm. purple tone. But the whole point is, is that size and shape-wise, they're all roughly the same. Well, they're all pretty much, you know, identical. Color-wise, once you start looking at the strand, once you start inspecting each one of these, you will notice each one has a character. So, um, 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 who's ever, whoever has made this beautiful piece has put this beautiful pearl around the front. It's got a full rainbow of color. That one there is absolutely gorgeous. It's really yeah. leaping off the strand, isn't it? If, you're th if we're talking about peacock colors, that really is leaping mm. off, isn't it? Gorgeous. Well done. 49 pounds and 95 pence. Well done. More people coming through. More collectors coming through in Bristol. That's great to see. Well done. Don't forget, you know, you have that 30 day money back guarantee. We've got more pearls coming up now. They're not like this. Um, I've got some metallic pearls. I've got some white pearls. I've got some B words, Keshis. I've got all sorts. This is the only strand of peacock pearls though that I can offer you at the minute. So please do make sure that you get these and you check your baskets out. You will, you will never, ever, ever regret getting a strand like this. You will get it home and you'll go, wow, how did I manage to get these for under 50 quid? It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Well done, everybody. More people coming through. I'm so, so, so pleased for you today. Well done. On um, on Sunday, there was a really beautiful, um, there's a lovely uh, entry to the Wall of Fame, which I think was from... Uh 
uh, someone called Alex, mm. and, so, and I was convinced it was pearl knotted, but it wasn't. It was spaces. So you know, if you if you can't pearl knot, you know, don't forget you can work with your um, with your it was sterling silver spaces that Alex yeah, had put nice in between, idea. and it looked that looked incredible. And do you know what, Claire? There's nothing stopping you making that piece of jewelry with spaces, learning how to pearl knot, then taking that piece of jewelry yeah, apart completely. and making it again. Yes. That's the beauty yeah. of making your own jewelry. Yeah. You know how it's been put together. You yeah. can take it apart and then put it back together again. You know, in a in a different way. It's it's once you've made a piece of jewelry that's not the end of it you can always take these pieces apart you can always remake them and the whole point of pearl knotting is that every few years you probably will re-knot them you'll remake that piece of jewelry and that's the beauty of making your own jewelry knowing how it's put together so then if you wanted to in a few years especially with your pearl knotting because with silk you know you will need to do it every few years you can take it apart you can put it back together again and you can kind of reinvest in it and you can fall in love with it again it's absolutely wonderful i'm so pleased for you well done everybody absolutely gorgeous Okay, so next we've got metallics, I've got beewers, I've got peach, I've got white, I've got potatoes, I've got all sorts. Let's do keshis. Now, these are glorious. This is keshi pearls, but on a really super, uber kind of organic scale. So keshis for me are small and they look a bit like deflated raisins kind of size and shape wise I love them they're absolutely beautiful and because you've got that all of those different um surfaces and all of those different angles the light reflects from them beautifully keshis for me <laughs> are never this size these are gigantic <gasps> two in the world oh Claire Colors look at there. these that's, that's amazing <gasps> isn't it so I know it says grey, but I mean, there's just... Oh, these, they, these are, are, they are anything but grey. No. They're absolutely amazing. They've got this beautiful, soft, silvery, uh, but highly metallic finish to them. They are exquisite, aren't they? Um, they... Uh, like I said, we've only got two of these. So one person who comes through to get this, you're going to be getting this strand, and then the other person's going to be getting the other strand, which will look... Uh, which will look um, um, similar to this, but, but very different, I'm sure, as well. We're at £51.95, isn't it interesting? You've got the lovely smooth and then you've got the rough. You've got to take the rough with the smooth. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous quality. Here we go, everybody. All the way down. Let's get that price point right the way down for you today. For the last two. Last one. There we go. Oh, it's gone. Well done. £29.95. Well done. That's gone. Beautiful. Next one. Now, talk about your classic pearls. These are actually a little bit larger than what I would describe as classic pearls, actually. Mm. The queen, I can imagine, would probably wear pearls a little bit smaller than this. These are quite large pearls, the, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, these are lovely. They're seven by nine. Your six, seven mil pearl is, is much more dainty, much more delicate. If you want something that's going to create impact or if you want a larger pearl filtering down maybe to some smaller pearls, these are them. Um, They've got this potato shape, and the potato shape basically means they're oval. Um, they're much more oval than a round pearl. You'll see what I mean. They're side-to-side -side drilled as well. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. It's so beautiful. far from a potato, isn't it? It's, it's, isn't it? It's yeah. just not a... I mean, the, the, the elegance in that strand. Yeah. The, smooth, the smoothness you're getting is absolutely superb, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Look at that. They're absolutely stunning, aren't they? Would these work? Oh my gosh. Do you know what? Some of these might work with the halos. Oh, maybe not. They might be a bit too big, actually. Oh no, that one's okay. Yeah. <gasps> you could use that one with the halo. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. See, by framing it in that halo, you could, one would have an impact, wouldn't it? Yeah. You could even use them in kind of a contemporary way and kind of put that around your neck and, you know, have that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see why. You know, use them, use them in whichever way you want, but mm. if you wanted to sit them inside the halo bees, pearls are beautiful, aren't they? White mm. freshwater culture pearls. Oh. What? That's not right. Is this the right strand? P-R-D-P-9-8. It's the right strand. What, how is that 895? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. They're absolutely... 
That is amazing. Look, look, look at this at the neckline as well. I mean, they're very, very large pearls. You are gonna get noticed. <whistles> Five available, wow. loads in baskets. Check your baskets out, everybody. Oh, I've got a red neck, I don't know why. That's an incredible deal, isn't it? That is amazing. Beautiful, they are, they are large. Five, yeah. four, 895, down now to the final three, two. Oh, blimey, right, okay, they're, they're pretty much gone. Well done. <gasps> Now, my favourite shape for a pearl is a baroque. And a baroque is basically... Keshis are quite specific. Beavers are quite specific. Beavers are normally long and thin. Keshis tend to, tend to be, apart from that strand there, kind of um, smaller and deflated. Do you know what I mean? And that sounds like a negative, but it's not. They're beautiful. Baroques are basically bigger, more bulbous, but they're not round. You can basically... Um, <laughs> I just love them. I think they're beautiful. Mm. This is, that is a classic Baroque pearl right there. That one there. Can you see it's rounded? It's bulbous. It's, it's, it's inflated. It's got a lot of mass to it. They're not flat. It's got a lot of mass. Oh, look at that shine, Claire. See, with oh. these, this is where, and I've, I've seen um, oh, uh, different, wow. different jewellers do it, but you know where, you, so you, they'll take one pearl, but because of the different shapes, then that becomes, mm. um, they'll then create their wire work or their, their totally. silver something around it, so there can be beautiful birds, um, you know, that on a head like pin, that, that yeah. on a head pin, on its own, that for me, you know, if that was for sale on a, on a stall at, couple, at, a, at a common garden market, that on its own, 80 quid, yeah. 90 quid, yeah. beautiful. Can I just say, um, just so you're aware, pretty much all pearls are, are, are light treated, um, which means that they're bleached. And it's not, it's not a negative. And by light treatment, what I mean is, pearls tend to be put in jars of liquid. I don't know what the liquid is, but basically they have an ultraviolet light shone on these, on these jars and it just helps to heighten the bright, kind of, it brings out the whiteness of pearls. They're not bleached like they're dipped in bleach. That's not, I mean, bleached as in bleached by the sun, like your hair is bleached by the sun. Um, so in the most gentle, gentle way. These are, oh, these are, look at, oh, look at that. That is mother nature, Claire. That's incredible, isn't it? That big surface area and all that, that's wonderful pearl. So much you can do with that. I mean, I'm thinking about maybe getting a bit of gallery wire, popping it around the top, making yeah. a little kind of crown for the gem. Yeah, and really feature on one, one, one In pearl. an earring. Yeah. I mean, that, that on an earring, surely to goodness. I mean, I've got my hair down today, but if you can imagine kind of that. Oh no, because that's going to look weird, isn't it? That one there. In, in an earring, just that one there, hanging from some lovely, hanging from a lovely gold shepherd's hook earring finding. Mm. That is, just, it's going to look so expensive. And it's like you say, separating these pearls out can sometimes give them more value in it and, and they look even higher end. It's the colours, isn't it? Look at that. I know, just look at absolutely that. stunning. Isn't that glorious? Wonderful. <gasps> Look at that ripple effect. That's a really lovely effect that you only tend to get on, um, they are more like drops, aren't they? They're that kind of beautiful bulbous um, um, uh, baroque shape. That's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, uh, this kind of wrinkled effect, you only tend to get with metallic pearls. Can I, just, can I just pose a question? Would you consider putting one of these? I mean, this is where you start to make jewelry that kind of, you know, the royal family would wear. But you know, you've got, you know, one hanging from there. That I, th is... I think so. I think it's the contrast, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, so even if you did, uh, if you alternated. Oh, gosh, you know, that's it should nice be, idea. Um, you know, very luxurious, but that would work. Collector in London, Chrissy in Oxfordshire, Collector in Lanarkshire. Well done. Uh, we're at £78.95. pence. Are we done? And again, um, solitaire rings as well. I mean, mm. you know, that, that's a, an oh, enormous pearl, isn't that's it? That's a ring! Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding. Yeah. We are not done! Oh my word. Can you believe it? Can you actually believe it? <gasps> 39.95, there you are everyone. Look at that one there! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello! Um, no, but seriously though, if you wanted to make like a little, I don't know, it looks like the profile of someone's face, doesn't it? There's his, someone with a big nose. It's a penguin. It's a penguin. It is, it's, it's kind of, isn't it? My husband's, that, that would be your best. My husband's got a very pointy nose. Maybe he'd like this. 
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Um, I love him and his big pointy nose. It's beautiful. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> look at that. Beautiful. It's a rough kind of drop shape. Ollie's absolutely right. These are more drop shapes, aren't they, than, than anything else. Yeah, Ooh, which make, does make me think pendants that you would, you know, if you were definitely. selling, you know, and maybe bridal, bridal pieces, definitely. Do you know, do you know the La Peregrina pearl, which is the most expensive pearl yes. to be set into jewellery? Yeah. You know, Elizabeth Taylor wore it and, you know, blah, 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 blah. That's that shape. It's mm. like a teardrop shape. Maybe that's why we, we put so much kind of value on these and we think, oh, yes, you know, that, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd pay X amount for that. I don't have it. I've got number eight. Oh, hang on. No, I don't have it. Um, now these are, these are, and I don't want to take anything away from these pearls because I think they're absolutely beautiful. These are what I would describe as your more everyday pearls, i.e. I would not wear a necklace made with this and go to the supermarket. You could if you wanted to because, you know, it's, it, 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 it's low in price enough, but it's going to get you noticed. That is kind of Oscar, Oscar winning. Whereas these pearls here are much more classic. They're much more of that regular size, regular shape. They're beautiful. And it's interesting, it's interesting what pearls do. Pearls supposedly get rid of a double chin. And um, not, not in the way that they're actually going to make it dissolve, uh, but what they do is pearls are very good at reflecting light. And the light that they reflect means that they can, if they're large enough, if they're worn as a choker, can reflect light up here, which gives the illusion of getting rid of that double chin. Um, I love the look of these. These are the kind of pearls which look great in a necklace, bracelet, earrings, the lot. In fact, I've got a, I've got a pearl suite of jewellery which I bought years ago, which I wore for my best friend's wedding, um, made with pearls exactly this size. And they're, they're beautiful enough for people to go, oh, I love, your, I love your pearls, but they're not kind of like, wow, you know, you're going to totally overshadow the bride if you're wearing these as a bridesmaid. Um, they're beautiful. They're classic. They're modern day classics. And I have to say as well, definite heirloom pieces. These are the kind of pearls a lot of brides want to wear. They're gorgeous, aren't they? <laughs> They're beautiful. 59.95, there you go, everyone. 39.95, there you go. That's a brilliant deal, isn't it? Really classic, hey? It's very, very classic, yeah. yeah. I think they'd be a beautiful. They're, they're slightly smaller, aren't they, than mm. the other strands you've had? Yeah. But yeah, really. And again, you could, um, if you're going to knot in between, you'd get a very, very different look depending on what oh. colour silk you put in between them. Well, lovely guest designer Jan Dwyer, maybe a necklace using pearls exactly the same as this with emerald spaces. Ooh. Yes. Lovely. Yes. Mm. Well done, everyone coming through to get these. Text in. <laughs> Texting, do you have any irrational um, hatred for certain things, weird things, anything? I don't like holding, um, and they're going to take the mickey out of this, um, out, of, out of me for this. I don't like holding coins. I don't like holding cash. There's a smell, isn't there? Mm. They're greasy. The they smell, they make your hands smell. You think about other other people have touched them and what other people have been doing. <laughs> like not washing their hands and stuff and then picking up. I just don't like the smell of, I don't, oh, it makes your hands <laughs> stink. Don't like it at all. And it's more sort of like the, uh, yeah, your one and your two peas, isn't it? That are, mm. Greasy, horrible. Oh, are you one of those people who goes to, uh, but when you go to the petrol station, you wear the gloves and you hold on to the tissue and, you know, whilst you're, whilst you're filling your car up with whatever. I don't. You what, sorry? You take three steps. Do you? You weirdo. What are you talking about? Anyway, um, there we go. I love the smell of petrol. Oh, I love the smell mm. of petrol. Are you like Zoolander? You do like a dance and stuff and shower yourself in petrol <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, peacock freshwater cultured drill, top drilled keshi pearls. These are like your keshis. They're shaped like little spoons, aren't they? They're shaped like little spoons. I love them. Oh, look at this one here. It's like a pearl with a pearl. A pearl within a pearl. They're like beautiful petals. These are great for making mm. your floral pieces, aren't yeah, they? That's, I think that's exactly what I'd be doing with them, yeah. 
people who what? Smack food around their mouth. Well, yeah, eating with your mouth open is, is disgusting, isn't it? Um, I get so very annoyed, angry like, yeah. inside when I hear it, especially on public transport. Yes, people mm. who eat food, really smelly food on uh, public transport. That's mm. not good. And people who eat with their mouth open and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah. Manners. Cost nothing. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's incredible, isn't oh, it? Oh, wow. <laughs> isn't that beautiful? Oh, no, I'm just thinking about something. Uh, beautiful. Look at those gorgeous colours. They're beautiful. Well, no, I was just thinking about, um, uh, I've, I've been talking to my kids the last couple of days about um, table manners, good and bad table manners. Uh, and me and my husband were trying to illustrate what good and bad table manners were. So my husband said, is this good table manners? And he was kind of like this, and he was kind of shoveling food in there. They were laughing, going, no. And he said, is this good table manners? And he put his feet on the table. Um, it, is all, it all stems from the fact I caught Pippa the other day. Um, I'd made like a roast dinner. And she picked up a Yorkshire pudding with her hands on the plate. She obviously didn't like where the chicken was on her plate. So rather than turning the plate around, she picked the Yorkshire pudding up and went like that, moved all the food and the gravy and then put the Yorkshire pudding down. I was like, Pip, you can't do that, love. That's really bad manners. So we've been talking about manners this week and kind of, yeah, what's good and bad manners and eating with knives and forks and stuff. And oh gosh, it's just, you know, one of those things. You just don't want them to show you up. <laughs> What are you talking about, Tom? Look at this. Well, what does she use? Does she use her hands to eat? Picks things up with her fingers. Picks things up with her fingers. And, um, and um, eating with a knife and a fork, actually. I think knives are a dying, are a dying thing. <laughs> it's, it, it's bad, isn't it? Because I always mm. use a knife and a fork, but my kids tend to leave the knife and just use the fork and hack away at things mm. with Lots the of people fork. do that, though, don't they? And just cut yeah. it with their, on the side, their fork on the no, side. No, I, yeah. I can't, no. Use a knife and fork. Anyway, um, metallic, rich, lavender, fresh, water. well, who cares what they're called? They're beautiful. Look at these the size of these. <gasps> now, these have got that wrinkle, which we talk about sometimes, which nucleated pearls have. They are exquisite. Mm. <gasps> they are... Oh. The metallic ones are wonderful, oh, aren't they? They're oh. exquisite. Oh, wow. It's like they've been caught in a, in a whirlpool and you can see the movement of water across the top of the pot. They, look at the size of these beauties. Look at those bad boys. Woo! 12 by 13 to 14 by 15. That has got to be one of the large, those two have got to be some of the largest pearls I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, they're definitely individual pieces. As, 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 as Director Ollie quite rightly says, they absolutely have that. See, this one here is so smooth. Oh, these two are very, very smooth. Whereas this one here is knobbly and kind of wrinkly and beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Don't you think? No, but with pearls, it just creates such a lot of character, doesn't it? Shows you where they're from. We're at £251.95. What a funny old price. Last three in the world. Final strands. The, the final strands. Final strands. Oh, the, 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 the. Um, £200. £199.95. That, I'm not being funny, that in a pendant. <gasps> yeah, because if you've got, you've got silver chains, quid. haven't you coming? Then? Yeah, we've yeah. got some chains. So, yeah, one of those would be beautiful. Tonic they head pin. are amazing. That whole thing in a necklace, if you did knot that into a necklace, I mean, if that was for sale for less than 500 quid, I would be absolutely flabbergasted. My ghast would have been flabbered. Look at this, look at that one there with the oranges and the bright pinks going through it. It's like hot pinks. These are naturally colored, by the way. They're not dyed. These are naturally colored. Aren't they amazing? Angela and Cheryl, you're in, but I need you to check out my lovelies. That is your final price point. We have three. Angela, Cheryl, we are, uh, we are, we're a oh, collector. We're over allocated. Check your basket out. Well done. Come on, my loves. Absolutely fantastic. Warwickshire, check out. They are amazing. We're at 199.95. I've literally, I, I'm so over allocated, but I've still got one chance left. Who's going to take it? Is it going to be Angela? Is it going to be Cheryl? Is it going to be collector? Is it going to be another collector in Greater London? They, they, they can be yours today. They're $199.95. Well, whoever gets it, gets it. Whoever gets mm. it, gets it. And uh, you're going to love this. One of you is going to get this strand here. That is... Oh, 
astonishing. So Ollie's saying his niece doesn't use a knife. How does she eat like a steak? How would she eat a steak? They don't eat steak. She'd use a knife to eat a steak. Oh. oh. What are these? Twin Bewa corner drilled. Wow. Um, can I just make an observation? Can I make an observation? Ah. These look like little dog faces. <laughs> you got the ears, it's like a little white boxer. You got the ears. I'd want to do some wire work on here to make a little nose and a mouth yeah. and eyes. <gasps> You could make a little face. This could be the hair. They are, they're awesome, aren't they? I like these a lot. They're huge. It's a vast expanse of pearl you're getting there, isn't it? I'm seeing like a turret as well. Yes. Like, like a, a castellation. Yeah. Absolutely. Like like Rapunzel's Tower or something like that. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful quality. They're so, um, I can't get over how large they are. The oysters, which these, or the, or the mollusks, which these pearls come from, must be, must have been absolutely gigantic. Look at that one there. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Look at that, Claire. <gasps> Isn't that stunning? They are, aren't they? Yeah, I would definitely be doing a little Rapunzel tower. So yeah, have oh. you the other way. You do a little wire work. Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Oh, I like the end of Tangled when she cuts her hair. It looks yeah, much it's a really, better. it's a good film. It's a it? good haircut, isn't it? Have you seen her in Frozen? You know when you see Disney characters in other Disney movies? No, is she in that? She... Disney characters appear in other Disney movies. They just kind of put them in. They don't say anything. They just appear for like a couple of frames and you see them. Yeah. Have you, know, have you never seen characters in Disney characters in other Disney movies Ooh. that they're not in? Yeah, absolutely. So when they, so in the mid, at the beginning of Frozen, when they open up the gates and because it's Coronation Day, you see the girl from Tangled, you see Rapunzel from Tangled with her hair cut, just going, walking through the gates. Oh, yeah, oh that's we'll have really to cool. have a look. You have to have a look. Yeah. You have to have a little look. It's only for a couple of frames, but you do kind of go, oh yeah. Anyway, um, absolutely beautiful. I love these. They are gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Twenty four ninety five. What an unusual story. I've never seen pearls like this in my life. Gorgeous. Lovely, 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 lovely. What are these? Oh, <gasps> cross pearls. Now be careful, these are a bit cross. <laughs> Sorry. No, they're a cross, uh, they're a cross shape. I don't know if I'd use them as the cross shape because that looks lovely, doesn't it? The yeah. way they're all sitting together. They're kind of tessellating, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They're beautiful. Look and at you these. Could you could take out, um, them individually, but yeah, that's um, gorgeous, that's great aren't texture, they? Yeah, they are stunning. The way that they tessellate together is really impressive. Mm. They're like the game that you play, uh, that kids used to play. Was it called Jacks, where you throw the jacks and there's like yes. a ball? Yeah. Or, or, yeah. I, I don't know how you play it, but but yeah, they're like jacks, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Was anyone know how to play it, jacks? You got you throw them and there's a ball, isn't there? Or I don't, I don't know how you. I play don't know it. what don't you do with it, yeah. it though. <laughs> Ollie's saying yes, but he's not actually explaining how. So if you wanted to do something quite contemporary with your pearls, if you wanted to make like a little kind of thorny looking necklace or bracelet, um, that would work beautifully. <gasps> That's really nice, the texture. They look like little fingers of coral, don't they? Mm. Or, the, um, or the beautiful um, the Wall of Fame entry we had today, which was a gorgeous kind of waterfall necklace, which I said looked like fingers of coral. I mean, it does, doesn't it? Beautiful quality, really, really lovely. It just shows you, just has all these pearls at different angles so you appreciate um, the opalescence because the light, uh, sorry, the, uh, sorry, not the opalescence, the pearlescence because the light will hit these pearls at different angles. Gorgeous, hey? Shoulda, woulda, coulda, 1995. An excellent year. Uh, but we're gonna get that price point down even lower. Text in, what do you hate? Little irrational things that you hate. You don't know why you hate them, but you just hate them. 
14 pounds and 95 pence. There you go, everyone. Oh. Do you find certain times of the day things annoy you more? Yeah, it's like being uh, the tireder, the more tired. The morning, you get, the morning, yeah. things are tired. The, the um, things annoy me. Like my kids will be eating breakfast, and, and one of them will be kicking the sideboard. I'm like stop doing that! And if it was any other time of the day, I'd be fine. But it's the morning. I'm just not. I mean, at work, I'm fine, but I'm just not a great morning person. Mine is usually, like, I think probably afternoon, like early afternoon. Oh. I'm ready for a little, little nap. A little afternoon yeah. kit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little have kit. a coffee or a... A little pick-me-up. Yeah. Do you have coffee in the afternoon, do you? Oh, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, 14.95, well done, Nerds Collector, Rachel, Doris, Linda, Jackie, uh, Bryony. I might try doing that, actually, a coffee in the afternoon. I quite yeah, like an Earl nice. Grey in the afternoon, but I think I might try coffee. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Maybe a nice coffee. <gasps> Especially if I'm at like, a, like an after-school club or something like that. Oh, gosh. It's nice. Gives you a little pick-me-up, doesn't it? Like yeah, a nice, little yeah. pep. Yeah. little pep. Sometimes that's all you need, isn't it? Mm. Uh, right. Um, yes. Beware. Oh, these are nice. Beware, beware, beware. Beware, beware, beware. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Is he married now, Justin Bieber? I think he is, isn't he? Yeah. To Hayley. He's a funny character, isn't he? He's Canadian, isn't he? Yes. Canadian, eh? Wonder the uh, population of Canada is, is reasonably small. I wouldn't be surprised if Claire did know him. Alongside, name another famous Canadian celebrity. I've got two more. I've got three more. Is Michael Bublé? Four more. Yeah. Five more. Michael Bublé, right. Celine Dion, Pamela Anderson, is she? Brian Adams, and um, Avril, what's her face? Levine. Wow. And um, isn't Mike Myers Canadian? I think he is. Anyway. Brendan Fraser, is he? Is he Canadian? There you go. Uh... White freshwater cultured Biwa pearls. They are beautiful. 8 by 10 to 10 by 30. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Beautiful elongated, uh, elongated pearls. The population of Canada is 37 million. Isn't the population of Greater London about kind of 20 million? Isn't that? I mean, pretty, it, it, it's a tiny population. For, and, and is it 98% of people live within 100 miles of the border or something? And then the rest of the country is completely... Wow. Just wilderness. Well, not wilderness, but, you know, anyway. Well, it's beautiful, though, isn't it? Amazing. White freshwater culture Biwa pearls. Here they are. They're long. They're elongated. That's what Biwa pearls should be giving you. I don't think these are bead nucleated. I think they are kind of naturally occurring Biwa pearls. If they were bead nucleated, they'd all be a bit more similar in size and shape. There are little differences within these. Lovely kind of elongated pear-shaped one there. I think these look like magical bark. Mm. So I'd go with another. You could put it with the opal if you've got the opal, the nuggets, maybe. I thought you were going to say with the... Um... Oh, yes, yeah. With the dog tooth. Yeah. Roo, roo, with roo, the roo, bars roo. going out. Yeah, because they go the, the other way. Yeah. They're, they're, they're drilled. Why the barrel. Yes. Oh, yes, definitely the barrel. Look yeah. at that. Gorgeous, well, nice. isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Wolverine is from Canada. What, Wolverine oh. or, or Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jackman's not... Do you mean Wolverine? Well, Hugh Jackman is Australian. I think the character Wolverine is from Canada. Is he? Is he from Canada? I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen it. What? Or oh, anything with Wolverine. I know. Which one is that? X-Men. Uh, yeah, I haven't ever, You I've never need seen. to watch it. Yeah. You need to watch Wolverine mm. the movie. It is amazing. Logan, very good. I mean, you know, a lot of guys enjoy it because it is, you know, it's, it's action-packed and um, Hugh Jackman is rather mm -hmm. dishy. He's lovely, yeah. He's a dish! He's a dish! Um, oh, lavender. Oh, yes. And of course, South Park is, um, is from Canada. Very rude. Very rude. Very funny. But very funny, yes. Exactly, Mundo. These are like eggs! I don't think these should be called potato pearls. I think these should be called egg-shaped pearls or something like that because they are, they are proper egg shapes. They're kind of narrower at the top, aren't they? Ooh. 
Jim Carrey. Dean oh. Cain, I think, is from Canada as well. Mmm. He was Superman for a bit. Superman. Ryan Reynolds, is he? Keanu Reeves is Canadian. Oh. Really? Ray, uh, oh. Dan Aykroyd. Brian Adams. So Keanu Reeves and I Ryan Reynolds. I love Keanu Reeves. I think he's lovely. He's gorgeous. Yeah. Reeves. Keith yeah. Of, oh. Keith of Sutherland. Keith oh. Sutherland. All these wonderful He's people are amazing. Canadian. Sorry, the reason why we're talking about this, Claire spent um, uh, um, a long time in um, Canada, and um, she's lovely. There we go. I'm British Canadian, if that counts. It's boring though, isn't it, really, to be fair. Lavender freshwater potato pearls, absolutely gorgeous. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Really, really smooth nacre on these. Really, really gorgeous, um, consistent colour that you're going to be getting here. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. <laughs> South Park isn't from Canada. Oh, sorry, Michelle. <laughs> sorry, love. Oh, dear. Terence and Philippa, aren't they? were featured in South Park. There you are. $24.95. <gasps> Don't you love that colour? Mm. Seventeen ninety-five, and are these dyed? I was going to say, are these dyed, Tom? Oh, natural! They are naturally like this, Claire McDonald. That's a very, very pretty colour, isn't it? Yeah, very feminine, very pretty. The colour to go for if. Maybe on your wedding day, you don't want to go for bright white. Mm. You want to go for yeah. something a little bit more neutral, a bit softer on the eye, a bit softer, a bit more. On your flower girls, though, as well, on your bridesmaids. I think that Yeah, be definitely. Absolutely. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Well done, everyone. $17.95. Lynn, Angela, Amanda, well done, my lovelies. You've got to check out, lovelies. Check it out. Check out your baskets now. Star by coming up now. Chains, of course, the stunning silver chains. So, I've got chains. Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. <gasps> change, 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 everyone. Three in total. Oh gosh, that made my eyes go a bit funny. Oof. Um, these are all sterling silver. Am I right in thinking, Tom, that they're all Prince of Wales chains? Oh, loose rope chains. There you go. That told me. They're all 18 inches in length. They're all loose rope chains that you're going to be getting here. Can I just say, and what I look for when I get a chain is, do I take my jewelry? I'm not one of these people. I know there's lots of people like it. Am I one of those people who takes my necklace off at the end of the day and I hang it back up and, and I kind of, yeah, no. no. I, li I literally take it off and I just go, ah, ah, put it in the jewelry box and just go to bed. Um, is this going to not? That is, that is my first question. Because it is a rope chain, because it's quite a substantial chain, because there's a lot of links and it's not as delicate as a trace chain, Chances are this is not going to knot. So you can literally just pop it down like that in your jewellery box and chances are it's not going to knot. And if it does knot, the knot will be so easy to get out because it's a nice thick chain and you'll be able to, you'll be able to see how to, how to untie it um, um, with greater ease. It's all sterling silver. Now, 
18 inches, an 18 inch chain is just that right length, isn't it, Claire? Um, uh, most of our chains that we sell here on Jewelry Maker are 18 inches or maybe even slightly longer, but 18 inches tends to be a universal length, which a lot of people like. Now, what I'll, I'll, I'll show you how long it is. I'll just do it up. The clasps that these have got them is really, really nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, it Claire? is. It is, yeah. And the little, um, the little connector there is just that finishing touch, isn't it? That's, yeah. Uh, that's on the back. If you want to make this longer, it's not a problem. You can absolutely do that. Get some sterling silver um, uh, cable chain from us here at Jewelry Maker, and you'll be able to make it a little bit longer if you want to. But 18, an 18 inch chain tends to be an absolutely perfect length. Whether you're going to be wearing this on its own, whether you're going to be popping a pendant on it, it's 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 you know it it just seems to be that that perfect kind of length of chain. Um, chains on the high street can be very very considered, and it's where a lot of companies tend to make their money. So, um, although chains um, are very very popular, you know when you buy a pendant, you, someone will always try and sell you a chain to go with it, and you know rightly so, absolutely. Um, the prices we can do for our chains here, I honestly believe they are seriously some of the best prices I have ever seen anywhere. You are going to be getting all three of these today. The chains which we tend to do now tend uh, to be priced where you can get them for under £15 each. You're paying today £38.95, that's for all three. No, you're not. I've got three chains, one price, one deal. Here's your price, £19.95. That's £6.65 per chain. They are all 18 inches in length. They've all got this really, really lovely lobster claw clasp um, fastening on them as well, which makes them easy to put on, easy to take off, easy to get to, easy to add extender chain onto should you want to do that. Also, it makes it easy to be able to put pendants on there as well. Um, Aloma, well unto Diane. Ruth's got two loads. Uh, well unto you, Isabel, Irene, Isabel, um, Karen, collector, another collector coming through. That's brilliant. Well done. Keep checking your baskets out. I, I must have 15, 20 pendants, Claire, and I've probably only got two chains. Mm. I was thinking with all, all the lovely pearls that we've done, if you are going to separate them out, you know, whether you're selling or Christmas presents, things like that. Of course. I mean, that's, you know, a fabulous deal, isn't it? Yes. One, one pearl on, on those chains. Yes, absolutely, 100%. You know, we bought you some of those really gorgeous, really big metallic pearls, the big, um, the big teardrop pearls as well, and just putting one of those on a chain like this, and you've got something which, you know, potentially, you know, it's triple figure jewellery. You know, no problems whatsoever. Mm. The quality which you're getting here is absolutely superb. Just popping one of these on a chain, it's really going to be, oh, it's going to be that heirloom jewellery. As we've, you know, this is a word that we use a lot when we're bringing you pearls. And I think it's a word that we can use a lot when we're bringing you things like sterling silver as well. Heirloom jewellery, planning for the future, making pieces for you to hand down from generation to generation or to your best friends or to, you know, whoever it may be. And um, there's loads of you coming through, lots of multi bidders as well, which I'm really glad to see. If you want to stock up for your local um, craft stalls, um, uh, so let's say you're uh, going to be doing a craft, a craft fair this coming Christmas and you're going to be selling pendants, you know, whatever it may be. Even if you get a load of these chains and you sell them on for as little as £10 each, that's still about four quid profit you're making on each one of these chains when you're selling them. And believe you and I, a chain like this on the high street, if you could get it for £10, I mean, that's absolutely brilliant. Chances are it's going to be closer to £15, £20. So you're still undercutting the majority, I should imagine, of the high street by selling these on for £10 each. It's cost you £6.65 each, these, um, uh, these chains, which is absolutely brilliant. And they've got decent gram weights as well, five and a half grams across all three. A lot of chains will give you less than, you know, a gram or maybe even under a gram of sterling silver in a chain. Each one of these is close to two grams of sterling silver per chain, which is really, really brilliant, isn't it's it, It's a Claire? lovely twist, isn't it? It's a really lovely twist. So yes. slight, slight movement, and you've got that really nice... Substantial nice enough, I think, to wear on its own, but substantial enough as well to be able to wear quite a weighty pendant with it. Yeah. Decorative enough to wear on its own, but also not so decorative that it's going to overbear anything that you put it with. It's got that beautiful balance. It, it, mm. it's, it's the ultimate support act, but also on its own, it looks really, really lovely yeah. as well. Yeah, good chain or good neck necklace isn't it it's a good mm. um yeah they're lovely gorgeous it's nice to get the the three together as yes well. 
the all the same length as well. Yeah. Well done, everyone. Beautiful. They're lovely, aren't they? Let's do, to, let's do, to finish off the hour, we're going to do some more pearls. Peacock Keshi. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Texan, what annoys you? What don't you like? Any irrational annoyances? Things that annoy you and you don't know why they annoy you, but they just do. Ah, <laughs> oh, certain words that people use. <gasps> the, the use of the word like. Oh, yeah. And I, I was I like, say like. And he was lot. like, and I was like, I mean, it was like, and it was like, and I was like, and they were like, and it's like, and it's a bit like, right. Can we just think about how we're using the word like? My kids hate it when I uh, correct them on that. Anyway, freshwater peacock pearls. These are cashews. They're a little bit smaller than the ones that we bought you earlier on. Let me show you the ones we bought you earlier on, which are these ones here, which are very, very big. So if you wanted to make a beautiful flower, and you wanted larger petals and then smaller petals to kind of go inside. That would be stunning. Yeah, be nice, layer, layer them up. Yeah, Layer them up. Absolutely beautiful. They just, they look like petals. They look like um, um, kind of confetti, don't they? They're absolutely beautiful. On a brooch and a fascinator, these would be gorgeous, mm. wouldn't they? I've seen some beautiful designs with these, um, made with these kind of pearls over the years, you know, twisted together and you get this wonderful texture, this kind of interlocking quality that we had earlier on with those beautiful cross-shaped pearls and they interlock so beautifully, you know, get some of your 0.25 or your 0.2 or, or, or even better, your 0.1 millimeter gauge wire that we bought you earlier on and just, you know, twist them together and you'll have the most beautiful look. Very, very simple jewellery, but it's so effective and so dramatic and so powerful by way of luster and showing off that beautiful pearl essence. $24.95. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous quality. Absolutely beautiful. Hair combs as well is really, really nice. You just only need a few, don't you? You could just, you know, wire yeah, them definitely. onto... Because there's a lot of... Um, that's very, very on trend at the moment, isn't it? Like hair bands and really ornate. Yes, absolutely. Definitely. Really, really ornate. These will be bead nucleated. These are rectangular pearls. That they're lovely. Very, very contemporary. These Ooh. are great, aren't they? Very smooth. Very regular. Strong shape. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, they are lovely. In the middle of a sliding clasp bracelet, that would be beautiful. Actually, on top of the finger, on a... In, as a I ring. Yeah, I don't, know how, I don't know how you'd be able to do it, depending on the drill hole, but I can see these, maybe one in a macrame, almost um, like a uh, makes for men. So Definitely. Do you know, that's a lovely idea, idea, Claire. Mm. Wow, look at that You one. could use it as a little base, and you could do, not necessarily wire writing, I'm not sure you get a word on there, but you definitely get a letter. Yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. Like use it as a little yeah. base. Mm. Use it as a little base. Or do a little heart, maybe. They are a bit like amylites, yes, aren't they? Yeah. They've got that kind of amylite-y aurora borealis look to them. I think it's because they're flat and amylite tends to be... Yes, a very smooth. Flat slivers that you get. They're lovely. Oh, this one's green. That's nice, isn't it? <whistles> That's really, really nice. I like that a lot. Yeah. Oh, lovely, lovely colours. Oh, burning, burning hot colours. 1995. There you go, everybody. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Well done to Ruth and Deborah. You're doing brilliantly today. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Okay, coming up in the next hour, we've got a kit with Tiger's Eye. We're going to see a demo from Claire. We're going to bring you more pearls. We've got loads and loads and loads coming up. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Our jewellery maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people.
you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides, and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone. I was just sat here thinking, you know, the big build up towards Christmas, December. Personally, I don't think December is December without our good friend, the Advent Calendar. Getting up every morning and opening those little doors and getting your little chocolate or your little Christmas surprise. So, for the first time ever, Jewelry Maker have produced their very own Christmas Advent Calendar. So every morning you're gonna get up, you're gonna open your little doors, and inside will be some beads, 24 different beads. And on the 25th, the special day, you'll be receiving a DVD with five make-along projects to use up all of these little surprises that you've been building up over the month. So join us for Jewelry Maker's very first Christmas Advent Calendar. Cheers. We are delighted to announce that Rachel Norris will be here with us on a Wednesday of all days. Rachel is going to be launching her wire work booklets that include a fantastic icicle necklace and a wonderful reindeer pendant. So make sure you join us on a Wednesday with Rachel Norris on a Wednesday. She's never here on a Wednesday for a wonderfully wicked wire work Wednesday. Join us here on Jewelry Maker. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Hello. Look at what I've got on. Ooh. Claire McDonald, she's amazing. We love you. Who? Hello. Hello. 
He looks this a bit is drunk. made with this kit. And these are coming up on Friday. Yeah, we're doing those Friday. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Look at this. Aren't they beautiful? They're so beautiful. So these are coming up on Friday. Look at the little feet. Oh my gosh. Look at the little feet. Beautiful. Um, so the robins are coming up on Friday. They're beautiful. Oh, we need to kind Thank of have, keep those out this hour, don't we? And then you've made this incredible ring using this kit. Gold colored silver plated round wire. 10 meters in point four, 10 meters in point eight. Boom. This is the most amazing strand. Oh, faceted black agate. Oosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful luster, gorgeous faceting. But it is all about this really, isn't it? Let's face it. Yeah, oh, stunning. wow. Here I have got five absolutely beautiful tiger's eyes. Beautiful, pristine tiger's eye. Top drilled triangles. What's so great about these is you've got the beautiful triangles, you've got the soft triangles with kind of those lovely kind of bowed edges. Oh, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And you can really see that chatoyancy. See. They look like they're made from wood, don't they? Yes, yeah. Yeah, really highly polished wood, yeah. yeah. They are gorgeous. And they make the most beautiful cabochons to set into a ring like the one that you've made here they're absolutely perfect aren't they yeah so because they're quite um you know if, if uh, i thought i'd show you how to do the ring uh because in case you've got you know you've got um shapes that are slightly different um mm. and maybe maybe not necessarily your round or your, or your square yeah and how you can um set them like that the um tiger's eye the reason i think one of the reasons why this kit is called inner strength is tiger's eye is an amazing enabling gem and it's meant to make you stronger it's meant to make you more courageous and braver um and release your kind of creativity it's a fantastic enabling gemstone to be able to put it into a kit like this with I mean this one here looks like it's got tiger stripes on it oh wow am it's I beautiful. right in thinking the tiger population is actually on the up I don't think they're endangered anymore is it tigers that aren't endangered anymore or is it pa pandas aren't endangered anymore I know that oh, aren't they no oh, they've oh. been taken off the endangered list I think tigers might have been taken off the endangered oh, I don't know there's a few. Um, it's all to do with the inner silks inside this incredible gemstone. Running in these, running in the same direction. So you've got this really gorgeous optical property called Chatoyancy going all the way through it. Tigers are still classed as endangered. Oh, are they? I thought they'd been taken off the endangered list. Anyway, um, so the most beautiful tiger's eye, the most gorgeous, gorgeous wire. And then, of course, you've got this gorgeous uh, black agate in these six more rounds with the wonderful faceting across it, like square facets. Price point for this kit, what do you reckon? Do you reckon under 30? Do you reckon we're gonna go under 30 today maybe? Well, we're at 41 pounds 80, I think we're gonna have to, that's gonna be that, we're gonna to have to push that if we wanna get that under 30, aren't we? Enjoy! <laughs> that was me doing a snigger. 16.95 for the lot. How amazing is that? For your gorgeous tigers, I've got five on this round. Black agate faceted rounds. So this really lovely kind of square, almost rectangular facet. It's just angular faceting, isn't it? And then you've got your gold coloured silver plated copper wire. That, oh yes, they are pumpkin cuts. I do beg your pardon. Sorry, gang. Pumpkin cut black agate. There you go. And then your gorgeous wire as well for sixteen ninety five. That's brilliant, isn't mm, it? That is. It is and very um, sort of suitable, for, isn't it, for this time of year? Yeah, absolutely. Like Why have you got that bust out? Have you made something to go on it? Oh no, that was the one. Uh, that was your one with the chains. Ah, I just moved it out of the way. Don't worry about it then. That's fine. Uh, but you've made this gorgeous ring. Um, I love your, the wire weaving you've done here. It's going to be really interesting, actually, to find out how to set these gorgeous um, tiger's eye because Claire's absolutely right. We do tend to focus on setting cabochons which are round or oval and more, more rounded, less, you know, more regular sizes. It's going to be interesting to see how we set one of these rectangular tiger's eyes. Gorgeous. How do we do this thing, okay, lovely so Claire? Okay, so I'm going to start. So um, I'm going to leave, um, leave a bit of a tail. I'll pick up the first, the first wire. So I've got, I've got the uh, the 0.4 on the reel as well. 
So I'm going to start, so if I sort of split it into um, almost like thirds, so I'm going to start a third in and then I'm going to weave uh, the middle third and then I've got the third here plain. So I've wrapped a couple of times to anchor on. So I'm going to do just this really, really common weave where I'm going, just wrapping once over two wires and coming up in between and putting the next wire in. So if I splay these out so you can see coming in between. Splay them out, there we go. And the last one. So that last one, so I need to drop down. So again, although I'm weaving around the two wires, make sure that I don't get those mixed up. So I'll just spread them out a little bit. So again, so the, the ones I need to go around now are these two here. So I'm gonna drop down three and wrap over two, drop down three and wrap around two. So that gives me that little triangle. So I'm gonna weave and do, do the weaving uh, and so that the, the length of the, the amount of weaving that you need to do is basically gonna be whatever you want your size, your ring shank is. So if I just take out one of these as scrap, you could just see what size you wanted. So if we went something like that and then open it out, so you've got a scrap bit of wire, so uh -huh. you know that that would be the, the amount oh, that you would need brilliant. to I see. do your weaving. Okay, so what you're going to have then is you're going to get, so if I hold hold that up, you can see, so that's the that's the weave we've got there. So and it's a nice weave because you can push it together. Oh, that's lovely. Or you can open it out if, if, if oh. weaving's not your thing, so you can compress it or, mm -hmm. and it gives you a nice um, chunky ring shank, okay? Yes. So I'm going to pop that on. I might have to do a bit of speed uh, weaving Oof. again, you know, that isn't really speedy. So I'm going to open these up. <laughs> oh, at least you're honest. Yeah, well, I like to call it that, but we all know it isn't. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to take these ones. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bring those. <laughs> having a little giggle there. And I'm going to open these up and bring those there. Gorgeous. Okay. So I've got those, so the two, the two in the middle are going like that, and then the others go like that, okay? Which is gonna give me this here. So the bits that I'm gonna weave, these are gonna make my prongs, so uh -huh. I'm just gonna bend them, bend them out like that, and bend them out like that, okay? So I'm gonna just then Gorgeous. take some of the weaving wire, so I'm going to add this in, so I might actually, if you've got your, if you've got weaving wire left on, you can just use that. I'm just going to take some of this, so I'm going to go midway, and mm -hmm. so I am going to do a bit of uh, weaving now, is that, so I'm going to go across, go and like this, so I'm going to come, and so I'm just doing that figure so of eight. You can do it however you want. Two, You're just looking to one, bind two. all of these together. Okay, so I'm going to go. It's just quite speedy for me. It's just I'm very speedy go for you. This side. There we go. So I'm going to do the other side. Uh huh. And so you're just looking to bind these. This, so these four. These were well, eight wires, so they become yeah. your four prongs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just bring those over. Gorgeous. I'm going to do the same on this one. Okay, so let's see how this is going to sit there. So that's going to be perfect. So I'm going to snip those off and snip that one off. So again, I'm going to come along here, see how much I've got on here. Uh -huh. I'll give you an idea. So might, this wouldn't be enough, but at least you can get to see how. We get the idea, Claire. Yeah. Don't worry, Levy. So again, If I show you the back of the ring, you'll be able to see kind of how far she she's woven. You would keep going until, depending on how big the piece was. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to come over and do this. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, so... I'm going to just bring this, and you want to get this little bit as sort of flat at the back, so you can see how we're going. I'll hold this up so that hopefully you can see. Uh huh. And just bring that in there. Okay. So snip off here. Lovely. And snip off there. Snippity right. snip. 
So that's pretty quick, but you get the idea of yeah. how this is going to go. So I'm going to. Oh, oh, sorry, Claire. Oh, dear sorry. me. Vicious. Sorry. <laughs> Is it, yes, is it, is it the fact that there's another Claire in here today and you don't really like that? Sorry, no, Claire, like, is she hitting like, you with that wire? Every time. I like all the Claire's. You are really being very disruptive with your um, wire today. Yes, sorry. Okay, so I'm now going to start to bring these in. Okay. Gorgeous. And this one. So you Lovely. can see how these are going to start to, so this is really quick, but hopefully you get the, get the idea. And this one. Gorgeous. And then this one here. And that one there. So if you've made it so that your prongs are um, too long, you could angle them a little bit. And so I'm going to go in. If you had a little bit, if you felt that they weren't um, going to be strong enough, there's a little, so you drill hole there, you could pop that in. Gorgeous. So we can just keep going. So these are actually a little bit small, but you can see how that would work. And then if you have a look, so that's, that's the back. And it's going to sit Look in at that. that. So there you go. Mm. Mm. That was speed weaving. That was actually speed weaving. With Claire McDonald. I didn't just call it speed weaving. It was speed, very quick. Speedy. It was quick today, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because the weaving wasn't the focus of the the demo. Well done, you, Lavie. Thanks. She's amazing. She's a maniac, maniac. Uh, let's do some more pearls. Text me now. Irrational things that you hate. You don't know why you hate them, but you just do. Um, I've got one. It's going to be, it's going to make me very unpopular though. Oh no, because I do know why. I, no, no, I'm not going to say. Go on, say right, it. what number is it? What are we doing? Oh, that's feel is bad. It a thing? No, it's a person. Oh. Yeah. And I will be hung, drawn and quartered, I think, if I start going on there. So I won't, I won't do it. Here we go. So beautiful. Look at these beautiful pearls. Oh, they look so smooth. Smooth. Genuine fresh water culture pearls, they're beautiful. Seven to eight mil in size. They're lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous quality. Look at this. Here we go. Amazing price. Amazing price. Come on, Tom. $24.95. $24.95. What are you doing? What are you laughing at? Hey? What? No, I, I don't. Oh, no. I'll get people is sending me hate mail. Is it a man? Can yeah. we guess? If we guess. Is it a man? It's a man. It's a man. It's is a man. it an actor? No. Uh, a politician? No. Um, well, yes. A like, no, 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 no. TV I, personality? Uh, yeah. Not known for that, though. Not known for the telly? No, not stage. Not radio. Not movies. An author? No, not an author. Um, a musician? Oh. Very close. Yes. Paul, Paul McCartney. I just don't like him something about him. I don't like him. I think he's smug. <laughs> he is quite pleased like with him. himself, isn't he? Hmm? He is quite pleased with himself. Mm, very pleased with himself. And he's, ev he's everywhere. <laughs> oh no, I, Ollie is now at least a torrent of abuse. Um, I, uh, I think... <laughs> Ollie's just saying, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Um, white freshwater cultured near round pearls. Beautiful quality. Six 
by five mil in size. Twelve ninety five. I'm not being funny. At this kind of price point, if you were going to be, oh, let's imagine, you're getting married next year, and you've got bridesmaids sorted, little flower girls, and you want to make them some pretty little, you know, jewellery. These you could make them a little bracelet yeah, or a little size, necklace, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. <gasps> Tom, I was romancing those. We were talking about them. Taking the graph, taking the graphics off screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he has done amazing things. He's written some amazing songs. He's absolutely, yeah, that is really cool. But I think you could possibly, oh yes, that one's nice. Oh, I've got to be very careful because Ollie is on the point of, I think, I know, coming in here, I punching think, me. Really? Oh, will you look at that? That is gorgeous. So smooth. What's the colour coming from here as well? It's like a peachiness, it's like a isn't peachy, it? Yeah. Ooh, look at that one there. Look at those colours at the bottom. Beautiful. Oh, they're stunning. Oh, they're so illuminating, aren't they? <gasps> Ooh. Do you know actually the uh, pearls, um, crushed up pearls are used in some lovely very expensive moisturizers to make your skin look more luminous um absolutely gorgeous is it pinky peaches oh baby oh baby baby they're gorgeous aren't they beautiful colors um 39.95 this is another one of those strands i'd be tempted to use these on their own yeah, as little lovely. individuals. Like drop earrings would be very nice. Oh yeah, that would be mm. nice. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever seen on the high street pearls like this being used. I always see rounds or maybe baroques or maybe nucleated, yeah, but I, I, I don't think I've ever seen pearls like this used in jewellery. They're just it's different, a lot more aren't they? Type now, isn't there? In, um, Definitely. In all sorts of jewellery. Definitely. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're really, really pretty, aren't they? Lovely sh um, uh, shape on these. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Oh, that one's got a nice kind of, a nice texture to it as well. Yes, I, I, yeah, or bolsters. Oh, yeah. Pearl bolsters. Yeah. What are bolsters for? Are they, are they kind of, you have a bolster at the top of the bed, then you put your pillow on top of it. Is that right? A bolsters to kind of sit up. Oh, I don't know. Isn't it? Are they not, are they not above the... Oh, I'm I don't know. Isn't a bolster like a, like a long, thin yeah. sausage cylinder? Like a pillow. But you'd want what, to am I, what am I describing? <laughs> a long thin sausage. <laughs> <laughs> what number are we doing? <laughs> Gee whiz. No, like a, a pillow that's a long thin cylinder. But you wouldn't that's sleep on that, would you? No, you'd, I don't think so. So, so you'd, wouldn't that be at the top? Because then you'd remove that and then I put suppose your head so, on the, yeah. On the pillows, I don't I know. Think. Texting, do you know what a bolster is? Look at these bad boys. <gasps> oh. Puzzle pearls. I bet, I, I, to me, they don't look like pearls. They look like um, Elizabethan, like an Elizabethan knot garden. <gasps> or a lovely bit of um, kind of edging. On, on, mm. on some beautiful turned wood. They're beautiful, aren't they? Or in, or architect, you know, architecture, you know, like a... Yeah, like the roses yes. you get on ceilings yes. almost. Yeah. Oh, like lovely masonry work. They are kind of Tudory, aren't they? But that would work. Having them like that with, you could have a round in there, couldn't you? That would sit very nicely. So maybe wire it in at the back somehow. What, in, in the yeah, little gaps? In that little, yeah, that's a nice idea, actually. It's a really lovely idea. Have we got any little... Yeah, they are double drilled, which is really lovely. Um, I don't think this is going to work. No, because you need to kind of push them. You need to push them forward, don't you? But the kind of gives it gives you a little idea, doesn't it? Like little windows. They're really, yeah. really nice. I'd like to see these used with some kind of material. Maybe your um, oh, your shibori or something, where you can see the the kind of through it. But yes, Ollie is absolutely right. The best part of these is actually the fact that they're double drilled. Oh, they're lovely. It's a bracelet, though, or it's a choker. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Amazing. 
Oh, can't remember the last time I wore a choker. I think it was probably the 90s. Mmm, that's really nice, isn't it? Mind you, that is all coming back, isn't it? Kind of chokers and um, celestial stuff. So suns, moons, stars. That was very kind of popular mm. during the 90s, wasn't it? It's kind of coming back yeah. now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely all celestial, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I've seen lots of... Lots celestial of prints and mm. things like that. Really lovely. Right, what are we doing now, love? Oh, baby, baby! Why have I got Britney Spears? Oh. oh, hello. Oh, lovely noise. Yeah, that is a nice noise. No? Okay. All right. Ollie clearly doesn't like that noise. Oh, gosh. That looks like a boot. <laughs> like a shoe. These are amazing, aren't they? What are you laughing at, Claire? The boot. Well, it does. It looks a bit like a boot. <laughs> I've lost the boot. Hang on. Where's the boot? <laughs> where's the boot? I don't know. I've got end. lots of ones that do it. It's just like something else, actually. But let's not talk about that. I don't know where the boot's gone. I don't know where the boot's gone, Claire. Oh, there it is. Oh, goodness me. Goodness sake. Look, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it doesn't is, it? Yeah, it's like, it's a, like a boot. Yeah. <laughs> this one here, look at that. It's enormous. You could do some beautiful wire work on top of that, couldn't you, with your lovely fine wire skills? That would be really lovely. Use them as a base. Or have them hanging from your Christmas tree. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful size, beautiful shape. So smooth as well. You could, um, you could gallery wire these, some of these oh as well. Oh my gosh, that's I mean, a that, great that, idea. That is probably one of the biggest pearls I think I've ever seen. Yes! And what you're seeing here, you're seeing the actual inside shape and impression of the inside of the mollusk. So the inside of the shell gives is a certain shape and the keshi grows. It's kind of like a freak of, 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 of kind of pearls because it grows all by itself. There's no, they're not bead nucleated, they grow by themselves. It's effectively a twin pearl and, and it mimics and echoes, and it's in a perfect impression of the inside of that mollusk shell. So you get this beautiful, oh, look at that one, so smooth. You get this beautiful impression of the inside it's, of it's, a mollusk. It's reminding me, it's making me think that they'd be teamed really nicely with that. You know Fleur's wonderful water casting? Have you seen that with the, the sterling silver? No. Yeah, where it's, so it's, it's molten silver into water and the casting. If you look on her oh, um, that's Facebook, incredible. Yeah, I'm not sure whether it's hers or uh, Rocks and Chains, and, and you know, but one of those, the designer, it, it, that would be beautiful with it. It's like really fabric, and, and you're right, it is like liquid that's mm. been cast. It, yeah. It's yeah. really, really special. Vintage rose. <laughs> Where is that? <gasps> no. Gosh. Here we go. Beautiful vintage rose, genuine freshwater culture pearls. That's a very pretty colour. Gorgeous. Vintage rose, freshwater cultured pearl nuggets. These are lovely, aren't See, they? These could, be, these could be one of the, um, the center. If you're gonna make some flowers, you know, out of the keshis that we've had, these could be a beautiful um, center of the flower. So you've got your petals, and then some of them have got a really nice flat base. Yes, yes, so you could almost use them as buttons, couldn't mm, you? Mm. Got that lovely kind of flat back to them. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They are beautiful, aren't they? Uh, should be fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Gorgeous! Well done, everybody. And it's like a softer version of um, it's like a softer version of um, a nucleated pearl, isn't mm. it? It's a little bit more restrained. A, a, a nucleated pearl is bigger and bolder, whereas this is, it's got the kind of the hallmarks of a kind of a, almost like a nucleated pearl. Bless you, darling. Uh, but it's just a little delicate. bit more restrained. That was a very subtle sneeze. Not like my, I gotta sneeze! I gotta sneeze! Ah. <laughs> oh. Postman Pat. There you go. Well, that's what I was. Anyway. Postman Pat. Ooh. 
That is black and white card. The oh, look at you with the little it. twitchy look hand. Takey takey. Steely steely. Pearly whirly. <gasps> Baby. Not one, but two. Claire's taken one. These are beautiful. There you go. These are pin sets and you get a loop on top. They, I mean, I'm thinking earrings. Mm. Yeah, a stunning pendant as well. Like, yes. Pendant. If you were making a really beautiful piece for someone who's going to get married maybe and they were wearing a lovely backless dress or something suitably, mm. you know, a, a, a suitably beautiful like that, you could use this on the end of an extender chain going down their back. I mean, that would just be exquisite. Yes. Yeah. I like the fact you can see little anomalies. I like that because if you didn't have those, they'd look like shell pearl. And I don't want my pearls to That's look like it. shell pearl. I want them to look like pearls, which is exactly what you're getting here. Look at that little kind of... That's that an amazing ripple. price, isn't it? Oh, for, they're exquisite. For that size and the fact that, you know, you don't, really, you don't have to do anything. You just add don't have to do anything. Hook, you? Pop, a, pop a little jump ring on there if you're going to mm. make it into a pendant. Or, oh, yes, exactly, pop it straight onto your earring finding. Um, and you've got a pair of earrings there, which I think if you sold those, I mean, 100 and... Yeah. 50, 60, 70 quid. I mean, they are exquisite. I'd love a pair of earrings mm. like that. 30, same age as me. It's not, love. We all know. What is it? 34? Oh, gosh. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, oh, no. Oh! A meter of seed pearls. Hello, baby. Look at these. Goodness gracious me. Ten available. They'd be lovely with the um, the opal nuggets. I think I put oh, the two together. You love these opal do. nuggets, don't you, love Yeah, I do. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got pearls in my tummy and I feel like a loving you. Gorgeous. That's a good... <laughs> hey, did you like that song? I did, yeah. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> I can't remember who sang it. Yummy, 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 I've got love in my tummy. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Tom's on the old bombooter. Yummy, 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 I've got love in my tummy and I feel like a love in you. Who? Oh, what? Ohio Express. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> you what? How many? <laughs> how many? <laughs> 1968 that was released. Maybe not. Uh, 995. <laughs> da, 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 da. What are you doing? 995. Well done, everyone. Catherine's got three. Christine, Collector, Sean, Susie, Stephanie's got two. Susan. Surely these must be almost sold out, Tom. Well done. 22! Oh, now these are very, very special. Let's get the Ooh. older, let's get the bust. Bust. Who's that out there? Is that, is that Rachel Norris? <gasps> Jenny Cleary and Rachel Norris is going to be the most amazing mm. show. <gasps> it's going to be amazing. Look at these! Graduated to perfection. Now, what I love about this, Claire, is That's the central stunning. one is white and then the colours mirror outwards. Very, yeah, but... very, very clever indeed. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? I think Jenny's doing it. Is she doing a Facebook Live? I think she is might she? be. Yeah, it sounds like she is. She's got a presenter voice on. <laughs> Lots of screaming. Uh, so these are multicolor freshwater culture pearls. So they're near rounds, four to nine mil in size. That's a really amazing uh, variety of size. I'll put one of the smallest ones next to one of the biggest ones. You can see the difference in size. Isn't that lovely? To be able to source the pearls, which are not only A, the right color, but B, the right size as mm, well. And to yeah. mirror that color kind of um, combination is absolutely amazing, isn't and you it? Get, you get slightly different, um, it would be subtle, but a different look depending on your silk, whether you you know, you went with a peach one or like a, an ivory tone. Yes, definitely. And the lavendery. Yeah, gorgeous. 29.95, well done, they are gorgeous. Well done, Christine! 
Well done to you, my lovely Christine in Essex. All you need to do is pearl knot that or restrand it and you've got yourself mm -hmm. a necklace, which is an instant heirloom. Something about graduated pearl necklaces really gives it that extra edge. It, it's kind of, it. it's just, it's a more, oh, I don't know, it, 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 it's a higher end look. Definitely a graduated necklace, wouldn't you say? Gorgeous. Because I think more work has gone into it, hasn't it? Of course to, to it get has. The, um, like you say, to get all mm -hmm. those pearls. Defo. Hilda, well done to you, collector in Greater London as well. Well done. Get those texts in it. What annoys you? Any any more kind of irrational hates for anything? Do you hate something and you don't know why, but you just do? Like, I don't like cardboard when it's ripped. I don't like the fluffiness of it. I don't like touching it. Mm. I'm not entirely sure why. I just don't like it. National? Natural? Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. Um, oh. Really? These are enormous. 25, did you say? These are natural. Oh, they are big. There's a lovely sheen on those, isn't there? They're really long and thin, aren't they? Definitely not potatoes. Much more oval. Pearls are wonderful. They're the first pretty much the first gem ever to be set into jewellery. And up until pearls were cultured, people used to free dive for pearls. They used to literally hold their breath and dive down. It was a very, very dangerous occupation to have. You can still free dive for pearls. Certain people do, not very many though. I mean, it, it, it's extraordinarily dangerous. And also the chance of you retrieving a mollusk with a pearl in is, is, is next to nothing. Uh, whereas when you've got a cultured pearl where the mollusks have been impregnated with that bead nucleus, um, you're going to get many, many pearls inside a mollusk. Um, there was an epidemic that swept through a lot of the pearl farms in China a few, uh, well, a couple of years ago, which wiped out a lot of the big pearls like these. Uh, so we're very, very lucky to have these eight by nine mil pearls. There's a lot of substandard rubbish out there with pearls. And we are very lucky that here at Joy Maker, we are able to source, we're able to source some of the best, some of the finest pearls that money can buy. These are gorgeous freshwater pearls, aren't they? They're gorgeous. I'd say not color wise, but luster wise, it's almost like got that mirror shine that mm. you'd expect to get from maybe an Akoya pearl, which um, we've had Akoya pearls a couple of times on JM. They're very, very rare indeed. And with an Akoya pearl, obviously you only get one pearl per mollusk, sometimes two if you're lucky enough to get twins. Um, but with freshwater culture pearls like these, you get up to 20 in a mollusk, which is really, really brilliant. It's a much higher harvest, much higher yield. Um, 16.95, and it's easier because of that, because of the higher yield, to get matching or near matching pearls, because they've all been through the same environment. They've all been cultured in the same environment. Um, and there's many more of them. 16 pounds, 95 pence, that's brilliant. Natural pink freshwater cultured potato pearls. They're beautiful, they're so big as well. And they've got that lovely mirror shine as well, which is really, really striking. And I think that comes from the fact that the, the naked is so smooth, it's so unblemished. If it was blemished, it, it wouldn't have the same shine that these have got, but they're, they're really lovely, aren't they? They're like jelly beans almost. Yeah, and the way that the way they're drilled, you could do so. You know, if you've got some, if you've done your wire work or something, say something like that, it would just sit in, wouldn't it? Sit in really nicely, and because of the way it's drilled, yes, of course. You could, uh, you know, anchor on with your your wire. Yeah, so it's going on the side. She's right. She's right. Peacock, freshwater culture pearls. Oh wow! These. This is like. Oh wow. Oh, that's a lovely, that's making me think of, you know, the, um, the strand of uh, Labradorite that we had, the, the big slabs. And yeah. Is that, is that like lighter to oh, me? Yes, it? of course, there were that a few would, on there yeah. with a lighter rainbow in there. That, would, um, that would work really well. Ooh, baby. They're gorgeous. Look at these, gorgeous. Oh, that's a really nice strand. I like mm. that. This is not your classic peacock colour freshwater culture pearl. This is much more your lavender, I guess, isn't it? Oh, but I can see why they've called it peacock because you're definitely getting different colours and then you're getting greens and you're getting pinks and blues and yeah. purples. They're getting the lot, aren't you? But it is most definitely more of a more of a lighter kind of palette going through there. Fourteen ninety five. That's brilliant. Well done, Tom. But our last pearl strand. 
Oh, Neri, you're trying to sun those up in a display. Mm. Oh. £7.95, that is brilliant. That's well amazing. done. Yeah. Stephanie Charmaine, well done to you, my lovely. More bidders coming through, that's great. Well Ooh. done. I'd love to see this with champagne wire or pearl wire, maybe. Mm. Yeah, if you've got the pearl Gorgeous. wire from before, yeah. Christine, Susie, Carolyn, well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic, well done. Do you know what, Neri? I go in there and give him a dead arm. It's very hard to do. Why is it hard to do? To move, to move the trays without making any noise. Yes, I appreciate that. Mm. Just ignore him, Neri. <laughs> you got any um, good um, American football games coming up, Neri? No, we wasn't very good at the weekend. You weren't very good? Oh, was it your team playing over the weekend? Mm. What happened? Oh Lots of things went bad. Oh no, you lost, I take it. Yeah. What kind of scores do we talk about in American football? Are they big scores? They vary. We lost 35-32. 35-32, is that a big score? Yeah, relatively high. I don't know, because like football, if it was 35-32 in football, it'd be like, lot, yeah. wow! But it was like, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> but on a fact finding mission, I'm just interested. <clears throat> Gee whiz. I'm allowed to take an interest in people's interests. Right. Well, what is it? Shell pearl. All right, shell. <laughs> you're just getting at me today, Ollie. I know you're feeling poorly, but you're just, he's, he's a... He's getting he's a, at everyone. He's getting at everyone. Mm. He's being ratty. You're not eating that other love heart I gave you. And the other one. Yeah. Well, We're going to have now. it. Oh, okay. Can I have your last one? Yeah, sure. What, what does it say? Oh, no, it's just like a, a kiss, wink emoji. No mm. eating on that. Mm. Love heart. I love a love heart. Mm. Oh, it's the aftermath. The... Mm. Mm. It's one of the only sweets I actually like. Um, cool, wow, that was a sour one. Gee whiz, white shine shell pearl, plain six mil rounds. You, be you better do something amazing with this, Tom. You better. I'm gonna come in there and give you a fist of fives. We're at six pounds and 45 pence. We're, we're at a should be price. What is our final price today? Come on, come on, it's under what? Under four quid? <gasps> 64 available. Come on, let's get all of them go. Okay. What am I going to make with this? Claire. Boom. There. Oh, also. Nice. Whoosh. Sorry, my hand's in the shot now. Sorry. Whoosh. Yeah. Also, kiss cross. The green frame. Oh, sorry, I just smacked you on the back of the head. Sorry, Claire. <laughs> um, but basically, it's amazing. We're at £6.45. We want all of these to go. There's over 60 available. Your price point today is going to be under four quid. If you like the sound of that, like Lorraine in Gloucestershire does, he's just bought two in China and Greater London, then please come through and get this, pop it in your basket, check out as quickly as you can. We want them all to go. Three. Wow. 95. Three pounds ninety-five pence. That Maybe is amazing. With the strand um, from the kit as well, so you do monochrome, <laughs> monochrome. <laughs> ah yes, with the pumpkin black yes. agate. Yeah. Yeah. Look at them. They're flying out the door. Well done, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. Why not? Why not black and white? Yes, lovely. Gorgeous, well done Angela, well done to Christine. Um, absolutely fantastic, well done. Sheila's come through, Stella in the Highlands, well done to you as well. Another Angela, that's great to see, well done everybody. They are gorgeous, aren't they? And of course, because it's Shell Pearl, they've all got the same size, they've all got the same shape, and they all have very, very generous drill holes as well, which is wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, gorgeous. very useful. Fletcher and Merseyside as well, well done, they are going. Number three, the days, the days. Tres. Numero tres. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, wow. 
Look at those. Wow, beautiful Labradorite fancy shapes here. Look at those. Oh, they're so smooth, aren't they? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that one with the rainbow mm. colours on it. <gasps> look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You'd want that in a ring, wouldn't you? You'd yeah. Want, you wouldn't get anything done. You'd just be staring. All yeah, time. you would, wouldn't you? They're stunning. Yeah, they are quite gothic-y, aren't they? I can't quite put my finger on why they are gothic, but they, they've definitely got that gothic feel, haven't they? Quite steampunky. Yeah, baby. That's flashing, isn't it? Yeah, that it's one incredible. there is just ridiculous. It looks like an amylite, doesn't it? Woo, baby. Oh, my gosh, look at this one. This one looks like it's been combed. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Like it's been scratched by Wolverine. <gasps> oh! Who's not Canadian? <laughs> Wolverine's a real character. Come on. I know he's such a real person. Doctor Who's a real person, isn't he, Tom? Look at that, look at that, look at that. What do you think of um, Jodie Whittaker being the first female Doctor Who? Do you think she's good? Do you think she's great? She is pretty amazing, though, isn't she? I really like her. I'm not seeing her as uh, Doctor Who, but I like no, her. No, neither. She's brilliant. She's actress. a brilliant actress, mm. isn't she? She's fantastic. I think next one should be Olivia Coleman. Oh, she's, wouldn't yeah. she be? Wouldn't she be the best Doctor Who ever? She's very funny, isn't she? She's the best. <whistles> Look at that! Oh, baby, baby! Look at that. Ooh. I could look at that all day. That's natural, mm. Claire. That is a natural gemstone. Wow. Amazing. What are we doing? What is it? Oh, it's a fan. <gasps> oh, Claire. <laughs> <gasps> look at that oh wow oh it looks like that fan's moving oh gosh there's lots of shouting going on i think tom is having a go at american football <laughs> neary is retaliating it's all getting, it's a, getting bit a bit aggro isn't it it's getting a bit aggro which indiana jones is it uh temple of doom when she has the fan yeah I would put that with the, um, that monochrome look that we did. It's almost like quite Art Deco, isn't it? Yeah. Or it's like the uh, Rush Hour movie when the lady has got the fan with daggers and knives on it. <laughs> oh, so good. It's so good. Jackie Chan is my absolute hero. I love him. I love him. It's beautiful, isn't it? Sterling silver fan, Cubixaconia connector. That is so Art Deco, isn't it? That's beautiful, yeah. It's my biggest fan. <laughs> Set with sterling silver, it's 9.95. Go in there and just poke him in the eye. That's what I do, Neary. It's all good. If I could reach him, I would. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna plan, aren't you? You're gonna plot. You're gonna make sure you get him in Secret Santa, and then and then and then and then scheme. properly have him over. Yeah, scheme and plot, <laughs> not get anything. Hey, that happened to me last year. Did I upset someone? Do you think? <clears throat> Did you ever find out who it was? No, nope. didn't find out who it was. No, nope. someone didn't get me a present though. I was the only person. Aww. Oh no, and Sam Wilson, because the other Sam took Sam Wilson and her own present. Isn't that right? <laughs> Isn't that right? Isn't that what happened, basically? She took her present, and then she took another Sam's present. And she probably took mine as well. She doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> I don't know. She clearly didn't like me. Well, for whatever reason, I hope, well, I hope, I hope they're enjoying my Secret Santa present, which I didn't get. Mm. Are we doing it? Are we doing Secret Santa this Christmas? I hope so. Thank <laughs> you. 
Producer Liam's Secret Santa was a cheeseburger and chips from the Golden Arches. That'd be, that'd be wonderful. That's amazing. I'd definitely have that. I'd be so happy with that. Like fresh one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Not like in a bag. <laughs> you are sorry. <laughs> Oh, the, oh, so they actually gave that to him? Oh, so it's kind of two hours old. That is not good. Fast food is designed to be eaten fast as well as made fast. Those chips would be like mm. wool. Um, black star diopside oval cabochon. Floppy fries. No one wants a floppy fry. I'm insanely hungry now yeah, thinking about just McDonald's. Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, fast food outlet places available. I don't like a lot of them. There's only a couple that I like. Um, this is black star diopside. Beautiful, beautiful asterism traveling across this. Do you know, it's a natural optical property and you cannot make a diopside or a, or a ruby or a sapphire have asterism. You cannot make that star appear. If it, it, it will only appear if it wants to appear. And the whole point of cutting this is to trap the light inside the gemstone. That's why it's got a rough, not a rough, but a matte bottom. The reason why it's got a matte bottom is to get that light inside the gem and to keep it inside the gem. You don't want it escaping because that's what you want. The reason why you're not seeing a star at the minute is because we're not under a single light source. I've got about 40 odd lights pointing at this gemstone at the minute. So get it home, get a single light source, so a torch, something like that, and just shine it at the gemstone and you will see the most amazing four, maybe even a five prong star. It's absolutely beautiful stuff. And do you know what? This is some of the oldest form of faceting that there is, um, cabbage and cutting. It's amazing, isn't it? One of the oldest forms of faceting that there is. Literally polishing the top of a gem. Gorgeous, well done everyone. Right, what's next? What's this, what's this? Because I like this. Can we? Is that all right? Do you mind? I don't know where these things are coming from. I'm just picking them up. Um, is this Ocean Jasper? It's absolutely glorious. This, it does look like bunting, doesn't mm. it? The bunting cut. This one here, it's like the moving, the moving waves. It's like a shark fin, isn't it? Yeah. The dorsal fin. This is from Madagascar. This incredible gemstone can only be mined when the tide is out, which is twice a day. When the tide comes back in, it can't be mined anymore. It, the mine is flooded. It is an amazing gemstone. To go to those lengths to mine for a gemstone like this really is a testament to the, uh, to the miners, to how much love there is for this incredible gemstone. It's a natural variety of jasper. I like them still look like mm. that, don't you, Claire? Yeah, definitely. Really, really yeah. nice, don't they? Um, Design-wise, do you know what? I don't know, because part of me wants to kind of Think about setting these with some lovely gallery wire and being quite um, neutral with these. But then other parts of me, looking at that recording there, makes me want to make, makes me want to set them standing up, going around my wrist like a gorgeous spiky bracelet or something. Yeah, That'd be and, so and, maybe, cool. and maybe setting them so that they were standing up. Yeah, or, or so they tessellate sort of back, yeah, like like that. So you've got like a oh. flat edge. <gasps> Do you know what? You could set them. Look. There's lots you could do, isn't there? Yeah, so it's a bit like wonderful. Trivial Pursuit, yeah. isn't it? Trivia Pursuit. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a joke, actually, with Trivia Pursuit. Oh, who cares? Who cares? Look, that, that is so nice. Mm. So you can make your brooch framework or your seed bead, nice. seed bead frame. Have those in. Beautiful. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Ollie is still bearing a grudge about the Paul McCartney thing. I'm sure there's people that you don't like that I really love. So, 8.95, well done. They're beautiful, aren't they? So mossy, so gorgeous. Uh, this one here's my favorite. They're gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, look at that, beautiful. Um, beautiful kind of oil painting. It looks like a, it looks like a scene, doesn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful quality. It is, isn't it? It's really, really beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous quality. And of course, you can set them in the same way that you set the uh, beautiful tiger's eye. Yeah, you could. Yeah, work really well like that. Yeah. 
I like that. Well done. Right, what are we doing now, lovely? Midnight Rutile Quartz. Ooh. That sounds amazing. Oh my gosh, number 11's amazing as well. What do you want to do? 14. <gasps> that is amazing, isn't it? Right. Let me show you this. Midnight Rutile Quartz. So this must be dyed, Tom. It must be. So you've got like a blue dyed quartz, which has got rutilated inclusions and the rutilated inclusions, let me move that out of the way, sorry. The rutilated inclusions have been dyed like this navy blue color. Wow, that is super cool. It's like rutilated iolite, isn't mm, it? The color like it's iolite, gone is yeah. like an iolite color, isn't it? Ooh, oh, that's you. really lovely. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Gorgeous. I, I mean, this section here obviously is fascinating because of course you've got all those beautiful rutilated inclusions, but then all of it's gorgeous. Those are nice, those are really eye-lighty. Eight pounds, 95 pence. That's really, really fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen dyed rutilated quartz. It, it makes a big difference to it, doesn't it? Gorgeous. Yeah. They look more thorny, those inclusions, don't they? Mm. I suppose a little bit like your, um, your black rutilated quartz, but just a softer version of it quite icy as well isn't it yes it is very icy it's kind of midwinter isn't mm. it it's very yeah. very midwinter yeah i mean they're, they're really pretty you could ombre them um completely if you want to do from dark all the way through to the lightest ones if you wanted to that might be a nice thing to do gorgeous eight pounds 95 pence i've never seen midnight uh, brutality quartz before that's gorgeous Claire McDonald, when are you next with us, lovely? Uh, Friday morning. Perfect. Friday. I'm next with you on Friday morning with the launch of the Advent Calendar Yay. at 11 o'clock. The Advent Calendar, Jewelry Maker's first Advent Calendar. But there's so much coming up in, in between now and then. On the mid-show today, <gasps> Jenny Cleary, amazing. Rachel Norris. On a Wednesday? On a Wednesday. I kid you not. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. We've got brand new booklets, which are just set up over there, which look absolutely fantastic. So that's going to be coming up on the mid-show. It's been brilliant having you with us today. Thank you very, very much for all of your input. Thank you, lovely Neary. Thank you, Claire. Lovely to work with you again. Thank you, my lovely. Thank you. And Thanks Ollie and Tom. Thank you very much. Don't forget, we've got Claire's lovely Robins coming up on uh, Friday as well. So we've got the Robins and we've got the Advent Calendar. But tune in for the mid-show now. Prepare to be amazed. We've got um, Rachel Norris and we've got Jenny. See you in a, um, see you in a bit, guys. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, lovely. You're welcome. See you in a bit, guys.